Advertisement. Kanaha 59 years. The summer wind is dull and the cicadas are chirping. The boy lay on the grass with a grass root in his mouth and looked up at the sky leisurely. There was no rescue, no car accident, no electric shock, and no computer explosion. I just watched Mr. Huikang's action movie. How could I travel through time? The boy's name is Chi Yejun, 18 years old. Short black hair, wheat complexion, handsome and responsible. At the beginning of time travel, he had also fantasized about it. Pick up the most beautiful girls, drink the strongest wine, and kill the fiercest enemies. But the reality makes people feel like they are nothing. Chi is standard for time travel. If someone blocks it, it will kill someone. If it blocks a Buddha, it will kill Buddha. I wore it for a month and there was no hair on it. In this hokage world where sex is everywhere. Without strength, you can only become cannon fodder. But the original owner just happened to be a useless person with no blood, no talent, no tailed beast, and no background. The amount of chakra is also pitifully small, and it cannot be refined and controlled, let alone joninjutsu and genjutsu. Not only that, he was also a posthumous child. What's even more embarrassing is that my mother is a kabuki from Kabukiko in Kanaha. Just after entering school, my mother passed away. Later, he simply dropped out of school and worked as an apprentice in an iron shop to support himself. Right now, a belated system voice sounded. Ding, god level fancy sign-in system is successfully bound. Fancy sign-ins include, location sign-in, task sign-in, plot sign-in, performance art sign-in, etc. The novice task is now issued, please host go to the 44th training ground to sign-in. Chi Yejun climbed up and hurriedly ran towards the forest. Exercise ground number 44 is also called the forest of death. The surrounding trees are towering, blocking out the sun, and their huge root systems are coiled like dragons, creating a dead silence and death. Chi Yejun came to the outer iron fence, summoned the sign-in system with his mind, and completed the sign-in. Ding, congratulations to the host for completing the check-in at the location. You will be rewarded with dead bone pulse physique and learn karamatsu dance and chun dance. Dead bone pulse has been improved, host can use it with confidence, and it will not cause hemorrhagic diseases. Advertisement. Dead bone pulse? Tear the bloodline inherited by the Yoriwaki clan. Bones can become the strongest spear or the hardest shield. Chi Yejun was overjoyed. As a doctor in his previous life, he speculated that hemodeskeletal disease was probably caused by severe loss of calcium and bone dislocation. What's more, Kimimaro keeps shooting out his phalanges. It would be strange not to be sick. But I don't belong to the Kagaya family, I have no blood relationship. Produced by the system, seamless, everything is possible. Wipe, the system is awesome. Ding, second reward, clone technique, transformation technique, body replacement technique. The performance of ninjutsu is divided into primary, intermediate, advanced and divine levels. Each time it is performed, the proficiency will be plus one. Every plus 100 proficiency will be upgraded. The power of the upgraded ninjutsu will be doubled. Ninjutsu can also be upgraded. Aikano Jun knew that this level was different from the E, D, C, B, A, and S of ninjutsu itself. It just represents the proficiency and power of ninjutsu. But, the amount of chakra I have is so small that I would probably lose it in just one clone technique. If you want to improve, you have to wait until the year of the monkey and the month of the horse. Just as I was thinking about it, the third reward in the big gift package was opened. Ding, unlimited rewards chakra buff. Phew, Chi Yejun was stunned for a moment like thunder and lightning. Unlimited chakra? In other words, no matter how you play in the future, you will not feel soreness in your back, pain in your legs, or cramps in your legs. This reward is so timely, suddenly, energetic and refreshed. A cool feeling of pleasure spreads all over the body, making the whole body feel comfortable and feeling the urge to soar into the sky. Chi Yejun jumped between the trees and flew over the forest. Haha, <laughs> I finally experienced the feeling of chakra. Advertisement. Just as I was feeling great, I fell to the ground with a plop. It seems that just having chakra is not enough, you also need to learn to control it. The fourth item of the big gift package is to automatically learn the chakra control method, but you still need more practice. Then, a holographic panel appeared in front of him, displaying basic information. Host, Toshi Aikano, age, 18 years old. Chakra attribute, none. Mastered ninjutsu, junior clone technique, junior body replacement technique, junior transformation technique. Mastered physical skills, karamatsu's dance, sabeki's dance. Mastered illusion, none. Special physique, dead bone pulse. Blood succession limit, dead bone pulse. Chakra amount, infinity. With full of joy and excitement, Chi Yejun left the forest. The sun sets. The day's work is over. Chi Yejun ran home. The house he lives in is not big and the facilities are relatively simple. Go home and close the door. I made a simple bowl of tomato and egg ramen with the ingredients I bought. After just two bites, I couldn't wait to go to the mirror. After hurriedly forming the seals, chakra surged in the body, and there was only a bang, a streak of white smoke appeared. A kawaii beautiful girl appears, successfully cast transformation technique, proficiency plus one. Haha, <laughs> it turns out that you can improve it just once. Aikano Jun performed it several times in succession, and his proficiency continued to improve. But the chakra still feels full. Body replacement technique. Snapped, snapped, snapped. Proficiency plus one. Proficiency plus one. Advertisement. Proficiency plus one. In this way, I practiced until late at night. Still full of energy and not tired at all. Holographic panel displays. Clone technique, god level. Transformation technique, god level. Body replacement technique, god level. Haha, <laughs> it's so cool. The excitement in Chi Yejun's heart was overwhelming and pouring out. When I used to play online games, the reason I didn't like the gameplay was because I hated sitting on the floor. You can play whatever you want from now on. After the upgrade, I took a shower and put on my pajamas, lying on the bed refreshed and thinking about the future. Early the next morning, it was just dawn and the morning mist was filling the air. Chi Yejun jumped out of bed and went to the forest to practice. Follow the reward method, empty your mind, and slowly control the energy surging in your body. Then he concentrated on transporting the chakra to the solace of his feet and ran towards the big tree in front of him. After several exercises, I was finally able to climb vertically to the top of the tree. Controlling chakra is also very comfortable. 
Finally, the heat flow is collected in the dungeon to complete the training. Just as he was about to leave, several teenagers also came to the forest. Hey, you bastard from the blacksmith shop, this is our territory, get out of here. The idiot who dropped out of school actually wants to come to practice. No matter how hard he practices, he can't become a ninja. I really don't know where he got the courage. It's such a wishful thinking. Chi Yejun was cowardly since he was a child, had a good for nothing physique, and was an orphan, so he was bullied. But after time travel, he is strong, independent, stubborn, resolute, and quick and accurate in doing things. Who dares to bully me anymore? Try it, uncles. Advertisement. Chapter 2 Transformation into Wolverine. Advertisement. Seeing that Chi Yejun hadn't moved, a boy with white eyes stepped forward. This person is a descendant of the Haiga family and a member of the branch house, but his status in the family is not prominent, and he is several levels behind Haiga Niji. There are so many branches in a big family that it is inevitable that there will be one or two scum. Hey, you bastard of the Mako family, did you hear that? Get out of here. Since they belong to a big family, the young man is very unruly and speaks rudely. As the saying goes, the clay bodhisattva still has three parts of fire energy. Being insulted again and again, Chi Yejun's face turned cold. Does the forest belong to your family? Who do you think you are? The boy with white eyes stopped moving forward. He, what did he just say about me? The young man looked at his companions, his face full of anger and disbelief. I said you're a piece of shit. Chi Yejun raised the corners of his lips and sneered. A companion stepped forward and yelled, come here, kneel down, and apologize, or I will kill you today. Another person said, bullshit, the Hayaga family in Kanaha doesn't say they can cover the sky with one hand, but they can kill a pariah like you with just one hand. The boy with white eyes took out a kunau, with a cold light shining and an arrogant attitude. You have offended me, and I will make it difficult for you to do anything in the future unless you kowtow and apologize immediately. Oh, Chi Yejun's clear eyes looked at the boy without a trace of impurity. I work hard every day and have very little contact with the outside world. I really don't know what's so great about the Hayaga family. How about we learn more about it? The boy with white eyes smiled. Do you really want to go against Laozi? His expression was anything but mocking. However, next moment, Chi Yejun's actions can be called bold. Crack, crack, crack. He stepped forward, chakra condensed on his fingertips, and slapped the opponent three times. Powerful and deep, crisp, and audible. The slap fell. The boy with white eyes covered his red and swollen cheeks, dumbfounded. You, you dare to hit me. Advertisement. Chi Yejun showed a harmless smile, his teeth were as white as a spring breeze. The words are very heroic. Don't talk about you being an inconspicuous guy, even if Hayaga Hayashi comes, I won't be afraid. Several companions heard this and were stunned by Chi Yejun's aura. Is this still the idiot who can't beat a fart with three sticks? I usually avoid them when I see them, but today I feel like I've got the heart of a bear and a leopard of courage. However, thinking of his backgroundless background, they immediately started shouting. You really don't know how to live or die? I must teach you a lesson today. Core death. The white-eyed boy roared and punched. But what I didn't expect was that before my fist even got close, it was tightly grasped by the opponent. Haha, <laughs> the Hayaga family is nothing more than that. After speaking, Chi Yejun pushed hard. Boom. The boy with white eyes flew up and hit the tree trunk in front of him. Since when did this guy know Teijutsu? Yes, it seems that I also used chakra. Why are you so strong? The companion's face showed shock. After the white-eyed boy was thrown out, he stood up awkwardly, clapped his hands and walked back again. Haha, <laughs> I underestimated the enemy. I didn't expect you to have some strength. Blacksmithing can really exercise your body. Untouchable, it seems that you are really going to use your skills today. Chi Yejun also made a decision that this arrogant guy must be taught a lesson. In his opinion, any talk of hiding one's strength and biding time, pretending to be a pig and eating the tiger is all nonsense. If a dog bites a man, the man will kill the dog. This is the code he believes in. In his previous life, he often said, I never hold grudges, because if I have grudges, I will avenge them right then and there. Two balls of light blue chakra surged from the white-eyed boy's palms. Then it shot out like an arrow from the string. Fake 8 trigrams air palm. He is not qualified to learn the real 8 trigrams air palm. Along with a loud shouting, a violent storm hit Chi Yejun. The palm wind is quite powerful. Advertisement. But right now, an unexpected scene happened to the other party. Dead bone pulse. Karamatsu's dance. Chi Yejun shouted, and then felt something trying to penetrate his flesh. Sudden, white bones sprouted from his back, chest, and shoulders. The bones in turn extend into bone spurs. There are 11 in total. It exudes a pale and sharp edge under the scorching sun. Looking at his appearance, Chi Yejun laughed. Too bad he looks like Wolverine. The sudden scene caught the white-eyed boy off guard. How could such a good person have so many bones? Puff. The sound of breaking flesh sounded. The young man's palm was immediately pierced, and a ball of blood gushed out. His face turned pale with fright, and he immediately backed away with his hands covered. The bone spurs are extremely sharp and will pierce the skin with just a slight touch. If they are blasted away with force, they will probably be stabbed to the core in an instant. It's not over yet. Dead bone pulse. Sabeki's dance. As soon as he finished speaking, Chi Yejun's arm made a clicking sound. Suddenly, a white bone popped out from the shoulder. Chi Yejun stretched out his hand to hold the bones and pulled suddenly. I saw, a whole white arm bone turned into a bone sword, appeared in his hand, and pointed directly at the boy, but the hole where the bone was pulled out is slowly healing. The bone sword flew and immediately scratched the young man's handsome face, leaving shocking blood marks. The young man seemed to be stunned and motionless. What kind of weird technique is this? So F King Scary. The little blacksmith in front of him didn't look as cowardly as before. Advertisement. Totally like a demon from hell. Several companions even fled. Remember, in my eyes, you are the untouchable. After Chi Yejun finished speaking, he picked up the opponent's collar, gathered chakra in his palms, and threw him out fiercely. Boom. The boy fell to the ground. With only two moves, Dead Bone Pulse completely defeated the white-eyed boy. It was really not challenging. Just when Chi Yejun was about to leave, a gust of palm wind suddenly struck from behind. Aikano Jun instinctively gathered chakra, and his whole body emitted a faint blue light. Then the white skeleton appeared again. Only this time the pieces are connected together. In just a few seconds, Chi Yejun's entire body was wrapped in bone armor, and even his face was covered by bones. Only two holes were left in the eyes, emitting a strange red light. 
The wide-eyed boy's fist hit the bone and was immediately rebounded. Several kunao also fell to the ground. There was a sudden shock in the young man's chest, a chill came over him, and a large mouthful of blood spurted out. His fists turned bloody. It turned out that when I saw Chi Yejun was about to leave just now, my blood rushed into my head and I just wanted to kill the guy who had caused him such humiliation today. So he took out the kunao from his ninja bag and shot it straight into the heart of Toshi Aikano. At the same time, the whole person also flew forward and used physical skills again. Looking at Chi Yejun, who is now covered in bones, the boy was really scared to pee this time. Tell me your name. Chi Yejun asked with a smile. Haiga. Haiga gate. Later, when rescuing Feng Guakoyuki, the two met again. Although he controlled Chakra's output, these two moments were enough for him to stay in bed for a month. The boy looked pale and staggered up, stumbling out of the forest, with a pool of bloodline dripping behind him. Only then did the bone armor on Chi Yejun's body retract. He sat on the ground, wondering, this wasn't the Chun dance and Karamatsu dance that were rewards just now? Could it be a self-created ninjutsu created in an emergency? Then, he tried to use the bone armor technique again, but failed. It seems that this is indeed a protective ninjutsu that is automatically generated in response to stress. Let's call it bone armor, it's so awesome. At the same time, several black shadows on the trees in the distance disappeared. Advertisement. Chapter 3 Obtaining Universal Space. Advertisement. Hokage Building. Sarutobi Hiruzen saw what was happening through the glass ball. He took a deep breath, his face full of shock. Dead bone pulse? Is this little guy in the blacksmith shop a member of the Teru Yoriwiki clan, hidden so deeply? I don't have much impression of Sarutobi Hiruzen about Aikano Jun. I only know that he is a silent and honest child. Never thought about it. Actually owns dead bone pulse? I don't know if this is a benefit or a disadvantage to Kanaha village. Third generation is deep in thought. The next day, the morning light slowly opened the sky, and it was another fresh morning. Chi Yejun came to the edge of the forest to practice. To accurately control the changes in chakra, treading water, and climbing trees are the easiest ways. There was a stream at the edge of the forest, and he could already walk on water. And climbing trees is no problem. Sudden, I could vaguely hear the sound of pop 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 coming from the jungle in the distance. Since possessing infinite chakra, his physical and mental strength have also increased. The five senses are also much sharper than before. Could it be that someone was having sex early in the morning? Out of curiosity, Aikano Jun accumulated chakra at his feet, jumped onto the tree, and jumped towards the place where the sound came from. And right now, the system releases a new check-in task. This time it is a performance art check-in, host can choose the difficulty of the task. D-level, hold hands with the Hokage character you encounter next. Level A, hug the next Hokage character you encounter. S-level, kiss the Hokage character you meet next for 15 seconds. The more difficult the task, the richer the reward. Then can I see the other person before making a choice? What if we encounter Zabiza, those big fangs? Can. Advertisement. The sound is getting closer and closer, and the slapping sound is very regular. Mission characters are about to appear. Chi Yejun thought silently in his heart, Hineda, Ino, Tenten. Immediately, looking around, a young man appeared below the jungle. Thick eyebrows, big eyes, and a watermelon head. The thick eyebrow monster in the mouth of little Sakura. The hot-blooded rock Lee drives high and drives low. Chinin's fierce physical skills during the exam made him shine. But after the peak, it is completely unwatchable. Rock Lee seems to tell people a truth. No matter how hard you try, you can't win by blood, only by fighting for your father. But Chi Yejun likes him quite a lot. He has a simple and passionate personality and has been working hard to become an excellent ninja. And when he was bullied in the village before, Rock Lee helped him. Chi Yejun stepped forward and greeted him warmly. The two quickly became familiar with each other. But from beginning to end, Rock Lee never stopped punching wooden golem. The bandages on his hands even splattered with blood. Can you teach me physical training methods? Chi Yejun asked with a smile. Rock Lee nodded cheerfully, his teeth shining brightly. Then tomorrow morning, if you are still here, I will teach you the weight-bearing method. Chi Yejun was so happy that he took the opportunity to step forward and hug him tightly. The system prompt sounded soon. Ding! Congratulations to host for completing the performance art sign-in task and being rewarded with universal space. Universal space? What is this? After saying goodbye to Rock Lee, Chi Yejun mobilized his mind and entered the omnipotent space. This place is very large, and you can enter various areas with your mind. Chi Yejun chose the library and instantly appeared in a hall. There are many kinds of books here, including Eight Gate. Not only is there a literary masterpiece like Les Miserables, but there is also Postpartum Care of Saus. Chi Yejun flipped through it for a long time and finally found the book Intimate Paradise and several sequels. Advertisement. The storage cabinet stores various materials and items, including food ingredients, building materials, tools, plant seeds, household appliances, etc. What an awesome and practical space. After thinking about it, he decided to decorate the simple den. So I took out a thick wool carpet and spread it in the house, and then took out some pots of flowers. The cabin suddenly felt much warmer. After that, I took out snacks such as bread, cakes, chocolates, and watermelons, strawberries, and grapes and put them in the refrigerator. In the end, the sofa, TV, DVD player, computer, game console and air conditioner were also moved out. After finishing my busy work, I lay comfortably on the sofa and started watching Ultra Mantiga. Then I started playing the controller game Grand Theft Auto 5. This kind of small life is really leisurely and comfortable. The morning exercise ended the next day. Aikano Jun plans to visit Sarutobi Hiruzen. Dead bone pulse has been exposed, which will inevitably attract the attention of Kanaha's top management. At this moment, if you go to make friends and hug someone, you can avoid some trouble. Walking through a secluded alley, I suddenly heard the vicious sarcasm of several teenagers, and the faint cry of a girl. Hey, Hayaga's family? Stop. White-eyed fairy. Those eyes look so disgusting. Hayaga family? White-eyed goblin. Based on his familiarity with Hokage and the girls crying, Aikano Shun judged that it should be Hineda. Hineda whimpered, soft and pitiful. Chi Yejun's eyes were condensed and his face was as cold as frost. Hineda is a young lady from a big family after all, but she's reduced to being bullied? This ninja from the Hayaga family can kill herself by disemboweling herself. How dare these little brats touch Laozi's little Lolita? They are really looking for death. 
Chi Yejun decided to teach these teenagers a lesson. Data gangs and gangsters, quit, don't yell about the timeline, this is a teenager. It means that I am the same age as Hineda, who stipulates that you can only be bullied once at the age of 5 or 6, and you will not be bullied again in your teenage years. But he didn't really want to hurt them, just scare them. Hey, don't bully her. Chi Yejun said angrily. The five or six little guys were so outnumbered that they didn't pay attention to him at all, so they grabbed stones and threw them at him. Where did this wild boy come from? Go away. After saying that, he pushed Hineda to the ground. Advertisement. Chi Yejun chuckled. You are indeed a bunch of brats, look at Lao Zi scaring you to death. After thinking for a while, I cast transformation technique. When they saw Chi Yejun again, they were so frightened that their legs shook like a sieve. Shinigami-sama. At this moment, Aikano Shun transformed into a Shinigami dressed in black. Carrying a scythe. A skull face peeks out from under the hood. Horrible and weird. He chuckled and pulled open his black robe, revealing his white ribs. Apologize to her. Chi Yejun deliberately lowered his voice and said, Yeah, I'm sorry, Hineda. Dominated by fear, the teenagers obeyed absolutely. Now that you've apologized, now, just go die. Chi Yejun raised the scythe and was about to drop it. The children screamed, their pants became warm, and they ran away. Aikano Jun then chuckled and walked towards Hineda. Hineda was shaking with fear. Chi Yejun returned to his original form and walked over gracefully. My name is Aikano Jun. After speaking, he stretched out his hand and pulled her up. Hineda had short black and blue hair and was wearing a lavender shirt. Her shy expression made her face bleed. Looking at her chubby little face, Chi Yejun really wanted to pinch it. Thank you, my name is, hi, hi ga Hineda. Her voice was soft and soft, like the hum of a mosquito due to her shy nature. There were tears in the corners of her eyes, looking at the boy who saved her, feeling an inexplicable sense of security in her heart. Chi Yejun on the side just looked at her quietly. Their eyes met, and Hineda lowered her head shyly. Afterwards, after bowing to Chi Yejun, he turned around and ran away. So kawaii, Chi Yejun smiled and left the alley. Some people are still clamoring that Hineda should like Naruto at this time and give her back to Naruto. Hineda gives Naruto back? Give her away? Then write a hairy fan novel? The protagonist of this book is not Naruto but Aikano Jun. Okay. Advertisement. Chapter 4 Obtaining Full Attribute Chakra. Advertisement. Come to the Hokage building. There are two things to do today. One is to buy land. The second is enrollment. After the briefing, I went upstairs to meet the third Hokage. With a large fire hat, white robe, and iconic pipe, he looks like a 10,000 year smoker. But the old man looked a little frail, with two dark circles under his eyes. I guess I used the crystal ball to peek into the women's bathhouse again. There are still a few suspicious pieces of toilet paper in the trash can. Chi Yejun almost laughed. However, he was still very excited inside. What's in front of me is the famous third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen? Sarutobi Hiruzen also recognized Aikano Jun, the little orphan in the blacksmith shop. Owner of dead bone pulse? However, he did not ask too much, but asked kindly, What do you want from me? Aikano Jun said straight to the point, Grandpa Hokage, my house is too dilapidated and I want to buy a piece of land. Third generation was shocked. This little guy has a pretty cool tone. But does he have money? Ahem. I need to discuss this with the two elders. Elder? Mitokato Homura and Yudan Kohara. But the old man quickly asked, Ahem, then do you have money? Of course, Chi Yejun didn't have enough money to buy land and build a house, and there was no pawn shop found here. But he was already ready? Immediately pull out intimacy violence and intimacy tactics. The sequel to Happiness in Paradise. This is. Third generation took it and almost had a nosebleed. Third generation coughed a few times. Ahem. I'll think about this again. Through observation, Chi Yejun discovered that the old man's skin was dull, which was a sign that toxins in the body could not be eliminated. Advertisement. So he took out something from the space and handed it to him. Grandpa Hokage, are you eating so many bananas because of constipation? This is Kaisela, whoever uses it knows. Third generation picked it up and was about to drink it, but Aikano Jun stopped him with a smile. But stuffed. A few minutes later, the toilet made a plop sound. Third generation walked out happily and fell in love with this little guy even more. A bottle of Kaislu solves the constipation that has been bothering me for a long time. Seeing that the land purchase was fruitless, Chi Yejun could only ask. I want to go to school. Ninja school? But, the graduation exam is in three months, and you are already 12 years old. Third generation stroked his beard and thought for a moment. But for the sake of the comic book and Kaislu, he still nodded in agreement. In this case, let me test your chakra level first, so that I can decide which class you will go to. Third generation took out a test strip. This is chakra test paper, cut by wind, crushed by earth, wrinkled by thunder, wet by water, burned by fire. Aikano Jun pinched the test paper and closed his eyes to concentrate on chakra. He is also very curious about what attributes he possesses. But, the test paper shows no response. Sarutobi Hiruzen shook his head with some disappointment and said in his mind, It seems like he is the same as Rock Lee, with first class physical skills and scumbag ninjutsu. Then we took him to the rooftop to test the chakra content. Aikano Jun adjusted his breathing and concentrated chakra on his fingers. A ball of light the size of a fist appeared. Huh? This should reach Jenin's chakra amount. The ball of light continued to grow in size, until it was the size of a basketball, and the blue light became increasingly dazzling. Third generation was shocked. This, has completely reached Chunin level. The ball of light finally settled on a diameter of one meter. Jonin chakra amount, how is it possible? For a moment, Sarutobi Hiruzen was stunned. But, advertisement. The light ball stopped expanding, but Chi Yejun's whole body was filled with blue light. He can actually imitate the chakra code that is visible to the naked eye. Only Shodei can do this. Third generation never dreamed that the orphan who had been hidden for many years would turn out to be a treasure baby. Only then did Chi Yejun stop and exhale. Grandpa Hokage, can I enroll in school? He asked with a smile. Of course, of course. Third generation recovered from the extreme shock and touched his head gently. 
Kanaha village revitalization is expected? Only. Why can't his chakra detect attributes? However, having such a majestic amount of chakra at the age of 12, and having a dead bone pulse physique, he is definitely considered a genius. The third generation needs a successor who can inherit the will of fire. And once the right opportunity is found, the roots must be disbanded and Danzo's power weakened. The appearance of Chi Yejun strengthened his determination. We must do everything we can to keep him. Otherwise, if it is snatched away by other villages, Kanaha village will undoubtedly have a strong enemy in the future. According to regulations, only the last descendants of a large family can receive pensions, but you are an exception. From now on, you can receive subsidies every month, just like Naruto Suzuki and others. In this way, Chi Yejun can quit the blacksmith shop and go to school with peace of mind. Chi Yejun smiled and said, Thank you, Grandpa Hokage, where is the land? Third generation thought for a while and said kindly, There's no problem with the land, ahem, and I'll entrust you with the task of building a house for free. Two days later, Chi Yejun received the land deed. The root of the secret investigation also reported the news to Danzo. Twelve years old, dead bone pulse, chucker coat, are you sure you read that correctly? That's right, and he also gave the old man some picture album. The two of them have a very warm relationship. Dead bone pulse, Danzo muttered, frowning. Keep paying attention. This evening, the system has released the latest check-in task. Go to Senju Station at night to sign in. Advertisement. Senju of the forest? Now only Tsunade is left in the family, traveling around the world. The family's strength has weakened, and the remaining members have been diverted from the station and gradually faded out of people's sight. Night comes. Chi Yejun came to a dilapidated house at the head of the village, which was far from its former glory. Push the door open and enter. The courtyard is knee-deep in weeds and dead leaves cover the ground. Spider webs hang from the eaves of the corridor, swaying in the wind. When he walked into the house, he was even more disappointed. At this moment, the system electronic sound sounded. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully signing in and getting full attribute chakra. Full attribute chakra? Wind, thunder, fire, water, earth, yin, and yang? Chi Yejun was stunned. Soon, Chi Yejun felt seven wonderful powers overflowing from seven parts of his head, face, throat, abdomen, anus, birds, and solace of his feet. The seven forces quickly gathered in the chest and blended together. In the Hokage world, normal people only possess a few chakra attributes. You can count the characters with all attributes on two hands. Every one of them is a strong person. But now I actually have all attributes. Haha, <laughs> cool. Suddenly he had a new goal. Possess all the ninjutsu, taijutsu, and genjutsu in the Hokage world? Become the almighty king? Chi Yejun leaned against the dusty bedside, smiled and fell asleep. Until I wake up. Looking up. A face that captivates the country? I wipe it? Isn't this Tsunade Haim known as the big fat sheep? Why is she here? Advertisement. Chapter 5 Obtaining Physical Magic Power and Thousand Years of Death. Advertisement. Since the death of his younger brother and lover, Tsunade has retired to Kanaha village. Although he travels all over the world, he is still connected to Kanaha village. She would come back with Shizen from time to time to check on her and report on her situation. Tsunade happened to return to the village tonight and saw Toshi Aikino sleeping soundly. The moment she saw him, Tsunade was stunned. How much like my brother Noeke when he was little. As I thought about it, I couldn't help but hold him tightly in my arms. At this moment, the system issued a new task again. But this time it's a sign-in task for performance art. Please host act coquettishly in Tsunade's arms. It's a piece of cake. Chi Yejun was ecstatic. System sounds pop up. Ding. Congratulations to host for completing the performance art check-in task and being rewarded with physical skills. The abilities of the Senju clan, chakra can be concentrated on any part of the body, and then a powerful flow of air will burst out to increase attack power. The holographic panel pops up. Host, Toshi Aikano, age, 18 years old. Chakra attributes, wind, thunder, fire, water, earth, yin, yang. Mastered ninjutsu, god-level clone technique, god-level body replacement technique, god-level transformation technique. Mastered physical skills, Karamatsu's dance, Sabeki's dance, and strange power. Mastered illusion, none. Special physique, dead bone pulse. Blood succession limit, dead bone pulse. Chakra amount, infinity. Early the next morning, Tsunade and Shizun had left, and Aikano Jun ran to the forest. At 6 o'clock in the morning, people will miss the warmth of the quilt. But for young people, it is a rare time to practice. Advertisement. Before Rock Lee came, he planned to try the strange power he was rewarded last night. Aikano Jun raised his arm and concentrated the chakra. Suddenly the fist was filled with a powerful blue light. Then he bent down and punched the boulder. Boom, the ground suddenly shook, causing a loud noise. The hit rocks flew and exploded, and the boulders instantly turned into rubble. Hiss. Chi Yejun took a deep breath and was extremely shocked. The strange thing is that my hand doesn't hurt at all. After a moment of horror, a surge of ecstasy filled my heart. This punch is too powerful, simple and crude. One fresh trick, eaten all over the world. After a while, Xiao Li also came. He taught Aikano Jun weight-bearing training methods, and Aikano Jun also gave him a set of comics Harano Sakura 18 Forbidden. Every morning after that, Aikano Jun would learn Teijutsu with Rock Lee. Although he has the system, Toshi Chino doesn't want to become too lazy. It's never a bad thing to practice more. Because he was too focused, he didn't notice a cute figure staring at him in the bushes in front of him. Short blue-black hair, white eyes. After seeing Chi Yejun successfully climb to the top, he showed a shy smile and left. Hayagahi Neda. Ever since she was rescued by Chi Yejun last time, she would always think of this handsome boy. There are only a few days left until enrollment. Chi Yejun received a new task. Ding. Please host go to Hokage Iwashita to complete the sign-in. Since traveling for more than a month, apart from working as an apprentice at the blacksmith shop on the outskirts of the village, he has never been to the central area of the village. Looking along the way, Chi Yejun was so excited that the birds jumped. Kanaha village is vast and stretches as far as the eye can see. Advertisement. The Kanaha village I saw in anime before was just a glimpse. In addition to residential areas near the bottom of the valley, there are also large expanses of forest. It is indeed the largest ninja village in the five major countries. When he came to Shadow Rock, he was shocked by the majestic and majestic landscape. The system's reward sound then sounded. Ding. 
Congratulations to host for completing the sign-in, and will be rewarded with thousand years of death. Thousand years of death. The E-level Teijutsu developed by Heitake Sakamo was later passed on to his son Kakashi, and was improved by Naruto into a kunao version with a detonating talisman. Commonly known as exploding chrysanthemum technique and fire burning buttocks. In his opinion, this is a funny physical technique. I just didn't expect that it would come in handy soon. On this day, I was just about to leave after practicing. Suddenly I felt a gust of wind in the tree, being followed. Chi Yejun stopped and hid in the bushes. After careful observation, I found a person in the tree opposite. Black cloak, patterned mask, ninja costume. Haha, <laughs> roots. The reason for this judgment is that the roots are more diverse than umbu masks and are not limited to animals. I guess dead bone pulse attracted Danzo's attention. A little evil suddenly welled up inside him, just in time to try a thousand years of death. After thinking about it, I entered the universal space and fumbled around for a while, and took out a large coke bottle. But it contains Kaislu. Flash came to the tree. Holding a coke bottle in both hands, he jumped into the air, a scream sounded. Then there was a burst of plop, plop, plop. A song seems to be floating in the distance, the cold rain slaps randomly on the face. Fortunately, Chi Yejun hid quickly. Advertisement. This trick was improved by him, thousand years of death. Cleanse the intestines and open the cellu. Young man, are you following me? I'll give you an invincible hemorrhoid. After returning home with a smile, Chi Yejun suddenly thought of a serious question. As the system's rewards become more and more impressive, it is bound to attract attention. Especially Danzo, there is only one way now, and that is to become a disciple of third generation. This is like finding a solid backer in the previous world and accepting someone as your godfather. Take time to find the old man to explore the way. I wonder if he is willing to. Early the next morning, brush your teeth, wash your face, and have breakfast of jam bread and milk. Today is the first day of admission. The system released the check-in task in advance last night. Ding. Please host go to the ninja school to sign in, the deadline is two days. After arriving at the school, the reward appears. Ding, congratulations to host for arriving at the check-in location, rewarded with fire style. Great fireball technique. Phew, fire style. Great fireball technique. Well, the loving technique has never burned anyone to death. Chi Yejun didn't know whether to laugh or cry, but I was finally rewarded with an offensive ninjutsu. After coming out of the academic affairs office, Aikano Jun was assigned to Iruka's class. Pushing the door and walking into room 301, Chi Yejun was stunned. The scene in front of me is completely different from the one in the anime, the classroom was in a mess. You chased me, ate potato chips, slept, bickered, and bitten me. It was so lively. After seeing the livid-faced Iruka, everyone returned to their seats and sat upright. Chi Yejun looked around and couldn't help but be excited. Because sitting below are all familiar characters. Hineda, Suzuki, Sakura, Ino, Shino, Shikamaru, Kiba, and Koji. Hey, where's Naruto? Advertisement. Chapter 6 Little Sakura and Ino appear. Advertisement. Iruka cleared his throat and introduced. This is Aikano Jun, and he will be everyone's new partner from now on. As soon as Toshi Chino walked into the classroom, he was struck by searchlight like gazes. Hey, isn't this an apprentice from the blacksmith shop? Why was he transferred to our class? Yay, yeah, I heard that he dropped out of school before and was a guy who couldn't even learn the three body technique. Listen to my dad, his mom is still a kabuki dancer. Chi Yejun understands that most of the students in this class are from famous families or are talented teenagers. It's normal for him to be surprised when he suddenly appears here. He smiled disapprovingly, showing his white teeth, which immediately caused an uproar from the girls. Wow, so handsome. A fight with Suzuki. It's a pity that he is an orphan who is a blacksmith. Aikano Jun's eyes happened to meet Suzuki's, and he gave a friendly smile. But, Suzuki turned his head expressionlessly. A hot face with a cold butt. Quiet, let's start the roll call. Teacher Iruka took out the roll call. Achiha Suzuki. Arrive. Suzuki's voice had no warmth, and his face was expressionless and calm. Iruka sighed softly and looked at the roll call again. Uzumaki Naruto. The classroom suddenly became eerily quiet, as if the name was special. Uzumaki Naruto. Iruka scanned the students below, and sure enough he didn't find the boy. At this moment, just hear a bang. The classroom door was violently opened. A blonde boy gasped and appeared in the doorway. Hee hee. I'm late. I'm sorry. Ha ha. Naruto. Advertisement. Compared to the gloomy Suzuki, Aikano Shun prefers Naruto. Passionate, simple, cheerful, open-minded, and carefree. Aikano Jun happened to be sitting next to Naruto and said hello with a smile. The two of them had a good affinity and became familiar with each other within one class. The school subjects include theoretical courses such as the history of the five major countries, natural biology, astronomy, and geography, and the ninja code. There are also practical classes such as basic ninjutsu, teijutsu, individual, group, tactics, and ninja tool training. Today, apart from the ninja training, it was all boring theoretical classes. Finally, after school, Iruka appeared at the door of the classroom. Okay, put on your armor tomorrow and there will be a physical training class. After school, the setting sun dyes the school gate with a reddish light. After bidding farewell to Naruto, Aikano Jun walked home alone. Chi, Chi Yejun. Suddenly a timid voice shouted. Aikano Jun looked back and saw the lovely Hineda. She was as fresh and refined as the anime, shyly circling her chest with her fingers. Chi Yejun likes her shy look the most. Seeing Aikano Jun stunned, Hineda blushed and said shyly. It's me, my day, day, day. Aikano Shun showed a charming smile, Hayaga Hineda. Hineda smiled happily when she saw that he actually remembered her name. You saved me last time. I haven't thanked you yet. Can I treat you to something to eat? Chi Yejun nodded. Okay, let's go back together. After saying that, he walked towards Kanaha Street. Hineda followed him, cowardly, like a little tail. What do you want to eat? Aikano Jun thought for a while, and it was naturally the famous Ichiraku Ramen. Kanaha Street. Ichiraku Ramen. Aikano Jun ordered tonkotsu ramen, fish rice, and cheese grilled squid pancakes. Hineda only ordered tuna vegetable ramen. After the noodles arrived, Hineda broke open her bamboo chopsticks and ate honestly. Chi Yejun was not in a hurry to eat, but stared at her with narrowed eyes. 
He has a baby face, his hair hangs neatly on his forehead, his eyes are filled with mist, and his lips are as pink as stamens. Advertisement. She took small sips and ate the noodles quietly, and stupidly picked up the bowl to drink the noodle soup. Chi Yejun was suddenly stunned. I don't know what he was thinking at that time, but he reached out and rubbed her hair. This action scared Hineda out of her wits. The noodles slurped and stopped at her mouth, and she was in a dilemma. But, her heart soon filled with sweetness, but, she wasn't full. Ikeno Jun ate the ramen in a very happy mood, but he smiled in his heart. Cute little Hineda, you really know how to pretend. Do you think I don't know the 46 bowl record? Haha. Ha. After eating, the two said goodbye. Hineda went home and lay on the big white bed. Her thick eyelashes trembled, and she hugged the pillow like a koala. She couldn't help but think of Toshi Ikeno. After Chi Yejun returned home, he entered the universal space. Tonight he's upping the great fireball technique. Taijutsu can be practiced in the forest, but ninjutsu such as water and fire are not suitable. There is a lake in the space and a spacious open space next to it. Just the right place to train. The next morning. He didn't get up early for morning exercise because he slept for three hours last night. However, fire style. Great fireball technique has been upgraded to a god level. Come to school. Today is Mr. Irika's Taijutsu practice class. On the training ground, Uchiha Suzuki became the focus of the class. Especially those nymphomaniac girls whose eyes never left his side for a moment. Okay, everyone, stand in line. The freshmen stand on Suzuki's right. Irika whistled. Ikeno Jun ran to Suzuki's side. Sudden, a pink-haired girl rushed over and knocked Chi Yejun away. Harano Sakura. Suzuki-kun. Little Sakura greeted softly. Suddenly he frowned and found that the yellow-haired enemy was actually standing on the other side of Suzuki. Hey, why are you standing next to Suzuki-kun? Instead, the hot Eno hugged Suzuki's neck. I should be asking you this question. Your position should be that of the new student. Go to hell. Eno pig. Advertisement. Ugly, broad forehead. Chi Yejun was stunned at the moment. Fortunately, Irika stopped them in time, but Suzuki looked like it had nothing to do with him. However, the two girls did reach a consensus on one issue. Suzuki-kun is the most handsome. The most handsome? Chi Yejun doesn't think so. Soon, a large group of nymphomaniac girls also shouted, Suzuki-kun is the most handsome. Chi Yejun couldn't help laughing in his heart. It's such a small temple that I haven't seen a big incense burner. I have to say that they are much more handsome. Itake, Kimimaro, the red sand scorpion and his father, Yahiko, Namikaze Minato, Diodera, and even the second idiot Haiden. But in his mind, the most handsome one is Kakashi without his mask. Anti-collision, Kakashi has never taken off the mask. Please watch episode 689 at 2041. It shows the most original and real Kakashi, and he also has a beauty mark. He is really handsome. Next, new classmates, please introduce yourself. Irika smiled. My name is Ikeno Jun, and my biggest wish is to become a Hokage. The reason for saying this is that he knows that the third generation must be observing itself through a crystal ball. These words were also spoken to him deliberately to express his position and determination. Naruto also said, and me, Uzumaki Naruto, I will be a Hokage man in the future. The audience burst into jeers. The crane tail also wants to be the Hokage, I'm laughing so hard. Yes, it would be a huge miracle if Naruto could become Hokage. The new guy is as ignorant as he is. Little Sakura even shouted. The Hokage should belong to Suzuki-kun. You. Naruto's face turned red and he retorted forcefully, I will definitely surpass Hokage and let the whole village recognize my strength. Seeing everyone's ridicule and doubts, Ikeno Jun could feel the pain in Naruto's heart. So he said in his ear, you will become the seventh Hokage. Naruto was excited and asked, are you telling the truth? Chi Yejun nodded. His peers would always ridicule and ridicule him. The adults looked even more distant and cold, as if he was a disgusting monster. He had long been accustomed to this. But he didn't expect that this new student not only didn't laugh at him, but actually gave him such great encouragement. Naruto hugged Ikeno Jun. The friendship between the two was officially established. Advertisement. Chapter 7 Fire Style. Great Fireball Showdown. Advertisement. Teacher Irika stepped forward and separated the two people who were hugging each other tightly. Okay, today is the first practical class for new students. According to the regulations, your level must be tested first. How to assess? Chi Yejun asked. In this way, you challenge Nara Shikamaru. Nara Shikamaru looked impatient and muttered, Why me? It's really troublesome. At this moment, the system jumped out. Ding! Task check-in is now released. Please change the challenge object and choose Uchiha Suzuki. After hearing this, Jun Ikeno immediately said, Teacher Irika, I want to challenge Suzuki. This sentence blew up the whole place like a bomb. You heard that right? He's going to challenge Suzuki. Are you crazy? Dare you challenge to be number one in the class? Although Suzuki is very cool, his strength is indeed unmatched by anyone, especially the fire style great fireball. This guy looks as playful and smiling as Naruto, he must be a loser too. Haha, ha, there's something good to watch. Ding, the task sign-in is successfully completed and the reward is host body flicker technique. Oh no, why not flying thunder god and tenshou power? Typical greedy snake swallows elephant. However, the body flicker technique is not bad either. Before the Chinin exam, Emperor Guy used this and suddenly appeared behind Suzuki and the others. At that time, Toshi Chino was so envious after seeing it. If the body flicker technique proficiency is raised to the god level, wouldn't it be so fast that people can't even see the afterimage? The joy welling up in his heart made him couldn't help but curl up his lips. The discussion begins. Come on Suzuki. The girls screamed and cheered for Suzuki. On the other hand, it was Suzuki who had his hands in his trouser pockets and a calm expression on his face. Irika came up and asked. Suzuki-san, do you agree to compete with Ikeno Jun? Suzuki's answer was beyond everyone's expectations. No need to compare. Everyone started to question. What? No need. Does Suzuki want to give up? Well, in that case, Mr. Irika planned to change into Narakamaro. Suzuki said in a low voice, just sentence him to lose directly to avoid accidental injury. Advertisement. As soon as this statement came out, it caused an uproar. The boys who admired him said excitedly, this is Suzuki. Yeah, it turns out he didn't admit defeat, but didn't bother to compete. He feels that Chi Yejun is not qualified to fight with him at all. Little Sakura was even more excited, Suzuki-kun is so handsome. Everyone's reaction was normal because Suzuki's grades have always been among the best and he is a descendant of the Uchiha clan. Almost all his classmates cast admiring glances at him. Only Naruto, who clenched his hands into fists, was excited. 
He hugged Ikonojun and said, Don't listen to those idiots, you can beat Suzuki. Chi Yejun smiled in his heart. As expected, he is a second-rate second pillar, and he never forgets to show off. Iruka didn't expect Suzuki to say that, and was stunned. Suzuki said calmly, Teacher, I'll finish class first. At this moment, Chi Yejun finally stood up and said with a smile, Suzuki, I really don't want to fight you. The students booed for a while. Of course you don't want to, you're afraid of being beaten to pieces. Chi Yejun shook his head and laughed. Hey, I'm afraid of hurting you. Suzuki was stunned and said briefly, Since you want to compete so much, let's start. The training ground fell silent. Don't forget the seal of reconciliation after it's over. Discussion does not mean fighting. It ends there. Iruka emphasized. The two formed a seal of opposition at the same time. The crowd held their breath for fear of missing the highlights. I won't show mercy. Suzuki said coldly before moving quickly. But, when he rushed in front of his opponent, Chi Yejun disappeared in the suddenly stirred up dust. Then, when Suzuki was surprised, Ikeno Jun had already appeared behind him. He actually knows the body flicker technique. Suzuki was extremely surprised, and just when he was about to avoid it, Ikeno Jun dodged in front of him again. A strong wind carrying blue chakra roared. A powerful uppercut hit him directly in the abdomen. Of course, Chi Yejun accurately controlled his strength and did not use any strange power techniques. But despite this, Suzuki still groaned and was knocked away several meters away. Advertisement. What's the situation? Everyone was stunned. Why did Suzuki fall? What did that Chi Yejun do to him? The training ground was dead silent. This result. It was so unexpected. Who is Uchiha Suzuki? Great myth. But just now, this inconspicuous new student completely shattered the myth. Haha, <laughs> Suzuki, the bastard king, have you finally tasted the feeling of being punched away? The nervous Naruto reacted first and shouted loudly. As for why Junji is so strong? Unimportant? The key is that the pushy bastard finally got beaten? So happy? Naruto jumped up excitedly and deliberately leaned next to little Sakura. I just told you, Ikeno Jun will definitely win, Dibia. Little Sakura moved away in disgust, idiot, get out of the way. Teacher Iruka was also shocked. This new student's Teijutsu is pretty good, maybe Suzuki is careless. Suzuki stood up slowly, his head hurt and his ears were ringing. Thunderous shouts suddenly erupted from the field. One side cheers for Suzuki. Only Naruto raised his hands into a trumpet and shouted loudly, You idiots, Ikeno Jun will win. Suzuki smiled faintly, his face was calm and relaxed, but he thought in his heart, You underestimated your opponent. If I could activate Sherry Non, I would be able to detect the opponent's flaws and weaknesses. The corners of his lips raised slightly, revealing a hint of coldness. Then raise your hands. Prepare for the opening move of the Great Fireball? Is Suzuki going to use his special move? There were exclamations on the field. Suzuki thought that the new guy definitely didn't know the Uchiha clan, and he definitely didn't know what he was going to do next. But he didn't know that Junji was a Hokage fan. Suzuki. Iruka's expression changed drastically when he saw Suzuki's gesture. The competition focuses on physical skills, and suddenly using the fire style of the Grandmaster of the Uchiha clan might hurt Ikeno Jun. Advertisement. He looked nervous, ready to come to the rescue at any time. And Hineda, Naruto, Inoshikacho, and others naturally also know the power of the Great Fireball. Do you use C-level ninjutsu for practical training? That's too much. The nymphomaniac girls, led by Sakura and Ino, shouted. Wow, look at Suzuki's hand seal movements, he's so cool. It's so handsome. Suzuki's hands have quickly formed hand seals. As I wish and hai wu yin. Fire style. Great fireball technique. Then, he puffed up his cheeks, put his right hand to his mouth, and a ball of fire spewed out. The hot breath swept into the field. The temperature of the tape even made the students watching from a distance feel like a heat wave was hitting them. The flames rushed toward Chi Yejun. However, just when Iruka was about to rush in and save Ikeno Jun, after seeing his actions, the whole person froze. Because Toshi Ikeno formed the hand seals faster than Suzuki, call. Fire style? Great fireball technique? What is this guy doing? Is he also using fire style? Impossible, he doesn't have Sherry Non, how can he copy? Suzuki froze on the spot as if struck by lightning. There was a roar. Two giant great fireballs collided in the air, causing sparks to fill the sky. Suddenly, the fire is soaring into the sky, Iruka exclaimed, everyone, move away. Just when Suzuki was stunned, Chi Yejun spit out a ball of fire again. Although the type of ninjutsu is the same, it's not the same concept at all this time. The giant great fireball, about 5 meters in diameter, lit up the entire training ground red. Because he was afraid of being too ostentatious, Ikeno Jun deliberately controlled the chakra output. This, this is the true power of the great fireball? This is the fireball that can really burn people to death? Suzuki reacted and hurriedly backed away, slumping to the ground to avoid the fireball. The scene suddenly became excited. What's the situation? Advertisement. Chapter 8 Traveling Frog Doll. Advertisement. Naruto rushed down and hugged Ikeno Jun. Haha, <laughs> you defeated that guy. That's great. To celebrate, treat me to ramen after school. Well, all right. From beginning to end, Suzuki was in a sluggish state. Chi Yejun released the ninjutsu. The huge flame disappeared in midair, leaving only a cloud of smoke. Everyone was stunned. Looking at Chi Yejun again, he seemed to have seen a ghost. The classmates have always been envious of Suzuki's fire style great fireball. But I didn't expect it. This newly transferred apprentice from the blacksmith shop is actually even more powerful. Iruka was so shocked that he couldn't even close his jaw. When third generation placed him in his own class, he was still puzzled. Can a child who has dropped out of school and does not know three body technique graduate in three months? Now I finally understand. He is a hidden genius? The purpose of going to school is to get a diploma, and then naturally become a ninja. Okay, the test is over. Classmate Ikeno Jun, don't forget the seal of reconciliation. Ikeno Jun nodded and walked to Suzuki and stretched out his hand. Suzuki was completely numb at the moment. There is no trace of forcing the king in the past. However, he did not accept Chi Yejun's help, but staggered up with his own strength. The classmates all cast various complicated looks. There is sympathy, surprise, and schadenfreude. Little Sakura glared at Ikeno Jun and said in disgust, another idiot as annoying as Naruto, idiot. On the contrary, it was Hineda, with little stars of love flying in her eyes. Chi Yejun looked sideways and smiled tenderly at her. After the test was over, Iruka calmed down and asked. 
Classmate Ikono Jun, you must have worked hard for a long time to reach where you are today, right? Share it with your classmates. Chi Yejun didn't know how to answer this time. I can't tell everyone that I used it hundreds of times in space to improve my proficiency, right? He could only laugh and scratch his head. This is my first time using it today. What? First time using it. Advertisement. Hear this? The whole place exploded? It was so awesome the first time I used it. Suzuki felt mixed emotions inside. It's dark, the roads are slippery, and society is complicated. This guy who looks inconspicuous is actually a master of concealment. In ninja school, it's my scene, and I should be the protagonist? Fortunately, Suzuki's realm is quite broad. Although he sometimes likes to show off, he never bullies others. Suzuki had no objection to the kid from the blacksmith shop. So he walked up to Ji Yejun and smiled lightly. You win this time. After saying that, he put his hands in his pockets and left the training ground. Look, this is Suzuki, so dashing. Yes, even though you are defeated, it is still glorious. The fans raised their arms and shouted again. And on the other side of Kanaha village, Danzo sat on the tatami, his eyes slightly narrowed, surrounded by several close confidants. The strength of that little guy is astonishing and should not be underestimated. And as soon as he entered school, he and Naruto sat in the same seat, and the two quickly hooked up and put their arms around each other. Right? Naruto? Jinchuriki? This was his purpose in approaching Naruto? He wants Naruto's help in the future? But, he's just a teenager, he can't be so cunning, right? Sudden? Danzo has a sudden enlightenment? He was arranged by Sarutobi Hiruzen to take over his Hokage position? Thinking of this, Danzo was shaking with anger. Can't? He and that brat must not be allowed to get help from Jinchuriki. Danzo imagined a plot that didn't exist, and his thoughts became more and more sophisticated. Call a team of ten. After school. The setting sun dies Kanaha village gold and yellow. Advertisement. Naruto clamored to eat ramen to celebrate, but Ikono Jun had to agree with a smile. Real. Oh yeah, long life. Naruto jumped with excitement. Chi Jun, you are indeed my good friend. After his father died in the line of duty, Naruto received a pension at the beginning of every month. But at the end of every month, he would shyly go to Mr. Iruka to treat him to ramen. Now, Naruto rubbed his rice on Ikono Jun's head. Chi Yejun had no objection at all to this. Money. Just numbers. How much more can a teenager eat? Only. Something unexpected happened to him. The two came to Ichiraku Ramen. Then I'm going to start. Naruto clasped his hands together and shouted excitedly. Half an hour later. Wow, so full. On the seat. Naruto exclaimed happily as he patted his watermelon-like belly. Placed in front of him were eight empty bowls stacked together. Miso, seafood, barbecued pork, spicy, volcano, tonkotsu, fresh clams, corn. I ordered all the varieties I could order at once. I've been a little tight lately. I haven't eaten for more than a month. I ordered a little too much today without realizing it. Hee <laughs> hee. He scratched his head and laughed. A few black lines appeared on Chi Yejun's forehead, and he said in his heart, a little bit, this is eight bowls, okay? In the previous life, you could have been a mukbang. Ordinarily, prices in Kanaha village are not high. The cheapest ramen only cost 60 tails. But, Chi Yejun spent all his money on ninja tools and lead weights. There are only more than 200 tails left in my pocket. Seeing Naruto's playful smile, Ikono Jun looked out the window and thought about it. He touched his wallet and smiled slyly. Naruto felt like he was in heaven at this moment. It's nice to meet you. I haven't had such delicious ramen for a long time. We will eat here often from now on. Advertisement. Eating his favorite Ichiraku ramen, and having someone else pay for it. This is Naruto's happiness. Jun, I've cost you a lot of money today, I'm sorry. Bang. He was answered with a soft sound. The blonde boy looked at the place beside him, and his smiling face suddenly froze. Then he showed a grin. Asshole. Jun Ikono, who was sitting next to him just now, disappeared, replaced by a doll of a traveling frog. This is a sample display in the window of the toy store opposite. Obviously, Ikono Shun performs the body replacement technique, and slips away. Naruto was on the verge of going crazy. Even eating a bowl of ramen on weekdays will put you in a tight financial situation for the next few days. There are eight bowls today, and it's a larger portion. Guest, thank you for your business. Sister Iris smiled brightly and bent down, then stretched out her slender hands in front of Naruto. Fortunately, Uncle Ichiraku is honest and honest and takes good care of Naruto. Sometimes when I meet him, I will ask him kindly, Naruto, let me feed you. This time, Naruto can only pay on credit again. This episode did not affect the relationship between the two, but made them closer. The two had similar personalities and soon got tired of being together every day. Chi Yejun also taught him some internet terms from his previous life. Naruto enjoys learning. There is still half a month until the payment is due at the beginning of the month. It would be great if there were Hobi and Jianbei. Chi Yejun had an idea and ran to the blacksmith shop. Because he quit his apprenticeship, the blacksmith was sweating profusely and pushing the bellows. Ikono Jun took out the electric blower collected from the space warehouse. Uncle, it's more efficient to use this. After that, start demonstrating. The flame in the stove indeed burns more vigorously and saves manpower. In the end, he got 1,000 tails in exchange. Haha, <laughs> got money? At this moment, the system jumped out and issued a new sign-in task. Advertisement. Chapter 9 A Battle of Pure Physical Skills. Advertisement. The task issued by the system this time made Chi Yejun scratch his head. Ding. Please host establish friendship with Suzuki and go to Achiha resident Itaka's room to sign in for one week. Build friendships? Still going to Suzuki's house? This task is not that difficult. Chi Yejun was stunned immediately. I just defeated them in the training ground, now why do I have the nerve to visit them as a guest? Moreover, Suzuki has a very cold personality, how could he become friends easily? But the greater the difficulty, the richer the rewards, right? Lying in bed at night, after Mr. Azaw's transformation technique ended, Ikono Shun began to think. The plot will start in three months. It is necessary to establish a relationship with Suzuki early, but how can we become friends in a week? Thinking about it, he fell into a deep sleep. Early the next morning, get up in the morning and practice. 
Hearing the noise in the jungle, Chi Yejun thought it was Xiaoli. When I turned around, I saw that it was Suzuki wearing a blue suit with a fan printed on the back and a poker face. Why is he here? Suzuki also noticed him and the two looked at each other. I don't know why, but there is a complex emotion of inexplicable familiarity and closeness to each other. Maybe it's because they all experienced the pain of losing a loved one early on, and the warmth and warmth of people in Kanaha village. Aikano Jun smiled generously and said, Suzuki, are you coming for morning exercise too? Suzuki nodded, his face expressionless. Then, he got straight to the point and said, Let's fight again. Let's fight again. Chi Yejun scratched his head in confusion. He is indeed a guy who refuses to admit defeat. Last time in the great fireball technique, I was convinced that I lost, but I won't admit defeat in the physical arts because I was careless and underestimated the opponent, so I want to compete with you today. He is indeed a hot-blooded guy. Okay, take advantage of this opportunity and maybe formalize the relationship. Chi Yejun readily agreed. Many friends are unknown to each other. The two of them agreed not to use ninjutsu, shuriken, or kunao, but to compete purely in teijutsu. Of course Aikano Jun is very aware of Suzuki's strength before the plot begins. Although he was known as a genius in school, he didn't play the sherry non, so Shadow Dance Leaf and Shishi couldn't even learn how to play it. His physical fitness and chakra capacity are completely different from his own, but he didn't intend to deliberately let things slip. A hot-blooded boy like Suzuki must be convinced by him, so that he can become a true friend. The battle begins. Jun Aikano performs the body flicker technique. Advertisement. Before Suzuki could react at all, he flashed in front of him. In line with the fine tradition of not hitting him in the face during a sparring match, he punched him on the shoulder. Suzuki hurriedly raised his arms, but was still hit and staggered a few steps. Of course Aikano Jun saved his strength, otherwise Suzuki's arm would have been broken on the spot. But he didn't give the other party any chance to breathe. Stepping forward, he kicked Suzuki directly into the opposite tree trunk with a front kick. As Suzuki slowly slid down, he finally understood what it felt like to be unable to fight back. Chi Yejun smiled and pulled him forward. Continue. Suzuki's determination to refuse to admit defeat has also increased. Clench your fists and use the body flicker technique to charge towards Aikano Jun. Aikano Jun suppressed his speed and burst, and started a pure strength duel with Suzuki. The two of them fought more and more fiercely, like a slut meeting a gangster, she is out of control. However, with strong physical support, Aikano Jun quickly gained the upper hand, while Suzuki's condition slowly began to decline. Aikano Jun with a side kick, knocking directly on Suzuki's back, causing him to squat on the ground and retching. But soon he stood up and wiped the corners of his lips fiercely, still unwilling. How could he say that he was also a young genius from the Uchiha clan, but could he lose twice to children from ordinary families? After a short rest, he challenged Chi Yejun again. Chi Yejun stepped on a stone and suddenly kicked it away. With the explosive power of chakra, the stones flew away like lightning. Of course, the stone was precisely controlled, almost grazing Suzuki's cheek. He could even hear the whistling sound breaking through the air. The stone fell on the tree trunk behind him, suddenly making a hole. Suzuki turned around and looked. I was stunned by this scene. Boom. Before he could recover, Chi Yejun used a strange power technique and directly made a big hole in the ground. All of a sudden, the earth trembled, dust flew, and gravel flew. At this moment, Suzuki was completely dumbfounded, holding his breath and extremely shocked. You can't beat me. Chi Yejun reminded him kindly. The words were spoken in a calm and calm manner. But he shows a calmness and hacky that belies his age. But Suzuki is not someone who gives up easily. He launched a few more rounds of challenges. Until the sun rises in the east and finally stops completely. I surrender. He whispered, although the inner turmoil was still calm on the outside. However, he still asked. Is it the skill gained from blacksmithing? Chi Yejun could only nod. Advertisement. You can't expose the system, that will lead to annihilation. Although this physical contest was completely defeated, Suzuki's inner fighting spirit became even higher. Chi Jun, I have decided that from today on, I will practice hard and one day I will surpass you. After Chi Yejun heard this, he laughed happily. That's like Suzuki, you will succeed. After saying that, she hugged his shoulders affectionately. But Suzuki broke away, humming in disgust, and raised his face at a 45 degree angle. Cool signature move. Golden sunlight shines into the forest, and the fog slowly dissipates. Both of their stomachs growled. They said nothing to each other and walked towards the village in tacit understanding. They all have their own thoughts. Chi Yejun was thinking about how to further establish his relationship and complete the task. Suzuki was hesitant about asking him for advice on Teijutsu, until Chi Yejun broke the silence. Um, can I go to your house for some breakfast? He <laughs> he. Suzuki was stunned. Then he said, whatever. When he reached the door of his house, Suzuki stopped and said, this is my house. Chi Yejun asked deliberately, what about your family? Suzuki looked a little gloomy, it's just me. Come in and have something to eat. Go into the house. The furnishings are simple but very clean. A low table was placed in the center, surrounded by tatami mats. There is also a refrigerator and TV in the room. Chi Yejun seems to have seen the past scene. A family of four sat around the table, happily eating, chatting, and happily. Chi Jun's eyes fell on a photo in the corner. In the photo, Itaki hugs Suzuki tightly, and Suzuki is also enjoying his brother's care. It's a pity that fate plays tricks on people. Four years ago in early July, the Uchiha clan was exterminated. From then on, little Suzuki vowed to kill that man and revive the family. I'll cook, you can do whatever you want. Suzuki said and got into the kitchen. Aikano Jun also got up and headed to the corridor. In one of the rooms, scrolls and books took up more than half of the room. The bed was empty. This should be Uchiha Itaki's room. He called out the system with his mind and wanted to complete the sign-in. But can it be completed? Has our friendship been established? Just as I was thinking about it, the system actually jumped out. Ding! The location check-in task is completed, and the host will be rewarded with invincible cooking skills. Subsequent rewards will be awarded when friendship is established. There are still six days left. I wipe it. Advertisement. It turns out the mission is divided into two parts. Invincible cooking skills? What the hell is this? After Chi Yejun received the reward, he felt a little sad. It seems that we haven't become friends yet. After a while, Suzuki called him to eat. So fast? Chi Yejun came to the living room and imitated him to sit cross-legged. But looking at the dining table, the food in front of me is really unappetizing. Because there are only two dishes. Mui rice ball and tomato egg. No wonder it's so fast. 
Isn't this too simple? Chi Hyejun missed the beef in wooden barrels, twice cooked pork, and braised pork ribs. But Suzuki ate with gusto. Okay, just fill your stomach. He picked up a rice ball and put it in his mouth. That. Suzuki seemed to want to say something, but hesitated. You can say whatever you want. We are all friends, and I feel so flattered to be able to eat food cooked by Suzuki himself. Chi Yejun was familiar by nature, lively and outgoing, and smiled at him. Suzuki was stunned. Friend. For the first time since living alone, I felt a little warmth. He originally wanted Chi Yejun to teach him Taijutsu, but in the end, he still didn't open his mouth. Forget it, it's nothing. After saying that, Suzuki took a bite of the rice ball, his cheeks bulging. Looking at this handsome young man, Chi Yejun's heart surged again. The path this boy will choose from now on is full of loneliness and darkness. The reason why you took refuge in that disgusting snake must have been struggling for a long time. Chi Yejun murmured. Suzuki raised his head and asked, What snake? Ahem, it's nothing, let's eat, he <laughs> he. While thinking about it, he took a big bite of the rice ball. Hey, why does it get better and better the more you eat? Unknowingly, Chi Yejun killed three rice balls. Looking at his exaggerated eating expression, Suzuki finally smiled. After eating, I accidentally glanced at the calendar on the wall. Kanaha year 59, summer. July 21st. Chi Yejun suddenly had an idea, thinking of ways to bring each other closer. The day after tomorrow, July 23rd, Suzuki's birthday, advertisement. Chapter 10 The Showdown with the Roots. Advertisement. After leaving Suzuki's house, the two came to school together. Noon. Chi Yejun returned home and took out the ingredients, wanting to try the god-level cooking skills rewarded by the system. Soon, a bowl of golden egg fried rice was completed. There was also some ham, diced carrots, chopped green onions, and a plate of kimchi on the side. Although it is very simple, it is full of fragrance and makes people appetite just by smelling it. Chi Yejun picked up the spoon and started eating like a storm. I'll wipe it. Did I do this? After taking one bite, he finally understood what it meant to have a mouth-watering taste. It's just an ordinary bowl of egg fried rice, but it can turn out so delicious. Belch. Chi Yejun patted his belly with satisfaction. It's truly a god-level cooking skill. With this skill, you won't have to worry about eating anymore in the future, and you can also start food diplomacy, he <laughs> he. At first I thought this reward was a bit of a trap, but now this feeling completely disappeared. After a short lunch break, we continued back to school to chat. After school, Aikano Shun and Naruto left school. Suddenly, several men in black appeared and stopped them. Master Danzo wants to see you. A man in black ordered coldly. Who is Danzo? Naruto asked curiously. Kanaha Neogage. Later, Chi Yejun guessed the other party's purpose. Is it co-optation or assassination? Seeing that he didn't respond, the root member urged again, Master Danzo wants to see you. Let him wait, I'm not free today. Chi Yejun glanced at him and said unceremoniously. Wow, that's great hacky. Naruto's eyes lit up. Let's go home and play games. Aikano Jun pulled Naruto away. In fact, Chi Yejun was also verifying his guess. As expected, the root member came up and tried to pull him. The visitor is evil. If Danzo wanted to win over me, he would never treat me so roughly. Chi Yejun figured out the opponent's purpose. Assassination? Because his own existence hindered his path to becoming a hokage. Snapped. Turning sideways, Chi Yejun avoided the opponent's grasp. Advertisement. Moment? The air became tense and tense. Naruto looked worried and even stepped forward to push the man in black. Don't touch my friend. At this moment, the system jumped out. Ding. Release of the latest plot check-in mission, shocking the enemy. All right. It seems there is no escape. But Chi Yejun is not afraid. Not to mention having a god-level great fireball, no one can bear the unlimited chakra. Not to mention the powerful dead bone pulls and strange powers. Naruto, why don't we come back another time? Then, regardless of Naruto's reaction, the man in black strode out of the campus gate. There was only one thought in his mind at this moment. Shock the opponent, complete the task, and get awesome rewards. The streets were bustling with people, making it inconvenient for assassination. The black-clothed ninjas formed a cross formation, surrounded Aikano Jun in the middle, and then walked out of the village. Haha, this is because you are afraid that I will escape, block the route, and then take you to a secret place to deal with it. Chi Yejun sneered in his heart. At this time, the sun was setting and the sky was getting dark. They were also getting further and further away from the center of the village. It wasn't until he walked into the edge of the forest that Chi Yejun stopped and stretched his muscles. Grandpa, I don't want to leave. Continue to go. When a root saw him stop, he stepped forward and tried to hold down his arm. Aikano Jun decisively condensed chakra, exerted his strange power, and suddenly released it. Bang. With a loud noise, the man in black was blown away and rolled several times on the grass before stopping. Then his internal organs burst, he vomited blood and died. Chi Yejun looked around at the remaining nine people, his voice was ice cold. I know you are here to carry out an assassination mission, so let's go together. All nine people were stunned. No one would have expected this boy to react like this. Danzo confuses them by forming a ten-man assassination team to deal with a teenager. Isn't he just a teenager? It's amazing how powerful it can be. Advertisement. He actually mobilized troops and mobilized people like this. But the scene just now left them stunned. It seems to be the strange power of the Senju clan. After the leader of the assassination team reacted, he directly ordered. Action. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The opponent pulled out the katana from his waist and rushed towards Aikano Jun. They are well trained and clean. The cold light arrives first, and the sword light is directed at the vital part of the throat. If it had been anyone else, he would have collapsed long ago, but a layer of bone armor suddenly appeared all over Chi Yejun. Haha, <laughs> it finally appeared automatically. Chi Yejun was overjoyed. In addition, a blue coat of chakra also emerges. Bang! The katana collided with the bones, making a harsh collision sound. Moment? A crack appeared on the blade, instantly fissuring the entire blade. A crisp sound? The katana falls apart. Boom! Aikano Shun used the body flicker technique, ducked behind a ninja, and grabbed him by the throat. Then Chakra gathered the solace of his feet and kicked his balls into pieces with a flying kick. The man covered his lower body, fell to the ground in pain, and soon burped. Facing Chi Yejun's crushing, the opponent showed no fear or flinch. It's really a completely emotionless thing. 
Chi Yejun couldn't help but sigh. At this time, the bone armor disappeared. Seeing the opportunity, the assassination team quickly adjusted their formation, and then they all took out Kunao and wanted to throw them. Right now, a handful of Kunao flew from the jungle in the distance. The attack of the assassination team was diffused extremely strangely. Wow. Several Kunao fell to the ground one after another. The root members immediately looked at the jungle with vigilance. Chi Yejun also looked in the direction where the Kunao flew. Moment. Advertisement. A black shadow jumped out of the jungle and landed steadily in front of them. This person has white hair and wears a mask. The forward protector blocks the left eye, revealing the iconic dead fish eye on the other side. I wipe it. Copy ninja Heite Kakashi. Why did he appear? Seeing Chi Yejun's surprised look, Kakashi said softly, Don't worry, I will protect you. Chi Yejun was confused. How did Kakashi appear? A big question mark appeared on Chi Yejun's face. The order of the third generation. Kakashi straightened the slanted forward protector and said directly, It turns out that the old man has been secretly protecting me. Chi Yejun said with a smile in his heart. But he also understands that protection is one aspect. More importantly, let Kakashi secretly monitor and examine himself. Seeing Kakashi's appearance, the remaining eight ninjas were obviously stunned. Then they immediately dispersed. Four of them charged directly at Kakashi with their swords raised. The other four specialize in Toshi Aikino. Dance of Karamatsu, Dance of Chun, Dang Dang Dang. The bone sword and the katana clashed, sparks bursting out. Relying on the physical skills of dead bone poles, Aikino Shun can deal with the enemy with ease. The ninjas at the root were in turmoil, but their faces remained expressionless. Puff. One person's throat was pierced by Karamatsu no Mai's bone spurs and he died on the spot. The stronger the attack, the stronger the rebound from the bone spurs. There are three people left on Chi Yejun's side. The bone sword roared and turned into a trace of afterimage, and the attack speed became faster and faster. Hook. The bone sword pierced directly through a person's right eye and passed through the back of his head, causing white brain matter to splash out. The man didn't even have time to snort, and fell straight to the ground. Chi Yejun suddenly remembered the task issued by the system to scare the enemy. Wasn't it shocking enough just now? Why haven't the rewards appeared for a long time? Advertisement. Chapter 11. Who is a serious person who still makes seals? Advertisement. On Kakashi's side, the fierce battle is still going on. The four root ninjas attacked Kakashi together. Each man's katana was pointed directly at his throat. Inhumane, the value of the existence of these root members is to clear obstacles for Danzo. Kakashi suddenly jumped up, make a seal in the air. The moment he landed, he touched the ground with his palms and shouted, Earth style, earth flow wall. The words fell. The ground trembled slightly. An earth-colored rock wall appeared directly in front of us, blocking the opponent's attack. There are still two enemies left on Chi Yejun's side. Right now, the sound of the system suddenly appeared in his mind. But not a reward. Ding. Host automatically awakens dead bone pulse improved ninjutsu, corpse melting and skeleton resurrection. I wipe it. Can I awaken improved ninjutsu? Never heard of these two in anime. Soon, facing the two corpses on the ground, Chi Yejun used the seal. The corpse melting technique first melts the corpse quickly, revealing the dense white bones. Then, only the sound of grinding teeth was heard. The two white bones suddenly stood up, and the flickering will o' the wisps could still be clearly seen inside the skulls. The scene was extremely weird and terrifying. Even Chi Yejun himself was dumbfounded. The remaining root ninjas stopped moving and looked at their resurrected companions, dumbfounded. Skeletons are not very lethal, but they are enough to shock the opponent. Seeing the confused look on his enemy's face, Chi Yejun quickly called out the system and completed the sign-in. Advertisement. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the shocking task of signing in, and rewarded Hashirama for the speed of sealing. Hashirama seal speed. Put your hands together and shout whatever you want. Chi Yejun almost couldn't hold back the joy in his heart and jumped up. Fire style. Great fireball technique. SI, Wei, Shen, Hai, Wu, Yin. As Chi Yejun's hands moved, starting from the SI seal, the five hand seals changed one by one. The change was so fast that even the afterimage was not visible. Just 0.5 seconds. A huge fireball burst out from the throat and hit the remaining two people directly. The fireball roared into the woods, burning both men to death. Toshi Ikono corrected the name of Great Fireball Technique. Who says people can't be burned to death? Kakashi was completely stunned. Did you get dazzled just now? That little guy didn't even have any seals. What happened? And there are two enemies on his side. Just when he was in a daze, someone pointed his sword at the lower plate and attacked Kakashi. Ikono Shun flashed forward with a body flicker technique and grabbed it. I wiped it and grabbed it by mistake. After letting go in embarrassment, he used the power of Chakra to blast the enemy away. The remaining one was easily dealt with quickly. The ten-person assassination team left no one alive. This is the first time Shi Yejun kills someone. Cool, you, you didn't have the great fireball seal just now. Kakashi finally couldn't help but ask. Chi Yejun curled his lips and smiled. Who is a serious person who still makes seals? Rowing does not rely on oars, but life depends entirely on waves. Kakashi's heart was filled with turmoil. His eyes were red. Jealousy plus one. Jealousy plus one hundred. Advertisement. Jealousy plus ten thousand and eighty-six. The strength of this little guy is simply terrifying. How to deal with the body? Chi Yejun asked. I will report it to Lord Hokage after I have taken care of it. Chi Yejun nodded, but he still felt a little disappointed. Because Kakashi was not seen releasing Sherry Non. And he hasn't had enough killing yet. This feeling is like having an orgasm and suddenly surrendering. When Danzo learned that his entire army had been wiped out, he was so angry that he almost vomited blood. Hmph, it seems that the only way is to let that person take action. At this moment, Chi Yejun's home. Naruto waited for a long time and finally got him back. Naturally, Chi Jun didn't tell him what happened today. After entering the house, Naruto played the game console. Even though it was his first time playing, he was quite talented and his playing was so good that even Chi Yejun felt inferior to him. At this time, the moon was already dimming outside the window, so Naruto simply stayed to have dinner. Ikano Jun found some pieces of Kobe steak from the space. With the skills of a master chef, Naruto's mouth was filled with oil and he forgot all about it. It's so delicious. I've never eaten anything so delicious in my life. It tastes better than ramen. Jun, why don't I move to your house? Chi Yejun pointed to the cabin. It's just a room and a bed. It's up to you. Naruto then smiled and shook his head. After the meal, he made another iced lemon and plum soup. 
It wasn't until late at night when sleepiness set in that he kicked Naruto out of the house, who was refusing to leave. The house finally became quiet. Chi Hyejun was lying on the bed, thinking of two things to do tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. At this moment, the Hokage building is brightly lit. Kakashi stood aside and reported. Sarutobi Hiruzen has not yet recovered from the shock. You can actually perform ninjutsu without forming seals? Genius, absolute genius. We must protect him. At the same time, we must also keep track of his every move, especially whether he has secret contacts with other people outside the village. Advertisement. The next day, July 22nd, was one day away from Suzuki's birthday. Aikano Jun came to the Hokage building early in the morning. After the briefing, meet the third generation. Although they don't meet often, the two have become very warm. Third generation really likes this little guy with quick thinking and humor. It's noon, what do you want to do with me? Chi Yejun directly stated his intention. Grandpa Hokage, I want to become a disciple. Third generation was hesitant upon hearing this. He also had the idea of taking on a disciple. It's just that there are too many things to do in Kanaha village, and there are so many things to deal with every day. However, under Chi Yejun's mouth escape, he finally agreed to accept him as his disciple. Of course this is conditional. He took out something similar to a deed of sale, which clearly stipulated that Kanaha village could never be betrayed or become an enemy, and he would protect Kanaha village with his life. Chi Yejun pricked his finger and pressed the blood mark. You still focus on school studies now. I will guide you from time to time. When you become a Jinin, I will guide you systematically. Chi Yejun nodded in agreement. Several Umbu were shocked when they learned about it. How many ninjas in Kanaha village want to become disciples of the third Hokage? But since Sunan, Sarutobi Hiruzen has never accepted a disciple again, and this time he made an exception for this little guy. When the students heard the news, they had different reactions. Little Sakura was completely shocked and found it incredible. Although Suzuki was shocked inside, he remained calm on the outside. But Naruto was more excited than anyone else. Oh yeah, that's great. If you become his apprentice, then I will be his half-apprentice. From now on, no one will dare to look down on me and call me Crane Tail. Regarding his weird logic, Chi Yejun could only laugh it off. But Naruto immediately said, Jun, even if you become the old man's apprentice, the Hokage will definitely still be mine in the future. Chi Yejun nodded perfunctorily. Suzuki, on the other hand, muttered coldly, what a huge idiot. At noon, Hineda came quietly, handed something to Chi Yejun, and then ran out with a blushing face. This is, advertisement. Chapter 12 A Special Gift for Suzuki. Advertisement. Chi Yejun opened it and saw that it was a love bento. There is a ham sausage on top of the fluffy rice. A cute little mushroom on top. There is a soft boiled egg on the bottom. Kawai look. He happily ate it, and the more he ate, the sweeter it became. After the meal, Toshichino pulled out a sunflower hairpin from the space. It's such an awesome space, it has everything. Then he found Hineda, gently took her hand and said, Hineda, thank you, it's delicious. I'll give you a little flower. Then put the hairpin on her head. Hineda's whole body felt like an electric shock. This was the first time that a boy held her hand. After breaking free, he covered his face and ran away. Finally passed out in the women's restroom. This scene was seen by little Sakura and Ino. Little Sakura couldn't help but say in her heart, it would be great if Suzuki did the same to me. Ino is not bored with Aikano Jun, and even feels that he has Naruto's cheerful enthusiasm and Suzuki's maturity and stability. The key is, he looks pretty handsome too. He exuded a masculine charm beyond his age. Sakura-chan, maybe I will give Suzuki to you in the future. Ino laughed. Little Sakura looked confused. In the evening, the bell finally rang. Almost like lightning, several figures quickly rushed out of the classroom, led by Naruto. Let's go, let's catch loaches together tomorrow. Goddamn loaches. The next day, Suzuki's birthday. Chi Yejun plans to give him a special gift. Turn on the double megatama in the right eye. Sherinon is a unique pupil technique of the Uchiha clan, but it requires certain conditions to be activated, and the more megatama there are, the stronger the Sherinon ability is. Although three months later, Suzuki will open the double megatama in his right eye during the battle with Shiro, but opening it in advance for him on his birthday is the best birthday gift for Suzuki. Advertisement. The key is to deepen friendships and get things done. Moreover, Toshichino prayed silently. Because I helped Suzuki open the Sherinon, the reward I received was also the Sherinon. After school, Toshi Aikano asked Suzuki to go to the Kanaha training ground. Suzuki happened to want to ask him for advice and readily agreed. Along the way, Chi Yejun thought, only in special environments, through stimulation, extraordinary power can burst out, such as anger, fear, and hatred. It is like a Megatama opening on the night of genocide. Soon he figured out how to stimulate the other party. Arriving at the training ground, the two of them got into position and started sparring. Even though Suzuki tried his best, he was still no match for Aikano Jun. Twenty minutes passed. Suzuki didn't win a single round. But he was not discouraged at all and stubbornly got up and continued fighting. Aikano Jun is even more cruel this time, he just wants to stimulate the blood in Suzuki's bones. Haha, <laughs> aren't you the top student in school? Aren't you a genius in Kanaha village? By the way, you're also a genius with your looks. Why do I feel like your moves look like a girl dancing? Chi Yejun mocked. Suzuki was unmoved upon hearing this and continued to rush forward. Chi Yejun punched him in the chest and knocked him away. Suzuki, do you have this much strength? Aikano Jun still used his powerful mouth to express hatred. After ridiculing again and again, Suzuki finally said angrily, Damn it. Use 100% of your strength again. Come on. Use all the great fireball, shuriken, and kunao, and you're still a loser. Taunt plus one. At this moment, Suzuki's physical strength was almost gone, and he was squatting on the ground, breathing heavily. What a weakling, even worse than little Sakura and Ino. Taunt plus ten. Haha, <laughs> is this your measure? When the clan was exterminated, Itake once said that killing the entire clan was just to test his own strength. Hearing the word measurement, Suzuki suddenly recalled the scene before the blood. He let out a roar and rushed towards Chi Yejun. Taunt plus fifty. After holding on for another five minutes, Aikano Shun easily dodged Suzuki's attacks again and again, and finally kicked him hard on the knee. Advertisement. Suzuki collapsed to the ground. 
Chi Yejun stepped forward and looked at him. After hesitating in his heart, he gritted his teeth and stepped on his head. Then he said disdainfully in the most dissolute tone, Every cause must have its effect. Your retribution will be me. Remember to double-click. Ahem, it's a joke, Han Meijun has been brainwashed. Is this the strength of the Achiha clan? Aren't the descendants of Achiha still being stepped on by Laozi? Taunt plus 100. This is Chi Yejun's last move. If Suzuki doesn't get angry, there's nothing he can do. Suzuki at this moment. Reason is finally covered by anger. He used his last bit of strength and slowly staggered to his feet with his hands on the ground. Veins popped up on his forehead, he clenched his fists and gritted his teeth. Chi Yejun stared into his eyes, eager for a miracle to happen. No, Su, you, insult, humiliate, you, Ji, Bo. Suzuki growled word by word. He looked up suddenly. Slowly open your eyes. Looking at Chi Yejun coldly, he exuded an intimidating aura. Only a flash of red light was seen. There are two black Megatama in the right eye and one black Megatama in the left eye. It's turned on. The double Megatama is finally turned on. Looking at the Sherry Non that was as scarlet as blood, Aikano Jun was even more excited than Suzuki. As expected of Indra's plug-in body, this Sherry Non actually turned on as soon as I asked. Because of the blessing of Sherry Non's power and the short circuit of his sanity, Suzuki exploded. Aikano Jun shouted while dodging, Stop, Suzuki, you opened your eyes. But Suzuki seemed unable to hear and continued to explode. Chi Yejun dodged all the way, and even felt like he was being beaten. He couldn't help but admire the power of Sherry Non. The three major diseases in the Hokage world are bone hyperplasia. When will I be rewarded with pink eye and cataracts? Advertisement. A few minutes later, Suzuki finally collapsed from exhaustion. Breathing heavily, his mind gradually returned. I didn't mean to say that to you just now. Chi Yejun sat beside him and explained for ten minutes. After knowing his intention, Suzuki said calmly. Thank you. Although his head was stepped on and his family was insulted, Sherry Non turned on the double hook. And Chi Yejun also has good intentions. The moon is bright and the stars are sparse. Their stomachs also growled. Go to my house. I will make you so happy tonight. Ahem. Mouth. Suzuki glanced at him. Something's wrong with you. After what happened at the training ground today, instead of blaming him, Suzuki felt a strange sense of trust in him. So, for the first time, he nodded in agreement. This is his first time going to a classmate's house. After arriving home, Chi Yejun started preparing dinner. Game consoles, karaoke, treadmills, and animations, whatever you want. Aikano Shun hid everything about Hokage in advance greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Suzuki was not interested in game consoles, so he turned on the anime and watched Attack on Titan with great interest. Until the delicious dishes are put on the table. Seeing the scene in front of him, Suzuki was stunned. Meat floss rice balls, arrowroot balls, blueberry egg tarts, tomato pizza, sushi, black pepper steak, curry rice, pork miso barbecued pork noodles, grilled fish, anko soup. After taking a bite of the rice ball, Suzuki raised his head and said with surprise, You, did you make all of this? Chi Yejun smiled and nodded, otherwise, there is no takeout here. After Suzuki was stunned for a moment, he started to devour the food without caring about the image. Haha, <laughs> this chef's skills are really awesome. But hasn't our friendship been established yet? Why are the rewards delayed? Do you still need me to use my trump card? Advertisement. Chapter 13 Obtaining Multiple Shadow Clone Techniques. Advertisement. Suzuki threw himself at the dining table and devoured everything. After eating, I staggered up and my stomach was bulging. Chi Yejun took out a small bottle from his pocket, which was also found in space. There were dozens of pills in it. He poured out two slices and handed them to Suzuki. Jianwuxia Shi tablets will help digestion. Oh. Suzuki took it and sat back on the couch. The two of them just sat in silence, and the atmosphere was a little awkward for a while. How about I sing a song for you? Chi Yejun suggested. Suzuki nodded. After three rounds of drinking, you were in the corner, stubbornly singing. Suzuki turned to look at him, his eyes full of surprise. Listen well. But why is it so sad? One cup for freedom, one cup for death. As soon as this sentence was sung, Chi Yejun realized that something was wrong in the atmosphere. Ba ba ba, when people celebrate their birthdays, they sing about death. So he immediately changed his tune and sang, Thank you to every one of my teammates for accompanying me through everything. They fight for good fortune every night. Big, 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 big brother, don't kill me, I, 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 I give you all the guns. After singing, Suzuki was as shocked as a steak. Brother, don't kill me, he murmured, finally smiling. Seeing him finally smiling, Chi Yejun breathed a sigh of relief. But the system reward has not popped out yet. All right, the last resort was available. Let's go up to the terrace, there's a surprise. Suzuki followed him up to the terrace with a confused look on his face. On the ground is a beautiful birthday cake from Chi Yejun, with candles on it and scrawled, Happy birthday to Urja. Suzuki was stunned. Who is the second pillar? Chi Yejun chuckled, Does it sound good to you? Advertisement. Suzuki nodded, Yeah, sounds good. However, he soon became motionless as if struck by lightning. After staring at the cake, he looked at Chi Yejun. My birthday. Chi Yejun showed a bright smile and said, Happy birthday to you. How did you know my birthday? Suzuki's voice was trembling. This, asked Grandpa Hokage. Okay, let's blow out the candles and make a wish. Afterwards, the two lay side by side on the terrace, looking up at the stars. Since living alone, Suzuki has long forgotten what a birthday is, and no one cares about his birthday. At this moment, his heart was filled with gratitude and emotion. Chi Yejun got up and lit the prepared fireworks. The night sky burst into brilliant fireworks. Suzuki looked at Aikano Jun, Jun, thank you, and at this moment, the system sound finally sounded. Chi Yejun breathed a sigh of relief. Suzuki and I finally became friends. Ding. Congratulations to Host and Suzuki for establishing friendship, special rewards with multiple shadow clone technique. Although he was not the Sherry Non he was eager for, Toshi Chino was still overjoyed. Haha, <laughs> multiple shadow clone techniques. This is an A-level ninjutsu listed in the Forbidden Technique. Use the huge chakra to create a large number of physical clones, which can move and fight like the caster, with independent consciousness and ability to resist attacks. When you encounter enemies in the future, you can use your unlimited chakra to create hundreds of clones in one go. Then each clone casts great fireball at the same time. What a scene that would be. 
Thinking of this, Chi Yejan was filled with excitement. The moon is so beautiful. Suzuki interrupted his reverie. Chi Yejan came back to his senses and looked at the sky, sighing in his heart. With such a bright moonlight, who would have thought that this is the container created by Sage of Six Paths using planetary devastation to seal ten tails? Chi Yejan wanted to try multiple clones, but he couldn't chase them away directly, so he smiled and said, Advertisement. It's getting late, how about you sleep at my house tonight? I'll just have a single bed, and we can squeeze in together. After hearing this, Suzuki got up and ran out of Aikino Jun's cabin as if he was running away. After he left, Junji locked the door and cast multiple shadow clone bunny girls. More than ten days passed happily like this. There are still more than two months until the plot begins. On this day, Chi Yejun and Naruto came to the ramen restaurant to eat ramen. After eating, the two left the shop arm in arm. Suzuki happened to be passing by. These days, he discovered that Aikino Jun and Naruto would go to eat ramen every day after school. There was an indescribable feeling in his heart. Sour. Disgusting idiot. A cold voice appeared behind the two of them. Naruto, who was in high spirits just now, turned around to find Suzuki and became furious. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? Suzuki's face was full of arrogance. I'll tell you who is an idiot. Naruto was immediately furious. Asshole. Crane tail. Apologize, otherwise we'll both beat you. Suzuki looked at Aikino Jun coldly, who are you helping? Naruto smiled and said, it goes without saying that he will help me of course, right? Jun. Chi Yejun was stunned. The two famous protagonists are really childish. An Ashira reincarnation. An Indra reincarnation. Maybe they are destined to be enemies. Looking at the two guys yelling at each other, Chi Yejun ran away with a smile, I won't help anyone, you two just pinch each other slowly. At this time, a lazy voice came. These two guys are fighting again. Shall we go break up the fight? Advertisement. Forget it, it's so troublesome. Well, let's go eat Ganligan. Koji and Shikamaru both left. The next day, Chi Yejun goes to school with his school bag on his back. Math class. The teacher explained on the blackboard. A shuriken is 15 centimeters long, with a sword head 9 centimeters long. It is composed of two square pyramids with equal bases. The widest part of the arrow is 4.5 centimeters wide and the thickest part is 1 centimeter thick. What is the volume of the arrow? Aikino Shun and Naruto felt drowsy after hearing this. Sudden, the system sounds. Ding, a performance art sign-in task is now issued. Please host cooperate with Naruto to beautify Shadow Rock. The task period is two days. Haha, <laughs> I like this task. Aikino Jun was very happy when he thought of Naruto flying over the walls and painting the cage rock into a mess. What are you laughing at? Naruto asked curiously. Aikino Jun and Naruto whispered. The two hit it off immediately. Uzumaki Naruto, stop. And that new guy, several angry shouts rang out from under the shadow rock in Kanaha village. Now, several ninjas were chasing the two teenagers separately. They all carried paint buckets in their hands. One is Naruto. One is Chiyajan. The four Hokage statues from past generations were transformed into miraculous works by Naruto using his unique artistic talent. Although Aikino Jun feels that this behavior is a bit childish. But the system sign-in task must be done. It's just that he just cooperated, passing Naruto the brush, dipping the paint, and letting it cool. Naruto used the English words he just learned from him this time. Advertisement. Chapter 14 Obtaining Two New Ninjutsu. Advertisement. Oh no, what a rare genius. Seeing Naruto's masterpiece, Aikino Jun couldn't help laughing. Naruto learned and applied the English words he taught him. First generation has circles on its face and an F on its forehead. Second generation has tears and runny noses and a U on its forehead. The third generation is the most outrageous, with eyes turning into peach blossoms, mouth drooling, looking like a pervert, and a C on the forehead. Fourth generation is the most ecstatic, with her mouth turning into a small sakura peach mouth and a K on her forehead. Chi Yejun didn't know whether to laugh or cry. If Minato saw his son teasing him like this, he would be so angry that he would get up. After running wildly to the streets of Kanaha village, several ninjas gave up. After the two broke up, Chi Yejun called up the system to complete the sign-in. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the task sign-in and being rewarded with a healing jutsu. Phew! Healing jutsu. Entry-level medical ninjutsu can treat general injuries and has an obvious effect on stopping bleeding. Ninjutsu belongs to the bad streets, but it's better than nothing, and it might come in handy in the future. But Toshi Aikino wants to get awesome ninjutsu like Baihao Technique and Ninja Art, Mitotic Regeneration. I risk being kicked out of school for this mission. Should I just reward him with a healing jutsu? Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the task sign-in and being rewarded with the Rakery Technique. Rakery Technique? S-Class Lightning Style Ninjutsu, developed by Kakashi, an advanced version of Chidori. There is no need to sprint, but it can explode on the spot, which increases the killing range. Can emit chucker damage at a very short distance and cause physical damage. Now, in addition to the fire method Great Fireball, the offensive ninjutsu also includes the electricity method Rakery. At this moment, a young man was staring at him fiercely. Hineda has a weak personality and is a cute lowly type. In addition to Aikino Shun, there are also many people in Kanaha village who like her. There is a genin named Abaisuji, who is at the same level as Rock Lee. He is completely obsessed with Hineda. Advertisement. I happened to see Toshi Aikino kissing Hineda and was furious. After the battle between Aikino Jun and Suzuki, he also became famous in the ninja school. But the upperclassmen were dismissive. Among them is Abaisuji. Isn't it just a more powerful great fireball? Isn't it just to run faster? No big deal. You little brat, today I'm going to let you know what it feels like to be spanked and pissed off by genin. How arrogant? Aikino Jun smiled coldly, just in time to try Rakery, so we went to the forest to fight with him. The challenge ends almost instantly. Chi Yejun clapped his hands for 0.5 seconds. Lightning style. Rakery. Only the sound of buzz was heard, like the noise produced by radio modulation. The light blue airflow rose at Chi Yejun's feet, forming a blue ring. Strips of lightning danced in the palm of his hand. Crack, crackle, crackle. The blue thunder arc became more and more turbulent, like thousands of birds singing in unison. The electric light is overflowing, the light is dazzling, and the sound is majestic. Chi Yejun waved his arm, and thunder exploded. Before Abe Isoji finished reciting the seal, bolts of lightning struck him, electrocuting him to a crisp and making him foam at the mouth. Fortunately, Toshi Aikino accurately controlled the release of chakra. Otherwise, this guy will just belch. Rakery technique, proficiency plus one. 
At this moment, Chi Yejun's heart was filled with joy. Infinite blue buff plus instant ninjutsu? This is simply the prelude to invincibility. Third generation, who saw this scene through a crystal ball, was filled with excitement. He even knows Rakery. Could it be that Kakashi taught it? Impossible, that's an S-level ninjutsu. This little guy is full of too many unknown possibilities. Advertisement. But he soon started laughing again. The Abe family is not a good person. It's good to teach them a lesson. Ahem. Afterwards, he summoned Aikano Jun and asked him how he learned S-level ninjutsu. Chi Yejun could only pretend to be stupid and shake his head, I don't know, it seems that after a night of lightning and thunder, I automatically woke up. From then on, every time there was lightning and thunder, third generation would always ask him what ninjutsu he had awakened. Coming home from school that day, Toshi Aikano improved Rakuri's proficiency in space. The holographic panel pops up. Host, Toshi Aikano, age, 18 years old. Chakra attributes, wind, thunder, fire, water, earth, yin, yang. Has mastered ninjutsu, god level 3 body technique, god level multiple shadow clone, god level rakery technique, elementary healing jutsu, elementary corpse melting technique, elementary skeleton resurrection. Mastered physical techniques, body flicker technique, karamatsu's dance, chun's dance, and weili. Mastered illusion, none. Skills mastered, cooking. Special physique, dead bone pulse. Blood succession limit, dead bone pulse. Chakra amount, infinity. At this moment, Danzo fell into deep thought after learning the latest information. The last time he lost 10 root members, he was shocked and at the same time hated Chi Yejun deeply. Later, I tried to find an opportunity to assassinate him again, but found that Kakashi always appeared suddenly. If this time bomb is not removed, Kanaha village will not be peaceful, and my Hokage position. The Rakery technique is easy to upgrade, just perform it with a snap. But healing jutsu is a bit difficult to upgrade. It was impossible to go to Kanaha clinic to treat people. The next day, he took time to go to the market and bought several boxes of frozen fish. Chi Jun knew that if a person is frozen, it is impossible to resurrect, but the structure of fish is completely different from that of humans. Although some fish are frozen, they will slowly come back to life when placed in warm water. So these fish are not really dying. He rolled up his sleeves, took out a frozen fish and put it on the dining table. Advertisement. Healing Jutsu. After the seal, a faint green light rose. Aikano Jun put his hand on the fish body to control the output of chakra. Precise control of chakra is also important. Excessive control will cause the fish to die. The frozen fish showed no reaction at all. Chi Yejun frowned. Did the cells not be activated? Failed. Just as he was wondering, the fish under his hand suddenly slipped out and jumped on the dining table. Haha, <laughs> it worked. Use healing jutsu, proficiency plus one. Afterwards, Toshi Chino took out the frozen fish one by one. The hard fish slowly turned into a living life under his hands. Seeing this, Chi Yejun finally showed a satisfied smile. However, there are only a few dozen frozen fish, and healing jutsu is still elementary. He ran to the forest again to look for injured birds and animals. It took several days to upgrade healing jutsu to the intermediate level. This evening, lying on the bed, Chi Yejun started thinking wildly in his mind. If I get along with Hinata in the future, what should Naruto do? After all, in the original work, Hinata is his wife. But he soon felt relieved, because he thought of the most perfect and happiest couple CP arrangement. Suzuki and Naruto? You know, after Suzuki defected and left Kanaha, Naruto chased him for three years. Even after marrying a wife and having children and becoming a Hokage, he still misses Suzuki. Just ask, how many people can achieve this feeling? So, they are true love. With this arrangement, I won't feel too guilty. Just as he was smiling evilly, the system popped up and released a new check-in task. Let's popularize it. There is always a little informed baby who yells, Rakuri needs a Sherry Non to activate, that's the Chidori? The Chidori must sprint to be effective, but the drawback is that it is too fast to see the enemy's movements clearly, and his Minato is rated as an unfinished technique, which must be complemented by Sherry Non's insight ability. The improved Rakuri does not need to sprint at all and can be released on the spot. It is clearly introduced in Ab's official book of Rin. Episode 17, 23 points. Kakashi did not open the Sherry Non where he was and it was Rakuri who slashed at Zabuza. Advertisement. Chapter 15 Establishing Your Own Small Organization. Advertisement. Just as Toshi Chino was about to go to sleep, the system jumped out. Ding. Please host go to the tailor shop to sign in and customize a set of clothing for four days. Three days later, Chi Yejun went to the tailor shop to get customized clothes. After time travel, he has been wearing the same Hokage t-shirt. The clothes in the space are also from the Hokage series, with the faces of Naruto and Suzuki painted on them. The two of them asked him more than once why he drew them on his clothes and whether he had a crush on them. This time, he designed a costume himself that fit the Hokage world. White lining. The upper body is a black Hayori Hakama suit with a pattern. The lower body is black trousers with white legs and ankle cuffs. Wearing a long white feather coat. There is a black circle behind it, and inside it is the big pink character Chi. Haha <laughs> not bad. Chi Yejun immediately changed. The clothes are inspired by the Death Boss outfit in Shinigami. And it's still the clothes of the leader of the Zero Squadron. Fierce, hacky, awesome, the only thing missing is a Zanpakuto. Just thinking about it. The system jumped out and gave a reward for completing the sign-in. Chi Yejun took a look. I wipe it. It turned out to be Arkimura's Kusanagi sword. After researching for a long time, I didn't find any special features. But hanging on the waist, it looks very cool and pretentious when paired with this outfit. I made three sets of clothes and wore them in turn. A total of 500 tails. Since getting together with Naruto, Toshi Aikano has become a member of the Moonlight Clan. Fortunately, the landlady is a single woman. The ruffian Chi Yejun took out four thick picture albums from the space. Appreciation of World Statues, Naked Men, Part 1, 2, Urology Andrology Illustrated Guide. Advertisement. Come to the classroom. As soon as he appeared at the door of the class, there was a burst of exclamation. So hot. Yes, this outfit is so charming. The combination of black and white looks calm and handsome, and the pink characters on the back are playfully embellished. And that katana, it's so cool. By chance, Suzuki also walked in. Compared with the black and white Shinigami outfit of Toshi Aikano, the blue clothes are not the least bit weaker. Ino and Sakura looked over at the same time. They found that Junji was more interesting than Suzuki. Puffy, handsome, and cool smell. Especially the way the corners of the lips are slightly raised are alluring. 
Little Sakura immediately shook her head and turned her attention to Suzuki. Ino simply came over, pulled up Chiyajun's sleeve, and started studying. She looks charming and enthusiastic. Hinata looked at this scene and felt as if she had eaten a few sour plums in her heart. During one class, she was distracted by the handsome Chi Yejun, and her eyes kept glancing over at him intentionally or unintentionally. After class, Naruto pestered him to get a suit too. Ikeno Shun imagined what Naruto would look like in it. It was destroying his character, so he gave up. Chi Yejun is not interested in rewards for showing off. He would rather get something of practical value. Fortunately, a few days later, the system jumped out again. This time it's a mission check-in. Establish a social circle in the class, make friends, and set up your own small organization. Hehe, <laughs> this is a good mission. If we have fewer friends, it will be more embarrassing to have an empty wedding banquet in the future. As for whom to make friends with? Of course, Ju Xiaoqiang. The universal space is awesome. Chi Yejun dug out a lot of snacks in it. White peach flavored iced bread, triple cheese, crispy potato wedges, yum eyes, barrel barbecue. He also didn't forget to find a pack of dog food. Early the next morning, carrying a big bag of delicious food, I came directly to the classroom. Walking up to Koji, he was eating potato chips when he suddenly smelled a scent. Chi Yejun took out a large bucket of cumin barbecue, opened the lid, and the aroma of meat overflowed. Koji, it's for you. Really? Koji couldn't believe it at all. Advertisement. Smell good. Koji put the roasted meat in his mouth and his whole body ascended to heaven. It's delicious? I've never eaten anything so delicious. He threw away the potato chips and started eating them. He was born with a talent for mukbang, and other people were soon drooled by him. Even Shikamaru, who was lying listlessly on the table, got up. I can Ojun, I'm determined to be your friend. Koji said, barbecue beats potato chips, whoa, the clear sound of a milk dog came. Chi Yejun looked at Akamaru on his teeth and took out the dog food. Akamaru devoured the food and kept wagging his tail at him. He stretched out his hand carelessly. My name is Inuzuka Kiba, and I'm committed to you too. Food diplomacy works? Chi Yejun has two more friends. Kiba's personality is somewhat similar to Naruto's, and he decided to have a dinner to celebrate making new friends. When Koji heard about the dinner party, he readily agreed and called Shikamaru. Naruto called to Little Sakura and pulled Suzuki with him. Suzuki didn't want to join in the fun, so he asked, I can Ojun, are you going to? Of course. Naruto smiled. Suzuki then nodded in agreement. Little Sakura pulled Ino again. Kiba called Shino. Finally, Toshi Ikeno pulls up the Shai Hineda. At this point, nine of Kanaha's twelve little heroes have gathered together. The dinner was held at Ya's house. Barbecue dinner? The banquet was very lively, and Chi Yejun slowly established contact with Ju Xiaoqiang and integrated into it. It should be renamed Chi Xiaoqiang now. By the way, I suggest you give our team a name. Naruto was the happiest, suggesting. It had been a long time since he had been invited to dine with anyone. Yes, loud. Hackies. So cool. Chi Yejun thought for a while, then let's call it the Zishin Gang. Zhao Tian Gang? This is a great name? From now on we will be called Zishin Gang. Advertisement. So, the name of the small organization was decided. System rewards also follow. Ding. Congratulations to host for completing the mission and signing in, and will be rewarded with super perception skills, which can sense people and things within 500 meters. Super perception? So awesome? Then let me try. Chi Yejun directly activated the perception technique. A picture appeared in his mind, which was simply the evolved version of Byakugan. Ikan Oshun quickly stopped his skills. When I got home at night, the room was a little stuffy. Open the window and feel the cool night breeze. Huh. There seemed to be a faint smell of blood in the wind. He turned on the super perception technique again to enhance his five senses. It seems to be the direction not far ahead. He put on his clothes and immediately jumped out of the window. As the target gets closer, the smell of blood becomes stronger. Leaping forward, he rushed towards the nearest place where the smell of blood was emanating. Something must have happened there. After several leaps on the tree, Chi Yejun finally found the source of the blood. Two corpses lay quietly under the big tree. Blood seeped into the soil. Chi Yejun took out a mask from the space and put it on, then squatted down. The corpses were all wearing patterned masks. Uniform black clothing. Roots member? The two men's necks were pierced by some sharp weapon, leaving a bloody hole as thick as a finger, which was horrific. It's not like shurikens and kunao, nor senbon, what caused the death. Sudden, a gust of dark wind struck from behind Chi Yejun. The fallen leaves rustled, which was particularly harsh in the quiet night. There was a plop sound. Chi Yejun shouted sharply, Who is over there? Come out quickly, I see you. However, the movement disappeared. At this moment, under the dark night, two blurry and shining eyes appeared in front. Like the miserable ghost eyes, looking at each other, Chi Yejun clearly heard the pounding sound of his heart. Advertisement. Chapter 16 The First Summoning Beast. Advertisement. The moon is dark and the wind is high, and the ghost's eyes are shining. Chi Yejun shouted nervously. Get out of here quickly, what's the point of hiding there and playing tricks? Just listen to a dong sound. A small thing jumped out of the darkness and called me out twice at Chi Yejun. Chi Yejun breathed a sigh of relief. It turned out to be a stray cat. It scared me. But, what happened to the corpses of these two root ninjas? Chi Yejun activates the super perception technique and gains night vision. In front of me is a black kitten. A pair of golden eyes, especially strange in the dark night, very similar to Orikimura's evil eyes. Chi Yejun used to like cats and dogs. He adopted four stray cats at home, and he also fed the cats in the community. He slowly knelt down and called softly. The cat slowly approached and squatted not far away, staring at him intently. Only then did Chi Yejun discover that its hair was much longer than that of ordinary cats, and its ears were also pointed and big. Sudden, Chi Yejun opened his mouth in surprise. This cat actually has a third eye on its forehead. It also has a pair of black angel wings on its back. He quickly looked at the cat's tail. There is only one tail that keeps wagging, not two tails Nikomata. What kind of cat is this? Why does it appear? Is it because I love cats? Or, is attracted by the huge amount of my chakra and wants to devour it? Just when Chi Yejun was speculating uneasily, the black cat actually opened its mouth, revealing its jagged teeth. The corners of the mouth are slightly raised. It's actually smiling. Under the dark moonlit night, that smile was weird, giving Chi Yejun a creepy feeling. Chi Yejun became more and more certain that this black cat was definitely not a kind person. Maybe, it is wanting its own soul and chakra. Advertisement. Before determining its true purpose, Chi Yejun did not take action. 
One person and one cat were facing each other like this. It seems that there is only one battle left. Not long after I traveled through time, I already like the life here and I don't want to die yet. Chi Yejun quickly took out the grass pheasant sword from his bag and held it tightly in his hand in a defensive posture. And right now, after seeing the pheasant sword, the little cat changed its target and stared at the sword motionlessly. Its golden eyes grew brighter and brighter. Sudden, the front legs were lifted up quickly, the hips swayed a few times, and the back legs kicked off suddenly. In the blink of an eye, it rushed in front of Chi Yejun, and Chi Yejun's sword has also been unsheathed, and the sharp blade glows coldly in the moonlight. The sword pointed directly at the black cat. But just when he hit it, Chi Yejun suddenly stopped his hand. The last time he gave the reward, Toshi Chino didn't notice anything special about the Kusanagi sword. It was just a show-off with matching clothes. At this moment, it was discovered that the CAO pheasant sword was actually emitting white sword energy. Although he stopped in advance, the sword energy still hurt the cat. A scar was cut on its body. Suddenly, black and red blood gurgled out along the shiny fur. The reason why Toshi Chino stopped his hand was because the cat didn't rush towards him to attack him. Instead, it stopped at his feet and nuzzled him affectionately, acting coquettishly, and seeking caress. As a cat lover, he understands that this is a sign of your cat's trust and affection for you. It meant no harm to me. Chi Yejun squatted down again and stroked its wound. I'm sorry, does it hurt? I thought you were going to catch me. Right now, the system's electronic sound sounded. Ding, announce task sign in, ask host to heal the cat. Chi Yejun clapped his hands. Healing Jutsu, then gently hold its cat's paw. Chakra surges. Green crystal clear light emerged, swirled around the black cat, and then poured into its body. Advertisement. And its wounds are recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. The cat looked at him, meowed affectionately, stretched out its pink tongue, and licked the palm of his hand. Until the wound was completely healed, Chi Yejun called out the task panel and completed the task sign in. Ding, congratulations to the host for completing the task and signing in. Please stroke the cat's head to complete the contract signing. Contract signed? Chi Yejun raised his hand and touched the black cat's forehead. His, is this. The moment his fingertips touched his forehead, an electric current was transmitted to his mind. A scroll appeared in front of me. According to the system instructions, Chi Yejun signed a contract with Black Cat. Congratulations to host for obtaining the Black Cat Demon Summoning Technique. Summoning is a type of space ninjutsu that can summon summoning beasts to assist ninjas in fighting. But you must sign a contract with summoning men. So from now on, can I only have one summoning beast? Chi Yejun looked at the little Black Cat, feeling somewhat disappointed. Why not T08 Demon? No, in the future host can also obtain various other types of summoning beasts, even tailed beasts. This sentence was like a reassurance, which made Chi Yejun feel relieved. However, he is not particularly clear about the abilities of this black cat demon. After the black cat signed the contract, he disappeared. After calming down, Chi Yejun looked at the body on the ground again. Did Danzo send me to assassinate me? I was killed by the cat demon. Back home, lying on the bed, tossing and turning. In the end, he couldn't help but use the summoning technique to summon the cat demon. Bang. There was a loud bang. A huge black cat suddenly appears. The body shape is more than ten times larger than what I saw just now, and it can hardly fit in the small house. Only then did Ikeno Jun remember that the size of the summon summoning beast was related to his own chakra amount. Um, can you be smaller? The cat demon understood what Ikeno Jun meant and immediately transformed into the size of a kitten. Let's just call you Xiao Hei from now on. Advertisement. The little black cat waggled its tail happily, meowed, and jumped on Chi Yejun. Then what special abilities do you have? Is it a combat type, a perception type, or an auxiliary type? Xiao Hei didn't answer, just licked his fur. Okay, Chi Yejun did not force it. He dug out a bag of Mioxion Veo from the space and handed it to it. It's late at night. Chi Yejun slowly fell asleep. Until I was awakened by a noise, he was keenly aware that there was someone on the roof. It's endless, I'm addicted to assassination. After thinking for a while, he used summoning to summon Xiao Hei. After Xiao Hei appeared, he jumped onto the roof. Not long after, there was a loud noise from the eaves, then the roof suddenly shattered into a large piece. The structure of Chi Jun's house is made of pure wood. It has been in disrepair for many years and has become very fragile. Looking at the ceiling that suddenly shattered above his head, Chi Yejun couldn't laugh or cry. Nima, this cat is too strong-willed. It seems that we are really going to move. When will the house over there be built? However, Xiao Hei's destructive power is not bad. After receiving the order just now, Xiao Hei enlarged his body and jumped up to the roof to find the enemy. It rushed towards the opponent at an extremely fast speed and threw it away with a claw attack. With this claw alone, a big hole was blown out of the roof. The root ninja keenly sensed the enemy and ducked to avoid the attack. But no one was seen, and everything in front of him was empty. Chi Yejun also flew up to the roof. And there were people rushing towards us from a distance. It's the alarmed Umbu ninja? This root ninja was shocked. If discovered by Umbu, the assassination attempt will be exposed. With this thought in mind, he immediately used the body flicker technique to escape and jump to the neighboring roof. In fact, Toshi Ikono can knock him down with just a rakery. But he wanted to try the ability of this summoning beast. Xiao Hei, catch up. Advertisement. Chapter 17 Discovering Xiao Hei's New Ability Advertisement The root ninja leaped across the roof and quickly ran far away from Ikeno Jun's house. There was only one thought in his mind. Don't get caught. Otherwise, once the identity is exposed, it will become the basis for the third hokage to blackmail Danzo. Xiao Hei and Chi Yejun are chasing after them. In the distance, two Umbu members were chasing after him. The night is melting, and the cool moonlight shines on Kanaha village. Xiao Hei raised his golden eyes and looked at the moon. Sudden, moonlight began to appear on its body, like a swarm of fireflies flickering in the night. Is this absorbing the tidal power of the moon? Chi Yejun was stunned for a moment. A few seconds passed, and the moonlight surrounding Xiao Hei slowly stabilized, and its size also increased again. Boom, just as the Gen Nin was about to escape from the residential area, there was a sudden sound on the roof, and then a hole opened just enough to fit in. This is Xia Hei's claw attack? It did not attack the root Nin directly, but crossed him and lowered its claws on the roof in front. What happened? Why did a hole suddenly appear? The ninja was suddenly shocked. 
but his speed is too fast. At the same time, you should also be distracted and alert to the surrounding conditions. When the roof collapsed in front of me, the inertia of the forward thrust didn't have time to break, so I stepped on it, click, the ankle and even the trapped thigh are subjected to huge twisting forces, resulting in fractures, heartbreaking pain, extending from the left ankle to the calf, thigh, and ball. He stepped on the air and sat on the roof with one leg in a split. My balls are so sore that I'm probably going to die. The man and woman who were sleeping below screamed and ran out. After Chi Yejun saw it, he was overjoyed. Haha, <laughs> this little guy has a very high IQ and is quite insidious. He actually used this trick. I like it. Advertisement. He caught up and petted Xiao Hei, who had returned to the size of a kitten. Gilu. Xiao Hei made a comfortable sound in his throat, raised his head and narrowed his eyes in enjoyment. Who's in front? Wait, why is that guy sitting on the roof with one leg? Not long after, the two Umbu ninjas behind him also arrived. They recognized Toshi Ikeno, the disciple of Third Hokage. Hey, root members. The face of the ninja who was enjoying the pain in his balls was extremely distorted under the mask. One leg was broken, and Umbu chased after him. For him, the mission was a complete failure. Hey, why did you show up here in the middle of the night? As soon as he finished speaking, everyone suddenly felt a little groggy. Soon, the two Umbu ninjas fell directly onto the roof and fell into a coma. Chi Yejun barely managed to avoid falling due to his strong mental strength. Hypnosis? That root ninja actually used a genjutsu. However, Xiao Hei seemed not to be affected by the illusion. Its eyes shot out a will o' the wisp light, and then roared at the enemy. In fact, one claw strike could kill him at this moment. But the cat demon has a very high IQ. He knows that his master wants to keep him alive, so he launches an army to hold him accountable. As soon as its roar ended, the two Umbu ninjas immediately woke up and rubbed their heads. Chi Yejun's originally heavy mind also became much clearer. He understood immediately. Xiao Hei also has the ability to break illusions? Haha, <laughs> this is awesome. But hypnosis is the most rubbish illusion. I don't know if awesome illusions like Mirror Mirror, Toad Singing, and Infinite Tsukuyomi will work. Chi Yejun is full of expectations for Xiao Hei's unknown abilities. However, just when Umbu members stepped forward to question him, the root ninja suddenly opened his mouth and bit down suddenly, vomiting blood and died. Advertisement. Immediately, the corpse turned into a pool of bloody flesh. It turns out that there is an instant killing poison hidden in the gaps between their teeth. Just bite it open hard, and a small amount can kill you, and it can also corrode the corpse instantly, making it impossible for the opponent to obtain information. However, third generation still learned of what Danzo had done. He called Kakashi overnight and once again told him to strengthen protection and to set up hidden sentries near Chi Jun's house at night. At the same time, in a hidden cave on the edge of Kanaha, a man in black knelt on one knee and reported, Lord Danzo, Anpeke was also killed and his body has dissolved. What? Amba was also killed. Danzo's eyes flashed with surprise and anger. A total of 13 ninjas sent to assassinate were all killed without exception. Among them are some special jonin assassinated by the Grand Master. This time, Danzo was completely shocked. He stood quietly, his eyes deep and solemn. The assassination was exposed, and the other party was the disciple of third generation after all, so he did not dare to act rashly again. But I am unwilling to do so. This Aikyajun is really not simple. It seems that we must rely on the elders. In addition, he thought of his good gay friend. The next day, when Jun Shino came to the Hokage building and issued a task to repair the roof, he met the third generation. In the original work, Toshi Aikano only knew about Tsunade's gambling and drinking, but he didn't know that third generation was actually a hidden alcoholic. At this moment, he was drinking sake alone. Drinking alcohol damages the liver? Chi Yejun couldn't help but said, Grandpa Hokage, be careful. Third generation looked at him and said with a lewd expression, Baby, phew, a mouthful of blood spurted out. After the embarrassment, third generation asked, Little guy, what happened last night? Why did that ninja suddenly fall? Chi Yejun scratched his head and said, Didn't they tell you, the cat? Advertisement. Cat? What cat? Third generation asked in confusion. Only then did Chi Yejun suddenly realize, Then I was ecstatic. He discovered another ability of Xiao Hei. Invisible? After that, a huge holographic panel appeared in front of his eyes. The above is divided into three columns. They are Tailed Beast, Summoning Beast, and Ninja Beast. The Tailed Beast column has nine gray boxes. Summoning Man, on the other hand, has more than a hundred gray boxes, with only one highlighted, which is the pattern of the Black Cat Demon. After Chino Jun clicked on it, he discovered Xiao Hei's talent and currently known abilities. Talents are divided into tenacity, wildness, and excitement, corresponding to tanks, DPS, and support respectively. Xiao Hei's talent is wildness. Known abilities include clawing, slapping, invisibility, and dispelling illusions. As for the invisibility ability, apart from being visible to the owner, the Haiga clan, including those with the Akugan enabled, cannot see it. After the panel disappeared, a picture appeared in front of Junji. It's so majestic to take various summoning beasts on the battlefield with you, haha, I want to tame all these summoning beasts and become the best hunter in the Hokage world. While I was thinking about it, I was interrupted by the sound of third generation coughing. Ahem, the new house has been repaired. You can move there. It's closer to here and it's relatively safer. Chi Yejun doesn't care about safety. He believed Danzo was temporarily in shock. However, housing conditions can finally be improved. In order to once again express his gratitude to third generation, Junji spent a lot of effort and finally found a treasure. This is. Third generation took it over and studied it carefully. Ikeno Jun handed him a banana and instructions, then ran away with a smirk. When third generation finally figured it out, their love for Toshi Ikeno was like a torrential river. Advertisement. Chapter 18 The future father-in-law appears. Advertisement. After going downstairs, Chi Yejun flew towards the new house. On the side of a quiet path full of flowers, there is a Japanese-style courtyard with a lawn courtyard. It is antique, large-scale, and full of majesty. It's simply a big manor. Wow, this is my new home? Hey, why is there someone here? Now, a man wearing a white kimono walked out of the house. 
10,000 years of iceberg face unchanged, a pair of cataracts. I wipe it, turns out to be Hinata's dad, this is the residence of the Hayaga clan. Out of politeness, Toshichino greeted his future father-in-law. Hayashi took the Hayaga family's indifference to the ultimate level, glanced at him coldly and left. Next to the mansion, there is a unique courtyard with a two-story wooden building. This is my home. Although it's not that big in Kanaha village, it's much better than the old house. And in the previous life, this was a villa worth several million? Chi Yejun quickly became happy and ran in. The first floor is the living room, dining room, and kitchen, and the second floor has three rooms. He took half a day off to move and make the new house warm and comfortable. The living room is equipped with high-end leather sofas, handmade camel hair carpets, several unique pieces of log furniture, and various pillows stacked just right. The integrated cabinets and various kitchen utensils in the kitchen are top-notch. Even the homes of famous people in several countries do not have such modern facilities. Of course, everything is looted from the universal space. He was also worried about whether others would be suspicious if he always took out cool stuff from Doraemon. Later I remembered. Advertisement. Produced by the system, it is flawless, comes with its own illusions, and can conceal the truth. There are floor-to-ceiling windows on the south side of the living room, allowing sunlight to penetrate through, making the room well-lit and warm. Through the glass, you can see the lush garden in the backyard. There is a swimming pool here, and the breeze blows and the waves sparkle. Third generation froze in place as if struck by lightning. He even wants to move the Hokage office here. This warm atmosphere is more attractive to children who live alone. Because, it feels like home here. A few more days passed. Night. Hokage building conference room. The walls inside were tattooed with a giant Kanaha logo. Three old men and one old woman sat on the floor around a wooden table. They are Sarutobi Hiruzen. Kanaha advisors Mitokato Homura, Yudadin Koharo, root leader Shimura Danzo. Although the four people have different divisions of labor, when they come together they will form a special force, the Kanaha elders group. If a major incident occurs in the village, the decision must be made through discussion by the elders. At this time, the four people's expressions were solemn. Danzo officially puts pressure on third generation. Naruto alone as a Jinchuriki is enough to scare people, but now we have another guy who can form seals quickly and has a dead bone pulse physique. His uncontrollability is several levels higher than Naruto, Danzo said uneasily. What do you mean? Sarutobi Hiruzen took a puff of cigarette and asked casually. I'm worried that he will pose a threat to Kanaha village, so I suggest that he be expelled from the village. Expulsion? Haha, <laughs> haven't you already sent people to take action without telling us? Third generation said sarcastically. Danzo was speechless and speechless. So, he looked at the other two consultants. Ahem, we have investigated secretly. The little guy named Chi Yejun has a good character, a simple background, and a good foundation. Advertisement. Yes, we should not suppress him now, but should try our best to keep him. You actually sent someone to assassinate him. Kohara and Homura shook their heads. Danzo was speechless. At this moment, he didn't know that Junji, who was the Grand Master's social contact, had already bribed the two elderly people in advance. That's it. I can Jun does not pose a threat to Kanaha, and I hope someone will stop targeting my apprentice. Third generation has a stern voice and emphasizes the word disciple. It's a warning to Danzo. Danzo could only give up and leave the building angrily. After he left, the two old men took out a few comics and started reading happily. The old lady took out the dried plums made by Ikono Jun himself. For more than a month, Chi Yejun was not disturbed again. The days were uneventful. Three days later, the graduation exam will be held, and the original plot is finally about to begin. Once he passes the exam, Jun Ikono will officially become a Kanaha Shinobi. This is one step closer to his goal of becoming the Hokage and unifying the ninja world. But for him, exams were nothing to worry about. At this moment, Naruto, addicted to Hokage Rock Brush, is being chased by ninjas. The next day, inside the classroom. Today is the review test for transformation technique, and tomorrow is the official test. Those who have already passed, please stand up. The students lined up, waiting for Iruka's assessment. Ino no longer stood next to Suzuki, but came to Ikono Jun, with boundless enthusiasm. What a troublesome woman. Shikamaru said lazily. Yeah, Koji was eating potato chips. Hinata looked shyly at Ikono Jun, as if he was her spiritual support. Chi Yejun crossed his thumb and index finger, made a heart sign, and then blew towards her. Hinata fainted immediately. Naruto lowered his head with frustration on his face. Afterwards, Chi Yejun looked at the members of the Zishin gang and sighed softly. Advertisement. After becoming a ninja, you will face bloodshed and sacrifice, and you will no longer be able to appreciate the simplicity of school. Ikono Shun loves beautiful things. Although he will not deliberately tamper with the plot, the fate of some characters may be brought back to life in his own hands. Some details that do not affect the direction of the plot may also be slightly modified. He will also make up for some regrettable plots. There are even some villains who make people hate them with all their teeth. Chi Yejun will never show mercy. He wanted to have a good time and treat those guys with his own hands. And right now, the system seemed to see through his thoughts and issued a plot check-in task. Ding! Please host let Suzuki and Naruto kiss in advance. According to the original work, the scene happened between the two at the post-graduation orientation meeting. Now that the mission has been issued, it shows that this innocuous modification of the timeline will not cause the world to collapse. Chi Yejun readily accepted the task. Only, how to get them to kiss smoothly. Just as he was thinking about it, Naruto used a trick to make Iruka's nose bleed. Naruto was judged to have failed amidst laughter and was left to clean the Hokage rock after school. Okay, tomorrow's exam is about clone technique. Iruka cleared his throat and said, No way, you are actually testing my least good ninjutsu. Naruto scratched his head in frustration. Suzuki sneered, Idiot, which ninjutsu are you good at? Upon hearing this, Naruto jumped on the desk, his eyes widened, and cursed angrily. Idiot Suzuki, what the hell? Super idiot. Suzuki glared at him unwillingly. The opportunity has come. Then with lightning speed, he ran up behind Naruto and bumped him on purpose. As a result, a classic scene from the original work was staged ahead of schedule. Although the scene was very eye-catching, Toshichino felt his stomach twitch. But the task was finally completed. I wonder what the reward will be this time? Advertisement. Chapter 19 Obtaining Earth Style. Earth Style Wall. Advertisement. Ah. Naruto and Suzuki yelled at the same time, vomiting wildly. Suzuki's first kiss. The girls, headed by little Sakura, burst into tears. Naruto also got a fat beating. 
However, Ino was not moved by this, but looked at Ikono Jun with a peach blossom face. Jun, you are so naughty. I wipe it. I was just discovered by Ino. The last day of campus life ends. At dusk, the setting sun in the sky is like blood, which seems to indicate the bloody future of the ninja career. After leaving the campus and returning home, Junji called out the task panel and completed the sign-in. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the plot check-in, and the reward will be Earth Style. Earth Style Wall. A 50-50 Earth Flow Wall? Although Chi Yejun has a passive bone armor, but that is only possible when encountering fatal injuries. Although the Doryu Wall is only a B-level ninjutsu, its effects are extremely gorgeous. At night, Chi Yejun came to the space and upgraded the Earth Flow Wall to the God level. The next day, graduation exams are officially here. Chi Yejun passed the exam without any suspense. After getting the forehead protector, I thought about it a lot and finally tied it to my left arm, just like Shikamaru. The other teenagers from the Zishin gang who passed the exam were also very excited. Only Naruto. At this moment, the system issues a new task again. Ding! Please host complete the plot check-in, severely damage Mizuki and improve Naruto's morale, the deadline is two days. In fact, during Naruto's exam today, Toshi Ikono activated the super perception technique. Advertisement. The scene of the examination room came to his mind. Mizuki pretended to plead for Naruto, but Iruka still refused his request. At the moment of rejection, Chi Yejun caught the secret joy flashing in Mizuki's eyes. At that time he was thinking, Demo, brother, I have been paying attention to you for a long time. Unexpectedly, the system actually issued a task to severely injure him and give him a reward, which made Chi Yejun ecstatic. Outside the campus gate, there were excited students and parents. On the swing not far away, Naruto sat there, alone, his eyes showing sadness and loneliness. There is no home, no parents, only people's cynicism. Two tongue-tied women were discussing. It seems that only that child failed. Humph, he deserves it. Yeah, it would be bad for that kind of person to be a jonin. After all, that kid. Hey, you can't say that. Chi Yejun passed by and became angry. He hates women with long tongues. After thinking about it, he smiled evilly and summoned Xiaohei, who only he could see. A few minutes later, the bigger Xiaohei ran back, holding two baskets in his mouth, which were full of yellow shit, mixed with toads, maggots, earthworms, and fart bugs. Then he flew forward and dumped the basket upside down on the woman with the long tongue. Seeing the scene, Naruto laughed. Ikono Jun stepped forward and put his arm around Naruto's shoulders. Come on, you will become a genin, and soon. Naruto's sad face suddenly changed from gloomy to sunny. Really? Then can you treat me to ramen? Oh no, I still want to eat the braised chicken and rice you made. Not today, I have something to do, I will definitely invite you another day. After that, he turned around and ran away, because he knew that Mizuki would appear near the swing soon. Advertisement. As for the forbidden technique in the sealed book, although Ikono Jun is very interested, he will never follow Naruto to steal or learn without thinking. The sealed book is the most important scroll in Kanaha village and is considered a state secret. How could Naruto, someone who couldn't even master the clone technique, take it away so easily? And since Naruto has nine tails in his body, Ambu must be monitoring him at all times, just like Kakashi monitors Ikono Shun. Wouldn't the stolen scroll be reported to the third generation? Furthermore, the third generation crystal ball is just a decoration? Are all the dark ninjas on guard doing so? So Junshi speculated that everything was deliberately arranged by third generation. On the one hand, it will improve Naruto's strength, and on the other hand, it can directly eradicate Mizuki, killing two birds with one stone? Of course, everything is just his guess. There are many pitfalls in the initial stage of Hokage, and Ab has not explained it clearly. Many details are guessed by readers, so there is no need to argue with each other about the details. There is no need to argue with each other when the construction site is on holiday, hee <laughs> hee. Thinking of this, Chi Yejun laughed, and then murmured. Third generation has good intentions and trusts Naruto in every possible way, but it has no concept of itself at all. Although he became his apprentice, Chi Yejun knew very well that this was just a way of restriction. The old man did not trust himself 100%. After all, for him, he is full of too many unknowns and variables. If you rashly steal the scroll or even learn the forbidden technique, the nature is completely different from Naruto's stealing, it will even make the third generation and the board of elders doubt their own intentions and purposes. In the end, his support in Kanaha collapsed. If Danzo wants to deal with himself again, he will have a handle. I know how to use multiple shadow clone. As for other more awesome impure world reincarnation, I can't do it just by looking at it. Naruto also practiced for a while before he learned multiple shadow clone. If I had taken the time to study, I guess third generation would have brought people here long ago. Don't worry, there will be bread, the awesome system will not treat you badly. Therefore, Chi Yejun was very sensible and did not act rashly. He just waited for Mizuki to appear with peace of mind. After a while, Mizuki's figure appeared. He was all smiles and pretended to care. Naruto soon became elated and looked hopeful. After Naruto ran away, the kindness on Mizuki's face was replaced by twisted ferocity. Advertisement. All this was seen by Chi Yejun. He is indeed a despicable careerist wearing the mask of a good guy. You will pay a heavier price today. As for how to make a reasonable appearance, Chi Yejun also planned it. Night comes. He left home and walked aimlessly on the street. A running figure appeared in front of him. Iruka, Toshi Ikono, why don't you sleep in the middle of the night? Iruka stopped when he noticed him. Teacher, I'm so excited to be a genin today. I can't sleep. I just want to go to my mother's grave and tell her. After saying that, Chi Yejun's eyes seemed to be a little red. I wipe it, a drama queen. Although Chi Yejun was a doctor in his previous life, he only inherited his parents' wishes. His ideal is to pass the opera exam and become an actor. Oh, then you go to bed early. Iruka turned around after saying that. Suddenly something came to mind. By the way, Ikono Jun-san, you have the best relationship with Naruto. If he does something bad, where will he usually hide? Bad thing? What bad thing did he do? Chi Yejun asked deliberately. Iruka didn't speak, but when Ikono Junzui pressed him, he still said vaguely. He stole the forbidden book from the village. Chi Yejun asked confused, what is that? Is it the same book as intimate school? Iruka couldn't help but shook his head, you don't need to know the details, just tell me where he will be hiding. 
After pondering for a moment, Chi Yejun said, according to my understanding, he should have gone to the forest. Okay, teacher, take me with you. Maybe I can help find him. Irika hesitated for a moment and finally decided, okay, then you come with me and find Naruto quickly. The two of them quickened their pace and ran towards the forest. Advertisement. Chapter 20 Don't be too lazy here. Advertisement. At this moment Naruto has learned multiple shadow clone. Mizuki also found him and tempted him to hand over the sealed book. Because Iruka was delayed for a moment when he met Ikono Jun, Mizuki had already revealed Naruto's life experience in advance. When he and Ikono Jun arrived, Mizuki was grinning and took out his shuriken. Go to hell. Naruto. The shuriken flew towards Naruto. Naruto was so frightened by the mutation that he turned around and tried to escape. Naruto, get down. Iruka yelled, just when he wanted to help Naruto block the hidden weapon, Ikono Jun, who was one step ahead of him, had already flown up and hugged Naruto. Ikono Shun blocked the shuriken for Iruka. Fortunately, this change of details will not affect the main plot. And Mizuki was also surprised by the appearance of Chi Yejun. The reason why Chi Yejun did this was completely instinctive. Although he knew the plot well, he knew that Iruka would save Naruto. But at that moment, his mind went blank, and he even forgot about the earth current wall he had just learned. Looking at Naruto, who had been with him day and night for many days, he pounced on him without any hesitation. A sharp pain in my back? Lying on the ground, he couldn't help but suddenly realized, it turns out that the bone armor really only appears when facing fatal injuries. Afterwards, this touching scene was also known to third generation and became his bonus. This made third generation greatly appreciate his character. Trust plus 100. Naruto turned over and saw Toshi Ikono blocking his sword, and was stunned. Then he murmured and asked, Why, why? Chi Yejun endured the severe pain in his back and smiled, Because, you are my boy. Well, Chi Yejun almost vomited himself. Naruto was overwhelmed with gratitude, hugging him and crying. But then he fell into pain. Because he already knows that nine tails is hidden in his body. That murderer? He won't be able to accept it for a while. Advertisement. The boy who was usually cheerful and optimistic and always smiling was now full of sadness and despair. No wonder I have a beard on my face. No wonder adults are talking coldly to me. Naruto was devastated. Iruka was silent, not knowing how to comfort him. As a time traveler who is familiar with Hokage scripts, Toshichino naturally knows how powerful the mouth escape is. Next, he executed it perfectly. Hey, Naruto. Why are you crying? Those were all done by nine tails and have nothing to do with you. But, that guy is sealed inside me. Naruto whimpered. So what? It's just a seal, you are still yourself. I can Ojun Balabala said a lot. But Naruto still hung his head, dejected. Finally, Chi Yejun roared. Uzumaki Naruto, don't forget, you are the man who will become Hokage from now on. This roar woke Naruto up. Naruto, don't worry about the eyes of the villagers. Those people are better than keyboard warriors. They not only talk but also point. It's so annoying. Just remember, you still have me, Suzuki, Iruka Sensei, and Bomb Heaven's help. Naruto heard this and nodded heavily, yes, and Ichiraku Ramen. Chi Yejun was amused by him. Seeing this scene, Iruka looked approvingly. The third generation in the Hokage building also nodded happily. Sure enough, I was right about these two little guys, especially Chi Yejun. They have clear minds at critical times and are not afraid of danger. Mizuki had naturally heard of Chi Yejun's strength. But that's just what I heard, not seeing is believing. He even thought that Toshi Ikono was the illegitimate son of third generation and that Kabuki. No matter what, I have to get the scroll today. Chi Yejun sneered. With me here, your conspiracy will not succeed. Mizuki took out a kunao and pointed it at Chi Yejun. You damn kid, you are so nosy. Let me teach you a lesson today. Just you, second man. Chi Yejun dismissed it. In his opinion, all the special codes who hang out with Orikimaru are useless seconds. Why? His face is so pale, he must have kidney deficiency. Advertisement. However, this time, Chi Yejun underestimated the enemy. Whoosh. A kunao quickly crossed his forehead, leaving a bloody mouth. Oh no, the appearance is disfigured. Chi Yejun covered his forehead, showing anger. Carelessness can kill people? Unexpectedly, Mizuki, who was beaten by Naruto in the anime, was not that low in strength. Toshi Ikono. Iruka rushed towards Mizuki and shouted back. You two run away. Want to run? It's not that easy. Mizuki roared, took out several shurikens, and threw them at Ikono Jun. Chi Yejun easily dodged this time. And right now? Conditional apprenticeship? The grass beneath his feet suddenly split open, and another Mizuki emerged? Clone technique? And Mizuki beside Iruka suddenly turned into smoke. Haha, it seems this guy is going to decide my fate. A murderous intention suddenly rose in Chi Yejun's heart? The system asked me to severely injure Mizuki, but that doesn't mean I can't kill him. Today, this guy Mizuki will definitely die, but now is not the time. Because the system's plot mission has two parts. One is to severely damage Mizuki. One is to boost Naruto's morale. If Mizuki is easily defeated, Naruto's multiple shadow clone will have no chance to be used. And right now, Naruto suddenly stopped in front of Ikono Jun and glared at Mizuki with anger in his eyes. You are not allowed to hurt my friends. Otherwise I will kill you. Mizuki disagreed, holding his belly and laughing loudly. Haha, <laughs> how arrogant? How dare you, a brat like you, talk to the teacher like that. Let me take care of you in one move. Advertisement. Iruka ran over and wanted to step forward, but was stopped by Ikono Jun. Teacher, give Naruto a chance to clear his name, cheer him up, and completely get rid of the reputation of being a bad guy. Iruka hesitated for a moment, nodded, and took out his shuriken for defense. Mizuki laughed. He will never be able to get rid of the reputation of being the tail of the crane for the rest of his life. Chi Yejun sneered. Don't be too lazy here. If you have the ability, try it with Naruto and see if he can stab you. Mizuki didn't understand at all. Suddenly confused. I want this effect. Naruto, use that move you just learned. Naruto reacted immediately. Scum, I will make you pay for your actions today. Then try it if you have the ability. Fox Demon. Multiple Shadow Clone. Naruto crossed his hands, and in an instant, smoke filled the air and banging sounds could be heard. Mizuki was instantly enveloped by Naruto's army. The sudden strangeness surprised Iruka. Mizuki's expression changed drastically. This, how is this possible? 
Soon, the forest was filled with the sound of fists piercing flesh and the wails of Mizuki. Akino Jun took the opportunity to use the body replacement technique to sneak into the Naruto Legion. After getting close to Mizuki, he took out his kunao and stabbed Mizuki's anus. Thousand years of death. The howling Mizuki immediately fell to the ground and was pressed to the ground and rubbed by Naruto's army. Friction, friction, friction on this smooth ground. In the end, Shui Mubi lay on the ground with a bruised face and a swollen face. The system pops up. Ding. Congratulations to host for improving Naruto's morale, keep up the good work. I wipe it? What's the situation? Isn't thousand years of death a serious blow? Advertisement. Chapter 21 Cutting Throat Mizuki. Advertisement. Kanaha Forest. Chi Yejun looked at Mizuki with a bruised nose and swollen face. Kind expression. Elegant temperament. Handsome appearance. The heart is extremely twisted and dark. He knew that the lonely Naruto needed comfort, and used warmth to cover up the vicious plot behind it. His eloquent tongue encouraged the ignorant Naruto to make big mistakes. The mantis stalks the cicada, followed by the Oriole. Just like in real life, someone is smiling on the outside but stabbing someone in the back. This kind of person is the most damn hateful, but their endings are often tragic. After Mizuki escaped from prison and defected to Orikimura, he was reduced to a disposable pawn. Invincible and invincible, it's your own fault. Chi Yejun believes in. When faced with an enemy who wants to kill you, you should not use an embroidery needle to remind them of your presence. It should be when he is most relaxed. Stab him hard? Do you think you can compare with other big guys just because you have the word water? There's a huge difference. Today, end your pain early. At this time, Naruto's morale was boosted because he defeated Mr. Mizuki. Nestled in Iruka's arms, we care about each other. The opportunity has come. Ikano Shun carried the Kusanagi sword and walked to the unconscious Mizuki. Pfft. The sword edge directly cut open the main artery in the neck, and blood spurted out. Afk you to death. Mizuki woke up from the severe pain. He covered his throat and stared at Chi Yejun, his face full of shock and despair. You have to thank me, otherwise if you fall into the arms of a second man in the future, you will be worse than dead. Advertisement. Soon, Mizuki closed his eyes in pain. Then, Chi Yejun sighed softly. There will be no hokage after Mizuki. Iruka noticed something strange and exclaimed, Toshi Ikano, what are you doing? At the same time, hokage building. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who witnessed everything through the crystal ball, dropped his pipe in shock. This little guy's attack was so crisp and clean. He immediately stood up and used the body flicker technique to disappear. In the leaf forest, Iruka did not revive Mizuki. Naruto stood there stupidly, staring at Ikano Jun motionlessly. And Chi Yejun is not very worried about killing people. Because he knew very well that third generation already knew Mizuki's personality and tricks. He was like pulling out a fang for Kanaha. Chi Yejun counted with his fingers. Seven root ninjas, Mizuki, I'll kill you in a few months. Toshi Ikano, this matter should be left to Hokage-sama to decide. Iruka looked ugly. Faced with the questioning, Chi Yejun did not panic. As a person in two lifetimes, my face has long been trained to be as thick as a city wall. He quickly found an excuse. But before that, he took off his shirt, found a mirror from the space and came to Iruka. What are you doing? Iruka sensei, please hold the mirror to my back. Ikano Shun then casts healing jutsu. The green light passed through the mirror and reflected to the wound on the back. Medical ninjutsu can still be used like this. Iruka was stunned. After regaining consciousness, he still said sternly, Chi Jun, how could you kill him without permission? At this time, Chi Yejun was looking forward to the rewards from the system. Ding, congratulations to the host for improving Naruto's morale and perfectly inflicting heavy damage on Mizuki. Special rewards include tailoring skills and self-created lightning style ninjutsu. Advertisement. Phew, Chi Yejun was stunned. What the hell? Damn, I'm a man. I need tailoring skills. What's the point? Do you want me to be a sissy who can embroider? So damn funny. And what is the self-created lightning style ninjutsu? What nonsense? Chino Jun, did you hear what I said? Why did you kill him? Iruka interrupted his reverie. Chi Yejun came to his senses. The drama queen adds his mouth to escape. Teacher Mizuki used the clone technique several times today. I thought it was also a clone just now. You are my favorite teacher, and Naruto is my best friend. For your safety, I stabbed it. But I didn't expect that it turned out to be the real body. This is such a lie. Very reliable. It makes perfect sense. Iruka thought about it. Toshiya Ikano is just a boy. He was indeed deceived by Mizuki's clone just now. His act of assassinating his clone is understandable. After thinking about it this way, his expression softened a lot, and he sighed and said, Clone technique has no real entity, it's just a deception, and you should ask me. Ikano Jun lowered his head and murmured, Teacher Iruka, I'm sorry, it's because my basic skills are not solid. After saying that, he took off the forehead protector from his arm and handed it to Iruka. What are you? I don't even understand the clone technique. I'm not worthy of being a ninja. Please take this back. Chi Yejun laughed wildly in his heart. Really, the soft-hearted Iruka can't stand the painful drama. The tip of his heart was touched, and he hurriedly put the forehead protector back on. My child, you are already very good today, more than enough to become a ninja. Chi Yejun then said with a smile, Thank you, teacher. Naruto finally woke up from the shock. Wow, Ikano Jun, you are so awesome. I admire you so much. Advertisement. Iruka asked in confusion, What is awesome? Niubang is also called Nayubei and Laiubiao, which means powerful and tough. While he was explaining, a figure suddenly appeared. Sarutobi Hiruzen, Lord Hokage, Grandpa Hokage. Third generation nodded and looked at Ikano Jun thoughtfully. After the medical team showed up, Sarutobi Hiruzen explained and left with Ikano Jun. Hokage building office. Third generation said, Clone techniques words can be hidden from Iruka, but they can't be hidden from me. You killed Mizuki on purpose. The old man saw through it. Chi Yejun said immediately. Then Grandpa Hokage, do you think a sinister villain like Mizuki should be killed? Third generation then patted him on the shoulder, took out a big banana and handed it to him. Don't be nervous. Mizuki conspired to steal the forbidden technique scroll first. You and Naruto are both victims. I will control the news about this matter and follow your clone techniques words. But never encounter this kind of situation again in the future. Be impulsive, after all, many people are watching you. Chi Yejun smiled and nodded. 
Through this incident, third generation saw a fierceness and wildness in Ikon Ojun. This is a quality a leader must possess. The virgin's softness is fatal. If controlled and trained, there will be great achievements in the future. Third generation held up his bamboo hat and suddenly had an idea. Let Junji join Umbu for training. However, let's wait until after Chinin. After returning home, Toshi Ikono summoned the system to learn more about the rewarded homemade lightning style ninjutsu. After a period of exploration, Chi Yejun created a new ninjutsu. Lightning style. Ball balls. I saw five or six egg-sized blue electric balls jumping in his palm. It is different from Kiragaku Arega's thunder ball. The balls are not lethal, but have a paralyzing effect. At this time, someone suddenly knocked on the door. Opening it up, it was Naruto. Hee <laughs> hee, just use him to test. Next door, in the attic of the Haiga station, Hineda quietly looks over here. Thanks to AQ00, Gao Tanjian from Urjia Jiao, Zhao Yan Gangzo, I have something to do. Please forgive me for being new, the sleeping god in class, user 10279490, user 32497513, I want to eat melon, black star, user 49218560, that person adults, Tianmeng Origin, Omicron Omicron, Zishen Gang Ghost Rider, Zishen Gang 50 to 50 split, Gukan who loves to read, user 11211365, user 21062550, enjoy, Zishen Gang left protector, 1, Du Wan who likes horse mouth fish, user 21414747, Hui Kai Fugui. 9122, Meow Meow, Shi Ling who likes banana milk, Nether Sea Dragon, Xiong Bean of Cyros, Jot Yan Help, Reward from the Great Ancestor, Thank you to all the babies who follow the updates, Advertisement, Chapter 22 New Usage of Multiple Shadow Clone, Advertisement, Chi Yejun opened the door, Hey, why are you the only one, where Suzuki, Naruto held his stomach and laughed, he went to blacksmith, Blacksmithing, Ikono Jun didn't know that after that physical training competition, Suzuki started his journey of blacksmithing, Second Floor Bedroom, he pushed Naruto onto the bed. Naruto chuckled. Haha, it's so itchy, brother, what are you going to do? Chi Yejun wants to try the effect of ball balls. With a wave of his hand, five or six electric balls bounced onto Naruto's back. It clings to it like a cupping cup, making a sizzling sound. The electroball negative pressure attracts and stimulates the acupoints on the back and the meridians in the body. At this moment, the system jumped out unexpectedly and issued an unexpected sign-in task. Ding, please host the ten ways to use multiple shadow clone, and the sign-in period is one month. What the hell? This is also a task. How to use multiple shadow clone? Chi Yejun thought about it. In the future, I will open a physical therapy shop on Kanaha Street. I will use egg balls to massage people, promote dredging of meridians, strengthen the body and eliminate evil spirits. It should make money. Thinking about it, I fell asleep. Naruto also felt sleepy and fell asleep. Although the third generation is suppressing the situation, there is no impermeable wall in the world. The residents of Kanaha village still know. Then, news of Chi Yejun's brutal murder of his teacher spread like wildfire. He became a second Naruto. Become a geek in Kanaha village? Advertisement. Everyone who saw him on the road pointed at him. The adults even told the children, don't play with him. He is a savage and cruel guy, even the teacher dares to kill him. Go to hell. Chi Yejun doesn't care at all. His talents are thick-skinned and able to withstand pressure. But if he catches them chewing their tongues, he will definitely come forward and tear their mouths apart. Fortunately, the members of the Zishin gang were not hostile to him. Especially Suzuki, knowing that Mizuki was killed, he just said oh lightly without any change in emotion. This morning, there was a graduation information meeting. Teacher Iruka announced the class divisions. Originally, the 27 graduates were divided into 9 classes, with 3 students in each class. But because of the addition of Toshi Ikono, one of the classes will have 4 people. There is no suspense that Toshi Ikono is in Kakashi's class 7. Little Sakura didn't dislike him as much as before, but she still disliked Naruto. She yelled, why are you being grouped with that idiot? But he soon showed off to Ino. <laughs> Suzuki and I are in the same class. Ino didn't pay attention at all, but looked at Chi Yejun like an infomaniac. Zaijun, it would be great if I wanted to be in the same class as you. Koji, you fat pig, stop eating. Naruto still smiled stupidly in the face of little Sakura's scolding. Chi Yejun shook his head helplessly. This fool, having a crush on Yi Hua is so unworthy. He doesn't even know if he gets cheated on later. He was determined to change Naruto's dog-licking attributes and completely forget about little Sakura. At 10 o'clock in the morning, the briefing session ended. On the way home, he specially stopped Hineda, the future child's mother. Hineda, I won't be able to see you every day after graduation. After saying that, he performed a gentle head-touching kill. The two were so close that they could almost smell each other's breath. Advertisement. Hineda felt the breath hitting her face, her heartbeat suddenly accelerated, and she felt dizzy. No, it's okay, our two families are close to each other, you can come and play with me. After finishing speaking, Hineda lowered her head shyly. Chi Yejun chuckled, well, you can come to my house when you have time. I don't have anyone at home, so it's convenient to play. Hineda shook her little hands, then what are you playing with? Ahem, game consoles, karaoke, etc., I'll teach you how to sing Conquer Dot. After a moment of embarrassment, Chi Yejun deliberately asked. By the way, do you have any brothers or sisters? I also have a sister who is five years younger than me. Her name is Hanabi. Chi Yejun pretended to be surprised. Hanabi? It's the first time I heard you say that. Next time, bring her to play too. Good. After saying goodbye to Hineda, Toshi Ikono returned home and got into the kitchen to prepare lunch. I met Granny Koharu just now on the road. Since the last time she ate the snacks made by Chi Yejun, she has been thinking about it. Chi Yejun promised to make some more for his mother-in-law. Certainly, he has a purpose. Mitokato Homura and Yudadin Koharu don't have a strong presence in the original work, and they themselves are not very powerful ninjas. There is no eternal youth buff, but the two have participated in many proposals to determine the Hokage candidate. It also has a certain prestige in the village. During the time of Boruto, although they had limited mobility, they were still responsible for making decisions on major events in the village and managing Kanaha's government agencies. Therefore, Chi Yejun did not ignore these two old people. 
You can't hang the third generation old man from a tree. The master disciple relationship will only become a bondage, and we will still have to find opportunities to dissolve the relationship in the future. Under the Sakura Flower Tree. Advertisement. The fallen flowers are colorful and youthful. Aikano Jun was carrying a food basket containing plums and Anko glutinous rice cakes. A little girl came over. Smell good. The speaker was a cute little loli. She has short black hair and skin as smooth as gelatin. The cheeks that can be broken are rosy, sweet, and playful. She was wearing a pink kimono and her sparkling glass slippers were so dazzling that she looked like a child from a wealthy family. Only, her eyes have the same white pupils as Hinata. Chi Yejun was stunned. Hanabi, little sister, what's your name? Aikano Jun bent down and took out a piece of Anko glutinous rice cake from the basket. The Hayaga family's strict tutoring does not allow casual conversations with strangers. Don't even eat other people's food. However, looking at Chi Yejun's soft eyes, the little girl felt an inexplicable sense of security. He is much kinder than big brother Niji. She looked at the family secret guards following not far away. The secret guard recognized this new neighbor, the apprentice of the third Hokage. I cook delicious food every day, and the strange fragrance comes from the small courtyard. I smell it when I go to the toilet and I have an appetite. With permission, the little girl took the Anko glutinous rice cake, took a small bite, and said, My name is Hayaga Hanabi. Haha, ha, sure enough it was Hayaga Hanabi. When she grows up, she becomes a beautiful girl in the Hokage world. The score can be at least 90 points. I didn't expect that I was so kawaii when I was a child. Advertisement. Chapter 23 The King is flying all over the sky. Advertisement. Saying goodbye to little Hanabi, Toshi Aikano walked towards Yudin Kohara's house. When I came back, it was afternoon. He walked directly to the school. Because in the afternoon there is a meeting with Mr. Jonan who leads the team. At this moment, the system jumped out and issued a new sign-in task. Ding. A plot sign-in task is now issued. Please host defeat Kakashi in the trial. The deadline is two days. Trial? Defeat Kakashi? Aikano Jun remembered that it would soon be a trial survival exercise and a battle to win the bell. The career of a ninja will officially begin. Although Kakashi is a genius in Konoha, Aikano Shun is fully confident in defeating him. This mission is like giving it away for free. Then the system rang again. Quest supplement. The battle is over. Kakashi's mask is revealed. Puff. This task is a bit difficult. By the time I got to school, it was already two o'clock in the afternoon. If he hadn't wanted to see Sister Yu with his own eyes, he could have come later. The classroom is full of students, and everyone is waiting for the leading teacher to appear. After a while, the door was pushed open. In the smoke, a tall man appeared. Sarutobi Asuma. He held a cigarette in his mouth and squinted his eyes, inheriting the old habit of smoking. Then pop out the cigarette butt. Come with me from class 10. After that, he left the classroom with Shikamaru, Koji, and Ino. The little beauty has a lot of inner drama. Smoking man plus lazy man plus dead fat man. Ajin left me, my life is so miserable. Advertisement. Chi Yejun looked at Asuma's back and couldn't help but think of the lady in red. It's really cheap for this smoker uncle. Just as he was thinking about it, a sexy mature woman walked in. The figure is slender and exquisite. His hands were wrapped in bandages, and his sleeveless left hand exposed his jade arm. Black hair, red eyes, bright lips. Mature, enchanting, beautiful and majestic. It's none other than Yuji Yuhi Hong. Chi Yejun couldn't help but be intoxicated. This royal sister is so beautiful. Kurane Yui glanced around the classroom and spotted Toshi Aikano. This is Hokage's apprentice, he's quite good looking. The three of you from class 8 are following me. Hineda, Hiba, and Shino walked outside. Hineda couldn't help but look back at Aikano Jun, as if she was parting from life or death. Chi Yejun did not touch his heart with his hands this time, but directly blew a passionate kiss. Hineda fainted with a bang. Soon, everyone was gone and only four people from class 7 were left. Aikano Jun knew that it would take at least more than an hour for Kakashi to show up. So he took out his playing cards. Let's fight the landlord. Young people learn quickly, and after a while, kings are flying all over the place. But the more we play, the more boring it becomes, because little Sakura always gives Suzuki a break. This is also the reason why Toshi Chino didn't play cards with women in his previous life. He was always cheating and cheating. Naruto became jealous and soon got into a fight with Suzuki. The two were having so much fun that they even forgot about the blackboard eraser prank. Chi Yejun shook his head with a wry smile, picked up the blackboard eraser and put it on the edge of the door. Hokage Building Office. Third generation looks into the classroom through a crystal ball. Kakashi stood aside with a headache. One is a lively and troublesome troublemaker. One is a little guy who has a closed heart and hides his hatred. Advertisement. There is also a young genius who is so awesome that he seems to be cheating. Coupled with this is a girl who appears gentle but is actually violent. These seven classes are simply a collection of troubles. But there is no way. Who let Hokage speak? An hour later, Kakashi arrived late. My impression of you is quite unpleasant. On the rooftop, everyone introduces each other's likes, dislikes, etc. Hearing Naruto and Sakura's answers, Aikano Jun was stuffed with dog food. Start survival drills tomorrow. Naruto's imagination was wide open and he asked with a smile, Survival drill? Is it a wilderness survival lesson? Wood style is used as firewood. Earth style is used as the stove. Fire style makes a fire. Water style washes vegetables, cooks rice, and makes soup. Suck, suck. Kakashi gave an explanation after letting out a strange and dissolute laugh. Afterwards, the scene was chaotic. What? Eliminate. 66% elimination rate. This ninja school that teaches nothing is just a large pig farm. In the end, there is an elimination system. This is crazy. This last sentence is Chi Yejun's true thoughts. Kakashi decided to end this bad meeting quickly and go to Guy, who is also single, to have a relaxing chat. Aikano Shun once suspected that the friendship between Kakashi and his rival Guy went beyond that of buddies. It's just that I have no evidence. Bring your ninja tools and gather at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Remember not to eat breakfast, or you will vomit. Although the elimination rate of the exercise was high, Toshi Chino was not worried at all. Because everyone in class 7 will successfully pass the exercise assessment. What he is most concerned about now is how to uncover Kakashi's mask and obtain the mission reward. After Kakashi disappeared, little Sakura said angrily, You just left like this? What an irresponsible teacher. Naruto looked at her and said with a flattering look on his face, Sakura-chan, let's go on a date. Little Sakura roared, go to hell. Then he chased after Suzuki who left in Kabuto. Suzuki-kun, wait for me. Advertisement. Chi Yejun smiled bitterly and shook his head. 
It is imperative to save Naruto, let him forget about the irritable Sakura as soon as possible. The next day, 9 o'clock, Chi Yejun stretched and got up beautifully. Take your time to wash up and have breakfast. I didn't arrive at the third training ground until 10 o'clock. As expected, the three teammates were slumped on the ground, with panda eyes, drowsy and haggard. And Kakashi hasn't shown up yet. After another while, a lazy voice finally came. Good morning, I just met a black cat. It's early, it's already noon. Teacher, you are too slow. Naruto was the first to curse. Snort. Suzuki also curled his lips in dissatisfaction. Little Sakura pointed at Ikeno Jun. I suspect that the teacher is colluding with Ikeno Jun. You all had a great sleep. Chi Yejun pretended to be innocent and waved his hands. No, no, it's just a coincidence. But he was ecstatic in his heart. Laozi is so foresight. Who told you that you haven't seen Hokage Ninja? Hehe. He. Ordinarily, Toshi Chino does not need to participate in the drill at all. Because in the last battle with Jenin, Kakashi saw his strength. But strong individual strength does not mean anything. Team awareness is also very important. The mission begins. As a ninja, hiding skills is key. When everyone was perfectly hidden, Naruto appeared by the river and shouted. Hey, let's have an honest showdown. Suzuki, super idiot. Little Sakura, there's something wrong with your brain. Chi Yejun, what a weird thing. Five minutes later, Naruto's back was exposed. Kakashi formed the tiger seal. Advertisement. Chapter 24 The Powerful Class 7. Advertisement. Kakashi bears the seal of the tiger. Kanaha Shinobi Technique Secret, Teijutsu Secret, Thousand Years of Death. With a scream, Naruto fell into the river. After that, although he used multiple shadow clone, Kakashi was still able to do it with ease. Total defeat, tears streaming down my face. Next, Kakashi took out intimate love in heaven and said slowly, Suzuki appears. During the battle, he used fire style. Great fireball technique. But he was still defeated by Kakashi. Not to mention little Sakura. The theory is of no use, and the actual combat ability is almost zero. Chino Jun, it's your turn. Kakashi always wanted to spar with Ikeno Jun, but never had the chance. Chi Yejun gathered three companions and whispered something. Is he planning a strategy? He seems to have a team spirit. Kakashi nodded. Subsequently, the four people who had gathered suddenly dispersed. The other three quickly found a place to hide. Ikeno Jun took two steps and came to Kakashi. A punch mixed with the whistling sound of breaking wind came directly to greet him. Fast, accurate and ruthless. Just one punch? Ikeno Shun showed the essence of physical skills to the fullest? Snapped. Kakashi stretched out his right arm, just in time to block the punch. Just the power coming from him made his expression change. The right hand holding the kunao immediately retreated, thus avoiding the fracture. One blow was removed. Ikeno Jun suddenly turned his fist into a claw and clasped Kakashi's right hand forward. He raised his elbow and hit Kakashi's face diagonally. Kakashi's right arm was clamped, and he had no time to block with his left hand. He could only jerk his head back to avoid the elbow attack. Sudden, Ikeno Jun grabbed Kakashi's arm and pulled hard. Advertisement. Kakashi lost his balance. The two of them backed away. Then there was a heavy metal sound. Boom. The kunao sliced Ikeno Jun's elbow open, revealing the lead mass. Weight training. Isn't this guy's way of training? Of course he didn't know that Xiaoli was actually Chi Yejun's first friend. No wonder his physical skills are so powerful. Kakashi felt chills. Although the contact was only for a few seconds. But I clearly felt a surging chakra coming from me. Chi Jun, your physical skills are pretty good. Originally I wanted to hold back, but now it seems that I have to be serious. Kakashi took the kunao back and stared at the opponent. Hey, Mr. Kakashi, it was just a warm-up. Ikeno Jun grinned. You may not be my opponent in close combat. Next, let me show you Tsunade's strange power. As soon as he finished speaking, billowing smoke erupted from Chi Yejun's feet. An external force released by Chakra hits the opponent's abdomen. So fast? I didn't even see it clearly. Kakashi was shocked, surprised by Ikeno Jun's explosive speed. But his strength should not be underestimated. Just because his vision has not kept up does not mean that his senses have not kept up. A gust of wind turned around and passed by with just a hair's breadth. Afterwards, the two men fought fiercely in close quarters. Kakashi is always passively defensive. But Chi Yejun's punches became faster and harder every time, and he clung to the opponent like sticky candy. As soon as Kakashi retreats, he immediately follows. Kakashi can't escape the attack range of Ikeno Jun's fist. I'm a jonin, being pressed down and beaten by a kid who just graduated. What a terrible Teijutsu. Kakashi gave up trying to parry and instead quickly dodge. With strong strength, he gradually adapted to Chi Yejun's routine, and his actions became much more coherent. Teacher Kakashi, are you a little out of your depth? Ikeno Jun didn't rush to grab the bell, but teased. I admit that your physical skills are very strong, but as a ninja, physical skills alone are not enough. Kakashi said as he punched Ikeno Jun hard. With the help of the recoil force, he broke away from the opponent's entanglement. At the same time, advertisement. His hands quickly formed a seal on his chest. Right now, Suzuki's voice came from behind. Fire style. Phoenix fire technique. Kakashi was stunned. Suzuki actually knows sea level chunin level ninjutsu? Chi Yejun was also a little surprised. Because in the original work, there is no mention that Suzuki will use it now. But it didn't say it wouldn't be used. Forget it, let's not be bad guys, just use it if you know how to use it. A huge wave of burning heat came over. As soon as he entered his sight, several fire bombs, mixed with heat waves, came towards Kakashi angrily. Boom! Kakashi seemed to have no time to react and was unable to dodge such a dense fire bomb, and was immediately hit by two of them. Suddenly, smoke and dust are everywhere. There were bursts of explosions hitting the ground, and flying dust filled the sky above the lawn. Suzuki appears. He and Chi Yejun were on both sides, staring at the dust mist in front of them. Kakashi Sensei is a jonin and will not lose easily. Naruto also appeared and shouted. Afterwards, he cast multiple shadow clone to surround the dust mist and prevent Kakashi from escaping. Idiot, you don't need to say it. Suzuki frowned. As the dust mist slowly dissipated, Kakashi's figure emerged. Haha, I really underestimated you. Although he was a little embarrassed, fire style did not cause any harm to him. Your cooperation is very good. As a genin, you are already considered a leader. Naruto beamed at the compliment. Then Mr. Kakashi, can you give us the bell? Little Sakura, 
Come on. But Kakashi's next words poured cold water on him. But if you want to defeat me and grab the bell, you still have a long way to go. That's not necessarily the case. Aikano Jun and Suzuki rushed over at the same time. Right now, there was a burst of black smoke and Kakashi disappeared. Where are the people? Suzuki looked around. Advertisement. Not good. Chi Hyejun was shocked. Of course he knows what it is. He subconsciously wanted to pull Suzuki away, but it was too late. A pair of big hands suddenly burst out of the ground and grabbed their ankles respectively. Kakashi's tepid voice came from underground. Earth style. Heart beheading technique. Without any resistance, the two of them were pulled directly into the earth, with only two heads exposed. Haha, <laughs> can't you move? Kakashi laughed, took out the comic book and left with a smile. Little Sakura and Naruto ran over. Seeing two heads, I was so frightened that I almost fainted. After reacting, they knelt on the ground and dug hard. Kakashi turned his head and glanced. Yes, I know how to rescue my teammates, but I can dig in at your speed, haha. <laughs> he looked at the alarm clock. It was half an hour until 12 o'clock. You all get out of the way, Chi Yejun shouted. Then infuse chakra into the shoulders. Work hard at every level. Use the collapse method to explode the chakra from your shoulders. The whole person also shot out of the soil like a rocket. Then, he summoned the invisible Xiao Hei to help them dig up Suzuki. Sudden, inspiration strikes. Multiple shadow clone. Help dig the soil. Ding. Congratulations to host for discovering the third use of multiple shadow clone, artificial excavator. However, the system then reminded. Remind host, you must complete the task of challenging Kakashi independently and cannot rely on external help, including teammates and summoned beasts. All right. Kakashi sensei, wait. Chi Yejun ran forward. Kakashi looked back and was stunned. This little guy escaped from the soil easily. But what does he want from me? Advertisement. Chapter 25, Earthen Wall with a Cat's Head Hanging on It. Advertisement. Chi Yejun ran forward and said, Mr. Kakashi, I want to challenge you alone, but can you let them leave first? Because I don't want them to be frightened by my bones. Kakashi happened to be willing to challenge him in a duel. In a blink of an eye, he came to the child who was digging in the soil. Use illusions to make them fall asleep directly. Toshiya Ikeno takes back Shadow Clone and Xiaohei. Chi Jun, I hope you won't disappoint me next. Teacher, be careful, I'm going to be serious this time. Chi Yejun said with a smile. Finished. The childish face turned serious. Dead bone pulse. Sabeki's dance. He drew out the bone sword with his right hand and rushed towards Kakashi at an extremely fast speed. Kakashi took out a kunao. When? The bone sword and kunao made a crisp sound. Chi Yejun's body danced, and his right hand waved rapidly in line with his steps. Hoo hoo. There was a sound of breaking through the air, and the attack turned into white after images. The speed shocked Kakashi. Dead bone pulse. Sabeki's dance. As the words fall, Chi Yejun's clothes were punctured by the emerging bones. Today he is wearing expensive Shinigami clothes. I'll wipe it. I forgot to change my clothes. By the way, don't I know some tailoring skills? I'll make some combat uniforms next time. Puff. There was a dull sound, Kakashi's vest and sleeves were punctured, and blood came out. Anything else? Chi Yejun did not stop, but stretched out his hands and crossed them in an X shape on his chest. Then he controlled the bone cells, and four white bones suddenly appeared. He moved his arms and bumped into Kakashi. If Kakashi hadn't dodged quickly, there would have been bloody holes in his body. All right. Kakashi jumped up and formed a seal in the air. The moment he landed, he touched the ground with his palms and shouted. Earth style. Earth flow wall. The ground trembles. An earth yellow dog-headed dam blocked Kakashi. Advertisement. As expected, he is a fastidious person. He doesn't forget to show off even if he lacks skills. Haha. <laughs> Looking at the familiar scene, Chi Yejun felt inexplicably happy. However, Kakashi underestimated the hardness and sharpness of Aikano Jun's bones. Under the impact of the strange force, the bone pierced the dog's head directly and hit Kakashi. Kakashi's heart was full of mixed flavors. He didn't know whether they were sweet and sour or bitter and spicy. The wall I had guarded for so many years was broken. The words from the bottom of my heart are too true. Kakashi was shocked and hid in a hurry. Actually, a multi-shadow clone from Toshi Aikano, followed by a great fireball or rakery, and Kakashi is down. But you can treat your enemies. It would be too harsh to treat one of my favorite Hokage characters. But, he still seized the opportunity, protruded a bone spur again, and stabbed directly at the opponent's waist. The bone spur passed through the bell and was firmly held in Chi Yejun's hand. But even though he broke through the earth wall, Chi Yejun still rushed forward under the influence of inertia. At this speed, he will soon hit the real rock wall ahead, at least that's what Kakashi thought. In fact, Aikano Jun will not be injured. Due to the dead bone pulse constitution, his bones are quite hard. But right now, he felt tight all over, being held in someone's arms. Looking back, Mr. Kakashi. It's not right. Aikano Jun looked over, and there was Kakashi over there. That Kakashi waved to him and turned into smoke with a boom sound. It turns out to be a shadow clone. Kakashi sensei was afraid that I would hit a rock, so he saved me. Wrong? Just as he was thinking about it, Chi Yejun suddenly felt something pinch his butt twice. Then he noticed Kakashi's hand reaching towards him. Ninja bag with bell. Chi Yejun suddenly became furious. But after thinking about it, he smiled evilly. Boom. White light flashed. A girl appeared in Kakashi's arms. Advertisement. Kakashi blushed. Aikano Jun sneered, stopped chakra output, and returned to his original form. Zit size it. Five or six electric balls shining with blue light appeared in the palm of his hand. Instantly rolled to somewhere in Kakashi. Kakashi said ouch. Completely stopped. The expression on his face couldn't tell whether it was pleasure or pain. Kakashi was so paralyzed that his hands lost strength and his legs gave way and he fell to the ground. The opportunity has come. Aikano Jun said ah and pretended to fall on Kakashi. Then the bone spurs, which had not yet withdrawn their hands, inadvertently picked at his mask. Kakashi was stunned at first. Then came Toshi Aikano. He seemed to have been shocked by electricity, and was in a semi-stupid state. Later he discovered that it was lightning style. The balls were conducting electricity. What the hell? Super handsome? Chi Yejun opened his eyes and looked at his lips. Sure enough, there is a beauty mark, exactly like in the anime. Although there are various opinions on the internet about Kakashi wearing a mask. Missing my father, keeping a secret, hiding Sherry Non, character setting needs, of being lazy. But Chi Yejun still used sweet mouth escape. Kakashi Sensei, I understand why you always wear a mask. 
Why? Because you're afraid that if you take off your mask and walk around the streets, the people who want to be your bitches will line up from Kanaha to San Shinobi. Kakashi was stunned. Looking back, I found it quite useful. This little guy has a pretty sweet mouth. So, he kneaded the eggs, stood up, and put the mask back on. He said mysteriously. Actually, it's just to cover up the evil smile when watching people making out in heaven, hush. Keep it a secret. Right now, Chi Yejun squatted down and clapped his hands. Earth style. Earth flow wall. Boom. The earth shook and the soil rolled. A solid earth barrier suddenly rose up, blocking the two people directly in front of them. There are four cat heads on it. In Kakashi's shocked eyes, a large amount of soil spat out from the cat's mouth like a flood and rushed into the sky. Advertisement. It's like an earth dragon rising from the ground. At this time, the illusion of Suzuki and others was also lifted. They came galloping over. Seeing the majestic and spectacular scene, they were all stunned. Kakashi's whole body was in a mess. He, he can actually. The star of Hokage and an internet celebrity in the ninja world. Everyone around the world knows him. Completely defeated by Chi Yejun. At this moment, the alarm clock rings. Only then did Kakashi return to his original position. Looking at the four little guys, he asked slowly, Have you thought about it? If four people only grab one bell, then the other three will all return to school. His words silenced everyone. Only Chi Yejun looked relaxed. Because he knew that Kakashi would never let them quit. Suzuki said calmly, I lost. Naruto gritted his teeth and said, I will definitely work hard to get the bell next year. Little Sakura murmured, I didn't even exert any strength. Chi Yejun stood up and said with a smile, Actually, without your help today, I might not be able to get it. He then directed a scene of pushing and shoving the bell. Inspired by the Chinese textbook Kong Rong lets the pair. Kakashi looked at them, making a decision in his mind. Toshi Aikano is very capable individually, and his coordination with Suzuki is perfect. Naruto has a sense of synergy, but his individual strength needs to be strengthened. As for little Sakura, she also helped dig the soil. He couldn't deny that Class 7 was definitely the strongest group this year. Just in terms of teamwork, it's impeccable. After a moment of silence, he finally smiled and said, You are all qualified. I now declare that all members of Team 7 have passed the trial survival drill and officially become Kanaha Jenin. After saying that, he handed the lunchbox to the four little guys who were still in a daze. Certainly, Chi Yejun's daze was just an act. Okay, let's have a day off tomorrow and gather at 10 o'clock the day after tomorrow to start the mission. Kakashi returned to his lazy look. I couldn't help but feel happy. It seems that being an instructor is not as boring as imagined. And right now, Aikano Jun's reward finally appeared. Advertisement. Chapter 26 The role of third generation appears. Advertisement. Autumn is crisp and clear, with no clouds in the sky. The four of them left the training ground happily. They successfully became Kanaha Jenin. The other Xiaoqiang members of the Zishin gang also passed the examination. The ten people agreed to get together when they have time. Return home. Chi Yejun summoned the system to complete the sign-in. Ding. Congratulations to host for completing the mission, and will be rewarded with Shuriken Shadow Clone Technique. WOC, Ninjutsu developed by the third generation old man, sudden, Jiraiya's voice seemed to appear in his mind. I think it's more awesome to throw all my shurikens out. Do you want to? Ding, reward lightning style. Thunder. Thunder, release a sharp thunder gun from your mouth and shoot thunder and lightning from near to far. This seems to be a technique unique to third generation in the Hokage mobile game, but think about it, you can even create your own ninjutsu, so it's not surprising that you will be rewarded with this. Today's rewards are all developed by third generation. The time has come to use him. Afterwards, Chi Yejun couldn't wait to enter the omnipotent space. It took him half a day to upgrade the Shuriken Shadow Clone and Thunderbolt to god level. What excited him the most was Hong Lei. Ta da da, da da da, Nima is a gatling with blue fire. At this time, advertisement, the system holographic panel appears. Host, Toshi Aikano, age, 18 years old. Chakra attributes, wind, thunder, fire, water, earth, yin, yang. Ninjutsu mastered, three body technique, great fireball, rakery, thunder, dandan ball, earth flow wall, multiple shadow clone, shuriken shadow clone, the above are all god level, intermediate healing jutsu, elementary corpse fusion technique, skeleton resurrection. Mastered physical techniques, karamatsu's dance, sabeki's dance, Whaley, body flicker technique. Mastered illusion, none. Special skills, cooking, tailoring, summoning beast, black cat demon, special weapon, kusanagi sword. Special physique, dead bone pulse, blood succession limit, dead bone pulse, chakra amount. I have mastered the three attribute ninjutsu of thunder, fire, and earth. When will I be able to do wind and water? After leaving the space, Chi Yejun lay on the bed, looking at the empty room, thoughtfully. Although I have a villa in Kanaha, I still feel lonely. Then he got up. Take out your notebook and write down your latest goals. Establish the Ikono clan, and developed into a big Kanaha family? It's a pity that there is no money. The imagination is full and the reality is skinny. Since the villagers shunned him, the items made from Doraemon have gone out of business. Chi Yejun can only rely on a meager pension. How to make big money? Soon, he thought of someone. Advertisement. A wretched tram boy with an anus-shaped head and sunglasses, Kato, the president of a shipping company operating in the country of waves. One of the few tycoons in the Hokage world. While watching the anime, Ikano Jun wanted to beat him severely. It's so wretched. Haha, <laughs> when the time comes, I will blackmail him severely and take his wealth as my own, not only build a mansion, but also build a commercial street or something. Thinking about it, I laughed happily. However, these are also long-term goals. For now, we still need to make some money to spend, and help Naruto and Suzuki. Thinking of Naruto drinking expired milk and having diarrhea, Ikano Jun felt a little sad. But it's strange, where did he get the money to buy paint? However, even if he has money in the future, Ikano Jun will not give it directly to Naruto. He doesn't have the habit of giving away money, that would be too holy. But making money with your buddies is another matter. Soon, he thought of a way to make money and get rich together. That's right. In addition to making money, the top priority is to learn from third generation, so that he can use the Shuriken Shadow Clone and Thunder without arousing his suspicion. The next day, Hokage Building. Third generation said, Ahem, as your master, it's really time to teach you ninjutsu. Let's learn the Doryabai. Chi Yejun interrupted him. Grandpa Hokage, do you have the technique of throwing countless shurikens? It's so gorgeous. Yes, yes, shuriken shadow clone technique. 
Is there anyone who fires thunder guns? It's so shocking. Yes, yes, lightning style. Thunder. Okay, let's learn these two first. Ikeno Jun understands that these are the limits of Professor Third Generation. At least for now, it's impossible for him to teach himself such awesome skills as zombie sealing and three-way sealing. Advertisement. After an hour, Chi Yejan is proficient in two ninjutsu. Sarutobi Hiruzen praised his understanding. Night falls. Kanaha village is brightly lit, bustling and cozy. Ikeno Jun rarely comes to Hokage Rock at night. Now, he sat side by side with Naruto, looking down at the village. Ever since Shuima was stabbed to death, all kinds of contemptuous looks followed him like maggots attached to his bones. These gazes seemed to slowly eat away at him until no bones remained. The same goes for Naruto, who is looked at with colored glasses by the villagers. Jun Ikeno suddenly thought of the determined Rock Lee. Naruto, what makes a person strong is not only strength, but also a heart stronger than steel. Since we can't gain recognition, then we will stand at a height that others cannot see. Naruto nodded in understanding. However, he soon said with a playful smile. Haha, <laughs> it's my birthday the day after tomorrow. What gift do you want to give me? No one has ever given me anything before. Birthday? Chi Yejun thought for a while. The day after tomorrow is October 10th, which is Naruto's birthday. Then what do you want? As long as he can give it, Chi Yejun will never be stingy. I want a carton of milk that won't cause diarrhea. Naruto looked into the distance. Hearing these words, Chi Yejun's eyes suddenly became sore. Brother, don't worry, I will give you something better than milk. Naruto immediately beamed. What's better than milk? Tell me. Hey, keep it secret. Advertisement. Chapter 27, Made a Little Money. Advertisement. What should I give Naruto for his birthday? Just as Chi Yejun was thinking, the system jumped out at the right moment. Ding. Post a mission sign-in, ask the host to use his tailoring skills and give Naruto a birthday gift for two days. Tailoring skills? Chi Yejun obviously forgot this skill. So what should I make for him? It's too much trouble and I can't make it in time, so I can only do a brief one. Thinking about it this way, it makes sense. At this time, autumn rain suddenly fell from the sky. Chi Yejun couldn't help humming. What should I do if it rains? I miss you so much. Who are you thinking about? Naruto asked, blinking. Haha, <laughs> no one. By the way, let me ask you, do you like little Sakura very much? Chi Yejun planned to take the opportunity to enlighten him. Naruto nodded excitedly. Sakura-chan, kawaii. Chi Yejun poured a basin of cold water on it. It's a pity that people don't like you, Naruto. Men should act like men. Naruto was puzzled. What is a man like? Chi Yejun thought for a moment and said, Men can attract bees and butterflies and be charming, but they must not lick dogs. Then, he spent ten minutes explaining what licking a dog is. Countless cases of the strongest dog licking king were cited. Remember, if you lick a dog, you will get nothing. Naruto nodded. Well, I don't want to be a dog licker. Well done. Soon Naruto laughed again, Suzuki is a big licker. Suzuki, he's the king of forced escape, okay, whose dog is he licking? Ikeno Jun wondered. He licked yours. Poof, Chi Yejun spurted out nosebleeds. Ahem, did you know that there is a group of people with special attributes called green tea watchers? Naruto was confused. How to identify green tea watches? Advertisement. Chi Yejun took out two umbrellas and opened them, and then started to teach him. Remember their characteristics. First, they are as beautiful as flowers. This is their capital. Secondly, she looks gentle and sweet, but in reality she is violent and fierce. To put it bluntly, she is a violent and cute girl. Third, there are more male friends and fewer female friends, because women naturally understand women. Fourth, they never lack spare tires. Just like you, you are a natural spare tire. Fifth, they have the ability to exploit men's emotions, using tears and horse performances to make men willingly pay. After that, he followed the instructions and explained them one by one. But she never said Sakura's name. The reason why he enlightened Naruto so much was because he really wanted to help him. In fact, Toshi Aikano also has complicated feelings towards little Sakura. If you think about it carefully, besides some green tea, little Sakura is actually an idealized woman who dares to love, hate, chase dreams, and have the courage to fight. But despite this, even if Toshi Aikano accepts Uncle Snake, he will not have anything to do with little Sakura. It wasn't until his mouth went dry when he explained that Naruto finally slapped his forehead. A sudden realization? Zaijun, I understand. I understand everything. Chi Yejun finally showed a happy smile. Then can you tell me, what do you know? Naruto stood up, pointed to the lights in the distance, and shouted. Achiha is okay, he's a green tea bitch. Phew, Chi Yejun spurted out blood for the second time. Okay, okay, go home quickly. I don't obey anyone, I will obey you Naruto. On the way back, Naruto kept asking what the gift was, but Ikeno Jun naturally didn't tell him. Naruto, do you like Hinata? Naruto scratched his head, hey, I don't feel anything. That's good. Passing by Ichiraku Ramen and seeing Naruto's salivating look, Ikeno Jun pulled him in and smiled. Let's eat tonight, I'll treat you. Speaking of this, Ikeno Jun suddenly thought of Hinata that can eat 46 bowls. If I don't have money in the future, I really won't be able to support a big eater. Naruto was overjoyed. Really? You have money? Where did it come from? Chi Yejun said mysteriously, keep it secret. Advertisement. After eating ramen, both of their stomachs were bulging. Passing by a ninja shop, I was spotted by the boss. He immediately shouted, hey, Chi Yejun, you big liar, stop. Ikeno Jun stuck out his tongue and pulled Naruto to run wildly. The two of them didn't stop until the boss's voice and shadow disappeared behind them. Naruto was confused and said, why is he chasing you? Have you stolen someone else's stuff? Chi Yejun gave him a bang. Brother, how could I steal something? Then he told Naruto the reason. After hearing this, Naruto bent over with laughter and couldn't close his mouth from ear to ear. Turn out to be, Jun Ikeno cast Shuriken Shadow Clone. Sold hundreds of shuriken to the owner of the armor shop. That's right, the shuriken separated from ninjutsu are physical, but it can't be maintained forever. After Toshi Ikeno ran away with 3,000 tails, hundreds of shurikens suddenly disappeared. The boss was furious. Just as the two teenagers laughed, an old figure appeared on the Hokage Rock. He looked at the dimly lit Kanaha in the distance, letting the rain hit him. Anyway, wearing a big hat, it can be used as an umbrella in critical moments. The word Hokage, can these two teenagers afford it? Third generation took a puff on its pipe. Only then did I realize that the tobacco had been wet by the rain. 
Can they bear the heavy responsibility of the rise and fall of Kanaha, who will become the Hokage? Now they are harmonious and friendly, but once there is a relationship of interest, will they still be like brothers? Third generation couldn't help but think of Danzo. The night wind blew by, bringing with it a hint of breath. A man wearing a horse head mask appears. He hath knelt down and reported respectfully, Sir Hokage, there is an emergency. There are ninjas at the border, but they are not Kanaha Shinobi. Oh, third generation looked solemn. According to the news from the dark ninja ahead, it is confirmed to be Cloud Shinobi. I understand. Third generation waved his hand. He couldn't help but wonder. The third ninja war has ended many years ago. Why do they suddenly appear at the border of the land of fire? Is it because of Chi Yejan? Advertisement. He looked toward the northeast, holding the pipe tightly in his withered hands, trembling slightly. The black clouds in the distance were billowing and getting thicker. Night. The rain is getting heavier. The rain was lashing the eaves, the rain was flying and water was splashing, and the whole place was confused. Chi Yejun suddenly opened his eyes. Crack. A crisp sound came from the window. Chi Yejun sat up in the dark and turned on his super perception. Pap, pap. This is the unique sound of shoes stepping on the rain. At the same time, a figure appeared in Naruto's courtyard. Since being shocked last time, and with the dignity of other elders, Danzo has become much more honest. There were no more assassinations at the root. Umbu also relaxed his night patrols. Did, Danzo start doing it again. Chi Yejun took out a huge shuriken from his pillow and threw it decisively out of the window. Then clap your hands. Shuriken shadow clone. The shurikens transformed into countless shurikens, glowing with cold light as they passed through the rainy night. Now, a black shadow just jumped into the air. Pfft. He groaned and drew the shuriken from his shoulder. Fortunately, the response was quick and no vital parts were hurt. After the black shadow was frightened for a while, he immediately thought. Was it the shuriken shadow clone just now? This kid, is really powerful. But Chi Yejun only had one thought in his mind. People are afraid of being famous, and pigs are afraid of being strong. The Daiki snake god is all worried about. He gathered the chakra at his feet, jumped out of the window and chased after him. I want to see who wants to die again. Just in time, Chi Yejun wanted to get some corpses and upgrade the skeleton resurrection technique. Three updates today, there is another chapter to follow. Advertisement. Chapter 28 Horrible Illusion, Additional Update. Advertisement. In the world of Hokage, spies are everywhere. They spy on the strength of other countries, conduct reconnaissance, and collect intelligence. For example, double agent Yakushi Kabuto, serial agent Black Zetsu, female artist Hua Ling. Ikeno Jun's ability was soon known to other countries and ninja villages. Dead Bone Pulse Physique. The amount of chakra seems to be a lot. All attributes? Quick seal. There are many people who want to win over him, experiment on him, or even kill him. Now, the injured ninja clutched his shoulders, shocked. Although he is a brat, he is really powerful. But he is very arrogant. <laughs> if I wasn't afraid of alarming Umbu, how could I be chased by a kid in such a panic? His task is only to find the target location, and subsequent assassinations will be left to stronger teammates. Stop. Chi Yejun chased after him. At this time, showers lashed the ground, and the sky and the earth were like a hazy mist net. The night sky seemed to collapse. Chi Yejun turned on his super perception so that his vision was not blurred by the rain. Looking from a distance, the black figure had no mask or forehead protector and ran towards the edge of Kanaha village. That guy is probably not a Kanaha shinobi. In the rainy night, one big and one small, chasing each other one after the other. Haha, you want to run away? I'll give you nowhere to hide. After saying that, he cast the body flicker technique. The man looked back and saw that the figure seemed to be gradually disappearing, and then he felt relieved. So I planned to leave the village quickly to meet my teammates. Right now, there was a loud shout. Stop for Lousy. The ninja turned his head with an extremely ugly expression. Hateful? The stubborn kid actually caught up with him. Advertisement. The speed is surprisingly fast. The ninja's expression changed drastically. Several shurikens appeared in his hand and were thrown towards Ikeno Jun. But with Chi Yejun's super perception, he can definitely easily dodge hidden weapons even on a rainy night. The distance between the two shortened to 20 meters. When will the system reward a flying thunder god? Seeing the enemy right in front of him, Chi Yejun increased his speed again. The fist that had been preparing for a long time hit the man's back without hesitation. The ninja lost his balance and fell to the ground in a panic. The man is in his twenties and has dark skin. Chi Yejun guessed based on his skin color. The uncle from Cloud Shinobi Village sneaked into Kanaha Village in the middle of the night. What do you want to do? Seeing the shocked look on the other side's face, Chi Yejun knew he had guessed correctly. It's Cloud Shinobi Village. Cloud Shinobi Village, one of the five most powerful hidden villages, belongs to the Kingdom of Thunder. Uncle, I heard that your Kingdom of Thunder is good at lightning style, let's show it to you. Chi Yejun joked. Uncle, I'm only in my twenties, damn you brat. Cloud Shinobi gritted his teeth and cursed angrily. Naturally, he did not dare to release the lightning style ninjutsu. One is the fear of attracting Kanaha Umbu. Second, rainwater conducts electricity. The lightning style is certainly very powerful, but before hitting the opponent, you may be electrocuted to a crisp on the outside and tender on the inside. Chi Yejun retracted his smile and stopped talking nonsense. A quick sprint? Chucker condenses the arms. Punch the opponent hard with one move. The reason why Rakery was not released is also because the rain conducts electricity. The great fireball can't even burn anyone in the pouring rain. Feeling the pressure of the huge chakra, Cloud Shinobi could only raise his arms to resist. Crack. The clear sound of fractures came, extremely harsh at night. Subsequently, Cloud Shinobi's entire body was blown away, leaving a watermark on the water-filled road. Chi Yejun sneered, it's so vulnerable. Cloud Shinobi has 10,000 grass and mud horses running back and forth in his heart. If you can't use ninjutsu, you can only rely on teijutsu. But he has mastered all seven of his physical skills and six of them, he knows nothing. Advertisement. At this time, Chi Yejun forced forward. Okay, uncle, can you tell me now what your purpose is? Cloud Shinobi said angrily, I, Kito, will admit my defeat after being beaten by a brat like you? Don't try to get anything out of my mouth. If you want to kill me, you can cut me into pieces. However, Kito is determined. Kill? Does he dare? Of course Chi Yejun would not kill him. It's not that I don't dare, but I have to find out the purpose before killing him, whether it is for myself or Kanaha village. Right now, Chi Yejun suddenly scurried behind Kito. He took out a few shurikens and threw them towards the roof in front. Ding dong. Several shurikens were all blocked. 
A strange and eerie voice came, Haha, the kid is very alert, and he was discovered. A middle-aged man appeared on the roof. He was as skinny as a skeleton. Ki Tang, are you too incompetent? Another woman said, he shouldn't have been allowed to come along and hold us back. The woman's whole body was wrapped in bandages, like a mummy. Only half of her face was exposed. The other half is covered by long hair. Nina Seideko, her eldest sister, pretending to be a ghost in the middle of the night is scary. Chi Yejun was shocked. Minjai, Genji, stop talking sarcastically and save me quickly. Oh and I Tang looked up at his companions and said harshly. The words just fell. The sound of breaking wind sounded in Chi Yejun's ears. A fierce flying fist came. This punch is extremely fast. Hit him directly in the temple. Is this taking your life? After Cloud Shinobi Village learned of Ikono Jun's existence, it felt like it was facing a formidable enemy? Kanaha Village already has nine tails and the Byakugan clan, and adding another idiot will cause endless troubles in the future? So the assassination trio was dispatched. If you can't capture it, kill it. Right now, pieces of white bones appeared, covering Chi Yejun's body, only revealing his eyes that emitted red light. Haha, <laughs> Bone God Armor. It was originally called White Bone Armor, but he thought it was too low, so he changed it to Bone God Armor. Advertisement. And I just discovered today that after transforming into the Bone God Armor, I was actually naked inside. The bird was in pain. The skeleton man was shocked. It was obviously too late to hold back his fist. The fist immediately split open the skin and flesh, and he flew back to the roof in excruciating pain. The woman looked at the two skeletons and covered her mouth. Mingya, is this your biological brother? Stop talking nonsense, this kid is the person Rakage said. Let's do it together. Chi Yejun has made up his mind. These three people are here just for me. And it's life-threatening? He sneered and blasted the ghost vines on the ground to pieces with a strange force. The other two people's eyes bulged out. I kept thinking, WTF, WTF, WTF? Killing with one punch? How terrifying is this little devil's physical skills? Genji on the roof came to her senses and quickly formed a seal. Just when Toshi Ikono was about to throw his shuriken, the vast sea suddenly appeared in front of him. There was a warm light ahead, the light from the lighthouse. A voice said softly in my mind. Go forward, there is a paradise ahead, with beautiful women like clouds. Chi Yejun walked toward the sea uncontrollably. My knees were soaked and cold to the bone. Until the sea water flooded his chest, a big wave hit him, he lost his balance on his feet and fell softly to the bottom of the sea. The sea water choked him, and Chi Yejun suddenly woke up. Illusion. After a few seconds, the scene of the sea disappeared, and Chi Yejun collapsed on the ground. The tiger-like Xiao Hei sat next to him and licked his fur. It broke Zhen Ji's illusion. Chi Yejun was covered in cold sweat and terrified. This illusion is so terrifying. The bone god armor disappears. Chi Yejun looked at the remaining two people coldly. A murderous intention? Right now, urinary leakage in the system is still so unexpected. Advertisement. Chapter 29 Obtaining the Second Physique. Advertisement. The system sounds. Ding. Publish a performance art check-in. Please host to borrow Genji and recreate Seideko climbing into the well. Reenact Seideko's climb into the well? The horror masterpiece Midnight Ring appeared in Junchi's mind. It seems that this person named Genji cannot die yet. He looks up. His eyes were cold, staring straight at Mingya. This person dies first. I'll fight. Chi Yejun roared and jumped up suddenly. He raised his leg and kicked Mingya's lower body violently. Mingya died from an egg explosion. The system jumps out. Ding. In view of the fact that Host has used special moves many times, he has awakened his own self-created physical skills, the true secret of the Foot of Destruction. The egg is broken, and the power is doubled. Chi Yejun was stunned for a moment. He couldn't imagine what the effect would be if the power was doubled. Genji was stunned. Fortunately, sister, I don't have the true secret of destruction's feet. Chi Yejun roared and deliberately raised his foot to kick. Genji was scared to death. Chi Yejun jumped onto the roof and took his feet back. Genji's spirit returned and she wanted to cast an illusion, but was held down by Xiao Hei who jumped up immediately after her. Genji was completely panicked. What's the situation? Who is pressing me? Chi Yejun laughed and said against his will, Sister, don't be afraid, I don't kill women. Then what do you want? Genji asked tremblingly. Two teammates were killed alive by the teenager? The fear brought about by this visual impact is breathtaking. I only need a small favor from you, and I will let you go immediately. Help, help, what can you help me with? Not far below, a well suddenly appeared. Chi Yejun pointed and said with a smile, you just need to get in and climb out. Don't worry, there is no water in the well. Advertisement. What do you mean? Pervert boy. Genji was stunned. Chi Yejun used mouth escape. As long as you follow my instructions, I will definitely let you live. Balabala talked for ten minutes, and Genji finally nodded. Remember, your hair is spread over your forehead and crawl slowly. Five minutes later, Genji slowly climbed out of the well. Seideko reappears. Kakashi hiding in the distance and the third generation in front of the crystal ball were all confused. It wasn't until Genji crawled out with a confused look that Chi Yejun finished signing in. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the performance art sign-in and being rewarded with the Kingian Bodhi physique. Voiceless Bodhi constitution? What is this? In the Hokage, some physiques are limited by blood inheritance, some are naturally generated, and some are given by God. He knew about sage body, dead bone holes, Haydn's immortal body, etc., but this was the first time he heard of Kingian Bodhi. Chucker turns into a clear stream, lightens the body and changes the bones, cleanses the marrow and cuts off the hair. With the body of the voiceless Bodhi, you will be immune to all illusions, etc. Did you hear that right? Good guy, are you really immune to all illusion skills? Chi Yejun was suddenly struck there stupidly like a thunderbolt. You know, in the world of Hokage, illusion is the most troublesome thing. He thought of the will of fire, Tsunade's deception, Naruto's mouth escape, and then the distinguished heavenly gods. What do you think is the strongest illusion in Hokage? When he came back to his senses, Chi Yejun was ecstatic. In this way, from now on I just need to focus on how to fight. As for those annoying illusions, ignore them at all. Who is that? Zaiji, use your best illusion on me, quickly. Jinjixin said, These days, perverts really have everything. First, I was made to crawl into a well while wet, and now I was tortured by a fantasy. Well, don't blame me. She also planned to take the opportunity to run away. Advertisement. Thunder Phantom Lightning Pillar. A dazzling light appeared, blinding the eyes. But, this illusion had no effect on Chi Yejun at all. There was still a rainy night in front of him. 
Haha, <laughs> it's really awesome. Seeing Genji turning around and trying to escape, Chi Yejun stepped forward and grabbed her. I want to escape. It's not that easy. He sneered, drew out the Kusanagi sword, and flicked it. The other half of her face, which was covered by long hair, was revealed. After Chi Yejun saw it, he was shocked. Damn it, it's covered in white bugs. The sword pointed at the neck. You, didn't you say you wouldn't kill me? Genji was frightened. Haha, <laughs> do you believe what a man says? And I will never show mercy to enemies who want to kill me, just when he was about to take the other person's life. A shout rang out in the rainy night. Toshi Aikano, stop. Kakashi suddenly appears. Leave him to me, Marino Iki is waiting. Only then did Chi Yejun stop. He understood that maybe they could extract more information or use it to hold Cloud Shinobi Village hostage. Soon, two more Umbu appeared behind them. Get rid of the body. Chi Yejun stopped him, I'll handle it here. Kakashi remembered the last battle with the roots, nodded and led the people away quickly. Everyone left, and Chi Yejun used the corpse melting technique and skeleton resurrection. Two skeletons followed him. Creak, 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 grinding his teeth, so weird. A nocturnal peeing guy is seen. Fainted directly. Skeleton resurrection plus two. Advertisement. As the skeleton's resurrection level increases, the skeleton's combat effectiveness and existence time will also increase. After the skeleton disappeared, Ikono Jun ran directly to the Hokage building. As expected, third generation didn't sleep and learned everything through the crystal ball. He said to Chi Yejun. They appeared during World War III and were known as the Ghost Group. Kitu is good at lightning style ninjutsu, and Minjai is similar to Guy, with strong physical skills. And that Sadaheim is not strong in physical or ninjutsu, but she is the Grand Master in illusion. Chi Yejun couldn't help but asked, then how to deal with Genji. Third generation was thoughtful, took a puff of cigarette, and said nothing. Noon the next day, Kanaha Barbecue Restaurant. Kakashi, Mike Guy, Saru Tobiasuma, Nara Shikaku, and Akamika Dingza gather together. The five of them devoured their food with great enthusiasm. Kakashi quickly took off his mask. I stuffed a piece of grilled pork belly with lightning speed. Finally put on the mask. Kakashi, I heard that the infiltrating cloud shinobi was caught. Fat Uncle Tingzeo asked inarticulately while stuffing his barbecue. Kakashi said nothing. Guy couldn't help but scorned, it's still a secret, who doesn't know? Kakashi rolled his eyes and remained silent. Asuma wiped the oil on his beard and said with a smile, I heard that the female Jonin was tortured to death by Marino Iki, he he. Shikaka, the Jonin class monitor, mused. It seems that the peace in Kanaha is just an illusion. All countries are ready to make trouble. It's troublesome. Guy waved his hand and showed his big white fang. Stop talking about this, happily eat our food and enjoy your youth. Now in the prison on the other side, Genji fainted. And Junji was lying on the bed, enjoying the massage technique of Shadow Clone. The thought of being immune to illusions made him happy. At this time, the system jumps out again. Ding, the sign-in task is now released. Please host go to the Valley of the End to sign in. The Valley of the End? The place where three important wars took place. Chi Yejun immediately got up and ran all the way. Advertisement. Chapter 30, The Hidden Place of Inheritance. Advertisement. Light rain, pattering. The Hokage rock in the distance is covered in smoke. Ikono Jun ran to the outermost valley of Kanaha, and a river and waterfall appeared in front of him. On both sides of the bank are two huge ninja statues. Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara pose with the seal of reconciliation, symbolizing the complete end of the fateful battle between Indra and Ashira. But, thinking of the battle between Suzuki and Naruto in the future, Ikono Jun couldn't help but sigh. Then, he called out the sign-in panel. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the sign-in task and being rewarded with the antidote ninjutsu, 10,000 poisons underworld. Poisonous underworld? Ikono Jun remembers that in the Hokage world, detoxification can find the source of toxins through the trouble extraction technique. Then use chakra scalpel to incise the affected area and suck out the toxins. Finally, an antidote is prepared. At that time, he was wondering why there was no ninjutsu to directly detoxify. Now it's really here? What excited him was that this skill was actually an S-level forbidden technique. But why is it called Huang Quan? Then he discovered that signing into the Valley of the End was just one of the task chains. Next, two new tasks will appear one after another. The Poisonous Underworld is an S-level forbidden technique, which can remove all toxins in the world. All toxins? This is very unfair. Ikono Shun thought of the poisonous sack of the black pepper fish, the poisonous insect that Iberame took from the root, Uncle Snake's cursed toxin, the poison prepared by the red sand scorpion. All of these can be lifted. Then, he suddenly thought, why forbidden technique? Could it be damaging to the body? Regular use of 10,000 poison Huang Quan will bring back toxins to the user, damage the nervous system, and cause dizziness, amnesia, and even dementia, so it is listed as forbidden technique. That's a cure for the poison. However, host can rest assured that Kingian Bodhi's constitution will block the backlash of toxins and avoid nerve damage. I wipe it. In addition to being immune to illusions, Kingian Bodhi's physique can also counter-attack toxins? Isn't that immune to all poisons? Not so, two concepts. All right. Advertisement. It seems that being invulnerable to all poisons requires another physical constitution. Just as he was about to leave, the system issued a new task. Ding. Publish the check-in task, please host follow the instructions and arrive at the unknown location to sign in. Unknown location? Where is that? At this time the light rain stopped suddenly and the sun shone brightly. Chi Yejun ran along the river bank. Rainbows leap out from the river valley, complementing each other and making them colorful. Chi Yejun had no time to enjoy the beautiful scenery, so he followed the system instructions to the river and jumped in. Until I discovered a hole in the rock wall of the valley. It's the entrance to the system prompt? He swam in full of curiosity. After swimming for a few meters, it suddenly became clear to me when I reached the end. He came out of the water, took a few deep breaths, turned on his super perception, and used his night vision function to look around. A huge cave appeared in front of me, as big as a training ground. After climbing ashore, something suddenly rested on his shoulder. Chi Yejun took a closer look. I wipe it, a white arm skeleton. Damn it's scary. What the hell is this place? Chi Yejun threw the skeleton out, and it fell into the big pit in front, making a crisp impact and cracking sound. He was so frightened that he stepped forward to take a look. What the hell? Burial pit. There are mountains of corpses inside. From the appearance, there are animals and humans. Kanaha hasn't heard of people or livestock missing. Where did these bones come from? Deep in the cave, Chi Yejun discovered that there was a layer of fine sand on the ground. 
He bent down and brushed away the fine sand, and suddenly discovered that there was a dark and shiny stone slab underneath. There is also a handle on the groove on the stone slab, secret door. Ji Yejun's curiosity sprouted, he lifted the handle and exerted force suddenly. Just listen to click. The stone slab was lifted. A strong musty smell hit his nose, and he quickly covered his mouth and nose. Walk through the dark, moss-covered passage to the exit. A dense forest appeared in front of me. Advertisement. It was gloomy, strange, and lifeless. Ji Yejun continued to walk forward until he approached a house made of bones. There were bottles and jars full of bugs everywhere around the house. It is covered with dense spider silk. And in the house, sat a young woman. Her eyes are as bright as stars, and her long white hair shawl is slightly soft and noble. The thin lips are as delicate as rose petals. What a beautiful woman who will captivate the whole country, it's just that the skin is too pale, like a dead person. What's even more terrifying is that the beauty is feeding an ugly toad with her own mouth. Little one, come closer. Chi Yejun secretly summoned Xiao Hei, and then walked forward. Only then did I smell the smell of rotting corpse coming from the beautiful woman. Haha, ha, the black cat is so cute. Chi Yejun was shocked. She could actually see the invisible Xiao Hei. Who is this bitch? Little guy, don't be afraid, this is Gu Mingsen. Gu Mingsen. Chi Yejun was stunned. He had never heard of this place in the Hokage world. Gu Mingsen is a place of heritage like Ryakai Cave, Mount Mayaboku, and Shigong Forest. A place of inheritance. Sage mode? So this person in front of me is the same sage as White Snake Sage, Great Toad Sage, and Katsuyu Sage? No wonder I can see Xiao Hei. The beauty seemed to understand his thoughts and smiled. Yes, my name is Spider Immortal. After saying that, it transformed into its original form. A giant widow spider appeared, but its head was a terrifying skull with two pigtails on it. Gu Mingsen. Chi Yejun murmured. The name should be related to corpse bones and insect poison. Just as I was thinking about it, the system jumped out. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the sign-in task and discovering the secret realm. The reward opens the passage to Goomingson. Passage? Aren't you going to reward some awesome magical skills? My day. That's it. The words have not yet been spoken. Advertisement. The system jumps out again. Uh, what was released today is actually a task chain. How awesome. Ding. Post a task sign-in and use the 10,000 poisons yellow spring to detoxify people. The deadline is two days. This is easy to handle. Go to Kanaha Hospital. At this moment, Sister Spider crawled over. The empty eye sockets on the skull suddenly shot out two white lights. Chi Yejun's mind went blank and he fainted. When he woke up again, he was lying by the river. Chi Yejun rubbed his eyes and recalled what happened just now. Open the passage. Where is the passage? Sudden, he thought of Doraemon. So he immediately used his mind to enter the omnipotent space. Really? Not far from the library, a white arch appeared with a spider symbol on it. It's just that the door is closed, so you can't go in yet. I guess this is the passage to Goomingsen, but I don't know what magic will be rewarded in the future. Chi Yejun leaves the space. The sun is shining brightly outside. When I watched anime before, I noticed that Kanaha village seemed to be like spring all year round, and they wore short sleeves every day. Only after arriving did I realize that the land of fire is close to the tropical areas of this world. So I don't feel the chill at all in autumn. The sun is warm. A sea of colorful flowers appears in front of you, which is refreshing and refreshing. Hey, why does it smell so bad? Ji Yejun sniffed it like a hound, as if it came from himself. It should be the rotten smell left in the forest just now. After thinking about it, I decided to go to the river to wash myself. So I jumped into the river again and washed up. Later, he tried to find the entrance to the secret realm, but could not find it. On the other side of the river is a dense thicket of reeds. Chi Yejun swam all the way to the shore. When I was about to go ashore, I accidentally saw a figure moving in the reeds on the opposite side. Who is it? The king of field battle? Babies, I strongly welcome you to make common sense mistakes or catch bugs. And many of the memes are inspired by your comments. I will sort them out when I get the chance. Thank you one by one. But everyone has different understandings of characters and stories. I just like the characters I like, and I hate the characters I hate. There is no deliberate attempt to criticize anyone. Everyone can just enjoy reading the book and don't take it too seriously in understanding the characters. Finally, I would like to thank everyone. People's opinions and suggestions? Love you. Advertisement. Chapter 31 Obtaining the Secret Technique Kanaha Dragon God. Advertisement. Chi Yejun noticed the figure shaking. Immediately he ducked into the reed marsh and slowly moved forward. Eno, Chi Yejun recognized it. She came to pick flowers for the flower shop. Eno seems to feel something strange. Turn around suddenly, Chi Yejun was so frightened that he quickly lowered his head. Eno didn't notice him, but I found a scary big green snake. She let out a yelp. Even though he is a genin, he can kill a snake with a kunao. But what girl is not afraid of snakes? Eno was completely frightened and shouted for help again. Damn it, what's the point of a snake? Can you still save your life? Thinking of this, Chi Yejun secretly pushed aside the reeds again. Only then did I realize that Eno was frightened by the big green snake. Right now, the big green snake suddenly jumped up and took a bite at Eno. With quick eyes and quick hands, Chi Yejun took out his kunao and shot it away. The big green snake soon stopped moving. Eno was so frightened that her flowers trembled and she cried like a ghost. Chi Yejun could only stand up and walk out. Zaijun. After speaking, he walked forward and looked at the snake on the ground. It doesn't matter if you don't see it, you will be shocked when you see it. Advertisement. The back of the snake's body is green, its eyes are orange, and there is a white line on its side. Bamboo leaves are green, tube dentist lion majesty. Fortunately, the rescue was timely. At this moment, Ino suddenly rubbed her butt and frowned. Oh, it hurts so much, my legs are numb. Chi Yejun suddenly thought of the mission check-in. Use 10,000 poisons to detoxify. The opportunity has come. He stepped forward and said, Eno, that was a bamboo leaf green snake just now. You are now poisonous. Let me take a look quickly. When Eno heard this, her face turned red with embarrassment. Chi Yejun thought. If it was Hinata right now, she would have fainted. If it were little Sakura, half of her life would probably be lost. Eno hesitated and reached out to touch it. Sure enough, it was hard, painful, and swollen. Her face turned pale and her eyes were red. Then it's up to you, Yejunjun. Chi Yejun squatted down. Don't worry, I know the detoxification technique and I will help you detoxify. Chi Yejun plans to use 10,000 poisons Huang Quan. 
He gently placed his hands on the wound, the chakra condensed, and a group of green light surged. Eno gritted her teeth and her face was extremely red. Eno, why did you come here? Eno's swelling has subsided now and she feels much more comfortable. I came to pick flowers for the flower shop, but I didn't expect to encounter a snake. Pick flowers? Advertisement. Chi Yejun had an idea? I'll help you. After speaking, multiple shadow clone are summoned. Hundreds of people crowded into the sea of flowers, and countless flowers were quickly collected. The system will pop up at this time. Ding! The fourth method of using multiple shadow clone was discovered, picking flowers. After the treatment, Eno's wounds had healed and all the toxins had been removed. Okay, the toxins are gone. Eno smiled happily. Thank you, Yejunjun, I'll treat you to barbecue. At the same time, the system pops up a reward. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the mission and signing in, and the special reward is the secret skill Kanaha Dragon God. Kanaha Dragon God? This is an ancient secret technique. It is the secret of Teijutsu created by Teacher Chen, the king of Kanaha Teijutsu. And only Teacher Chen can master it? When Kanaha Ryukan activates, he can use his high-speed body rotation to form a tornado, sucking himself or other surrounding objects into the tornado and injuring his opponent. This physical technique is very powerful. When Teacher Chen was resurrected in the Fourth Ninja War, he defeated Emperor Guy in a state where eight inner gates could not be opened in an instant. Unfortunately, the Kanaha Dragon God was unable to pass it on to future generations, and the ancient Teijutsu was gradually lost. Although Xiaoli later used Baolian Hua to crack the weakness of Kanaha Dragon God, but it can still be regarded as a very awesome physical skill. Right now, three figures appeared quietly. An hour ago, Naruto came to Chi Yejun in a hurry. Tomorrow is my birthday, and he didn't move at all. Don't forget, I want to remind him. Advertisement. It happened that Suzuki also came to discuss Teijutsu with Ikino Jun. After knocking on the door for a long time, no one was home. At this moment, Hineda also brought Hanabi to play with Ikino Jun. Later, after inquiring, I learned that he ran to the Valley of the End. What is he doing there? Suzuki wondered. Naruto said happily, I know, he must have gone to pick flowers for me as a birthday present. Childish. Suzuki sneered and prepared to leave. King Fart, how about we go find him together? Naruto suggested. Suzuki thought, could it be, that he was practicing water style by the river? After thinking about it, he nodded in agreement. Hineda asked softly, can you take me with you? Suzuki nodded. With her here, it will be easier to find someone. So, Hineda sent Hanabi home and followed the two of them to the Valley of the End. The Byakugan of the Hayaga clan also requires practice to open. Hineda is now on, but it only has the ability of clairvoyance and telescope. Coming to the valley and looking at the lush sea of flowers, Naruto felt dizzy. Wow, he's so big, where can I find him? Suzuki said to Hineda, can you help me? Hineda nodded. Suddenly, the entire eyes turned blue-white, veins popped out around the eyes, and black marks appeared in the pupils. Hineda quickly spotted Ikono Jun's figure. There is a woman next to me. Her head felt like paste, and her heart was full of mixed feelings, as if a bottle of vinegar had been overturned. Holding back tears, he pointed forward, then fainted on the grass. Advertisement. Chapter 32, Becoming a Trump Card of the Third Generation, modified in this chapter. Advertisement. Afterwards, Ikono Jun found an opportunity to explain to Hineda. Fortunately, Hineda is considerate and appreciates Ikono Jun's actions to save people. Chi Yejun breathed a sigh of relief. The five boys and girls returned to the village talking and laughing. At this time, I happened to meet little Sakura coming out of the Anko store. Suzuki-kun, where did you come back from? Suzuki said nothing and left alone with his pockets in his pockets. Naruto also smiled and pulled Ikono Jun to eat ramen. Hineda whispered, we went to the Sea of Flowers. Sea of Flowers? The five of them went to play together, and they didn't even call me? Sakura was furious inside. It's too much, you are so alienated from me? The key point is that Suzuki-kun actually went there? Wow, but Ino smiled and officially announced. Sakura-chan, I will never compete with you for Suzuki again, haha. <laughs> after what happened today, she was completely fascinated by Chi Yejun. And after everything has been seen, she will be his woman from now on. Little Sakura had no idea what was going on and was confused. Return home in the evening, Chi Yejun couldn't wait to come to the space. Cast the Kanaha Dragon God. He was completely stunned by the gorgeous effect. By the way, isn't the secret skill only passed down to future generations? Dad died long ago, and I haven't heard that any of the ancestors of the Chi family were ninjas. Why is there still a secret technique passed down from our ancestors? Advertisement. Could it be? Are my ancestors related to Teacher Chen? The system responds promptly. Still the classic sentence. Produced by the system, everything is possible. In this way, he has been practicing for a long time. Before leaving the space, he dug out a ball of wool and a knitting needle. Use your tailoring skills to start making Naruto's birthday present. Thinking of the gift, he couldn't help laughing. The next day, Kanaha Mission Distribution Office. Ah, my little tiger, I got you back. Mom is worried to death. The extremely terrifying soprano blew up the whole place. The ton weight, cosmic fat-faced wife of the daimyo of the land of fire Mrs. Shijimai. He is using the sound escape that no one can match. He suffers from brain pain. Kakashi, who had just been stunned by Naruto's headset, vomited blood, and fell to the ground again. Afternoon, the mountains behind Kanaha village. The rocks are jagged and tangled with ancient vines. Looking up, there are all steep cliffs. A black shirt is hanging on a pine tree, dancing in the wind. At the foot of the mountain. This is a gift from my boyfriend. I didn't expect it to be blown up by the evil wind. Please help me. A tall woman bowed her head in thanks. What a weird D-level mission. Ikano Jun said with a helpless smile. Kakashi, who led the team, stood at the bottom of the cliff with a calm face. Advertisement. While taking advantage of this mission, start training on climbing the cliff, and you can't use your hands. Naruto blew the pot first? What? You can't use your hands? How can you climb like this? Mr. Kakashi, are you kidding me? Suzuki's lips raised slightly, that's interesting. Little Sakura snuggled close to Suzuki. Suzuki-kun, come on. You will definitely succeed. Kakashi's lazy voice came, everyone has to crawl. This is to train your chakra control ability. Five minutes later, little Sakura, who was struggling to climb, fell, and suffered a black nose and a swollen face. Suzuki was just halfway through his struggle. Naruto used mouth escape. Liang Ji surpassed him and cried for a while. 
Chi Yejan geared up, gathered chakra on the soles of his feet, and walked vertically up the cliff effortlessly. Wow, Zaijan, you are great, how did you do it? Naruto was extremely excited. Suzuki looked calm on the outside, but was extremely shocked inside. He actually walked up like this. Chi Yejan came to the tree and took off the cup easily. It's so big, it's as big as a pilot's hat. Kakashi was not surprised at all by his ability to control chakra. This time he did not train to climb trees, but directly upgraded to climb cliffs. Evening. Hokage office. Kakashi, I also agree with your point of view, this Ikono Jun does have Jonin strength. Third generation looked out the window and puffed out smoke. He has too many unknown factors. Sarutobi Hiruzen suddenly remembered his former disciple, Orikimuro. His eyebrows couldn't help but furrowed, with some inexplicable worry. Advertisement. Chi Yejun's rise is too fast. Recently, this little guy keeps running out of the village, and seems to have even gone to the valley of the end. Don't relax monitoring him. Third generation said. Kakashi nodded. Then he wiped his forehead protector and said worriedly, this time he killed two cloud shinobi? It was because of this last time, Hayaga Hisashi. Kakashi thought about the situation when Hisashi was sacrificed for peace. Third generation did not speak, but paced around the room. After a long time, he raised his head and said, The Chinin exam will be in just over a month. This time it will be hosted by Kanaha. By then, all ninja villages will gather in Kanaha. Kakashi was a little confused. Aren't you talking about Chi Yejun? Why are we suddenly talking about the Chinin exam? What third generation said next shocked him. Let him shine during the Chinin exam, and let each ninja village say the spirit of the will of fire and the strength of Kanaha village. Kakashi didn't expect that third generation would use Toshi Ikono as a trump card. You also know that the Chinin exam is actually a small war between ninja villages. Showing strength and shocking the other side is the real purpose. Kakashi said nothing. After following and contacting Chi Yejun, he has fallen in love with this enthusiastic and cheerful little guy. Compared with Naruto, he knows how to measure his antics. Compared to Suzuki, he is steady and not gloomy. During this period, we will strengthen the security of the village and deploy more manpower to prevent Cloud Shinobi from sneaking in again. Then, Sarutobi Hiruzen waved his hand and Kakashi left. At the same time, Chi Yejun's home. Naruto was sitting on the sofa, looking forward to it. Suzuki is also invited to the birthday dinner. He remained silent, but he was also curious in his heart about what gift Ikono Jun would give Naruto. Advertisement. Chapter 33 Naruto's Birthday Gift. Advertisement. Chi Yejun walked down from the second floor. Happy birthday Naruto. After saying that, he handed him a beautifully wrapped gift box. Naruto couldn't wait to open it. Take out a pair of pants. Is this? Naruto was stunned. The pants have a zipper and a pocket on the back with a little frog embroidered on it. The key is still wool. However, Naruto still happily accepted it and couldn't put it down. Haha, <laughs> Suzuki, Zayajan gave this to me? Do you have it? Suzuki pouted. Isn't it just wool in underwear? Chi Yejun smiled and said, These are anti-theft underwear, with the zipper sewn inside. Naruto didn't hold back at all and changed it in front of them. How does it feel? It seems a bit irritating. After smiling evilly, Chi Yejun took out another gift. This is a royal robe that recreates young Daimes. The robe is all red. Cool, cool and handsome. In the past, Chi Yejun was very disdainful of tailoring skills. Now I think it is a treasure skill. Naruto immediately put the robe on. Paired with woolen underwear, he looks like the Hokage version of Superman. Advertisement. However, this royal robe was later banned. Because the next day, Naruto took his only living expenses and went to the tailor shop. There are several large golden characters embroidered on the back of the robe. I am the Hokage. You need to be careful when pretending, do it and cherish it. Chi Jun took out the third gift from the kitchen. Three cans of adult milk powder. This product has a long shelf life and is not prone to spoilage. Naruto was stunned and moved to tears. While Naruto was happy, he didn't forget to show off in front of Suzuki. Hey, what did Zaijun give you on your birthday? Suzuki came to his senses. Smile proudly. The clouds are calm and the wind is gentle. He gave me a sky full of stars and brilliant fireworks. Hearing this, Chi Yejun completely surrendered. The weather has really cleared up, the rain has stopped, and Urshulai started to show off again. Now it was Naruto's turn to be stunned. He looked at the royal robe, and then at the scratchy woolen underwear. A large living room of 60 square meters. There was a moment of dead silence. The atmosphere suddenly became dull. Finally, it was Ikono Jun who broke the silence and swore with a smile. I swear by the length of my little brother, I just released a few magic bombs, and I definitely didn't send any stars or fireworks. A long time, Naruto suddenly shouted. Advertisement. I don't care, I want stars and fireworks too. Chi Yejun didn't know whether to laugh or cry, so he could only take him to the top of the building, and Suzuki followed him. At this time, shooting stars streaked across the sky. Meteor shower. The teenagers were stunned at the same time. Naruto didn't yell about setting off fireworks anymore. They sat on the floor, leaning side by side, silently looking at the beautiful Leo in the distance. Chi Yejun understood that maybe the meteor reminded them of their missing relatives. He gently held their shoulders. Three orphans, but three of the strongest? A familiar melody appeared in Chi Yejun's mind, but he couldn't remember the lyrics. It seemed that it was sung by four big boys. The atmosphere was warm, yet sad and solemn. However, with Naruto as a living treasure, the atmosphere became lively. He was the most boisterous and said with a smile, Haha, Zaijun, how about I call you big brother from now on? Chi Yejun glanced at the corner of his lips, I haven't been a big brother for many years. Naruto scratched his head and then slapped his head. Then I'll call you a man. Suzuki said coldly, don't call the word man. This word is the exclusive noun for the person he hates. Achiha Itake. Haha, let's call each other by our first names. It's more cordial. At this moment, there was a knock on the courtyard door downstairs. Ikono Jun rushed downstairs, opened the door and saw that it was Ino and Little Sakura. Advertisement. They carried flower baskets and anko cakes. Why are you here? Chi Yejun asked in surprise. Ino smiled enthusiastically. Naruto told me a long time ago that I will celebrate my birthday at your house tonight. What a big mouth. She actually wanted to see Chi Yejun. Little Sakura, on the other hand, looked at Suzuki. Chi Yejun led the two people into the house. The first thing the two girls saw was Naruto's woolen underwear and robe, and they were stunned. What are you playing? Naruto was even more excited to see Little Sakura join. Suzuki became dull. Suddenly, Ikono Jun found Hineda in the attic not far from the next door, looking longingly at it. Chi Yejun waved his hand and shouted loudly. 
Hineda, come and play. Hineda hesitated for a moment and shook her head. Only then did Ikono Jun remember that the Haiga family had strict family upbringing and it was impossible for him to go to a boy's house alone at night. At this moment, enthusiastic Ino said, Little Sakura and I are going to find Uncle Hayashi. After saying that, he took Little Sakura downstairs. After a while, Hineda also came to the top of the building with a gift. Chi Yejun brought the birthday cake. It read, Happy birthday to the prince. No one understands the meaning of the prince. Chi Yejun explained. Many historical titles of previous worlds were taught. Then, Chi Yejun thought of an interesting question. Advertisement. Chapter 34, Eliminated by Blood Successor. Advertisement. Chi Yejun asked deliberately, Naruto, if you are the crown prince, who is the crown princess? He was really afraid of hearing the name Hineda. And little Sakura is even more afraid of hearing her own name. Naruto pointed his finger at Suzuki and said carelessly, King Stinky Fart, let me make you the crown princess. Chi Yejun was overjoyed. Now it's right. He looked at the other two teenagers. On the surface, they are mortal enemies, but in fact they cherish each other and like each other. Unfortunately, Suzuki and little Sakura got married. Suzuki is away from home all year round and can only keep in touch with Naruto through letters. After he came back, he went to see Naruto immediately instead of going home. After all the fun, everyone was hungry. Advertisement. During the growth period, the appetite is huge and the cakes are not enough, especially Naruto and Hineda, the two big eaters. Chi Yejun went downstairs and started making dinner. The kitchen was remodeled and five stoves were added. Only 30 minutes passed. At least 20 hard dishes were served. Steaming hot and fragrant. Naruto asked in surprise, how did you do it? Chi Yejun chuckled. At this point the system jumps out. Ding. Congratulations to the host for discovering the fifth use of multiple shadow clone, collective cooking. The night is getting darker. After dinner, everyone went back to their homes. Chi Yejun couldn't wait to summon the panel and complete the sign-in. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the sign-in task for his birthday gift and being rewarded with the sweaty elimination of Zindo. Blood successor is eliminated. Xion done. Advertisement. The system actually rewarded the blood successor for being eliminated. Chi Yejun was astonished, like a thunderous explosion. Blood succession elimination is a combination of three chakra attribute changes. For example second suchikage fusion. Earth style plus wind style plus fire style equals dust escape. And passed to third suchikage onoki. I wonder if there will be rewards from the blood succession snare in the future. Chi Yejun was greedy and daydreaming. Xion done is a blood successor elimination formed by the fusion of earth style plus water style plus wind style. However, this time only two low-level ninjutsu were awarded. Sea level ninjutsu, joyful escape. Pleasure technique, stimulate dopamine secretion in yourself and your friends, making them fall into pleasure, and can also invigorate the spirit and improve morale. Wow, this is interesting. A buff that can be used in battle. Then, the system rewarded a second ninjutsu. Class B forbidden technique, this is a single target ninjutsu for men. In addition to affecting the opponent's dopamine secretion, it will have miraculous effects on the enemy. The initial duration is 30 seconds. The higher the ninjutsu level, the longer the duration, up to 120 seconds. Advertisement. What the hell? This technique also exists. But think about it, this mission is related to Naruto. It's no surprise that such a strange ninjutsu is rewarded. But why is this forbidden technique? In order to respect all female ninjas, this technique is listed as forbidden technique. Rumors say that an unnamed sage once wanted to use all his secrets of ninjutsu in exchange for the opportunity to learn this technique when he was young, but his determination was beaten to dust by his junior sister. All right. Dazzling hundred flowers, source of bliss, heaven, and earth, candy of chaos and others in your ninjutsu will appear in the future. After that, the system disappears. I wonder what an S-level super advanced ninjutsu would be. Toshi Ikono can't wait to try spring full garden. But, who can I test with? Preview, tomorrow, some people will leave class 7 temporarily, and new people will join. Change in update time, guys, I'm on the verge of staying up late, and my body is beginning to be overwhelmed. It takes more than 1 o'clock to fall asleep after posting this article, and I have to get up early at 6.30, so the update time will be changed to 11 a.m. tomorrow. Advertisement. Chapter 35, The Mission to Kill the Bastard. Advertisement. Early next morning. Everything wakes up and the sky is filled with morning glow. Ikeno Jun finished training and ran towards the Hokage building. Third generation saw him coming and greeted him with a smile. Chi Yejun said nothing, the garden is full of spring scenery. 30 seconds later, he came back to his senses slowly, but was completely blank about what had just happened. Chi Yejun smiled and ran away. Proficiency plus one. He knew that it wouldn't be long before Orikimaru would destroy Kanaha village. The old man will soon die. Just let him enjoy the happiness in his later years. Then, as long as I see him, the garden will be full of spring. This day, third generation spread out a pile of D-rank mission scrolls. Well, the next task of class seven is. Chi Yejun glanced quickly. Sun Nato. Harvest sweet potatoes. Catch the thief. Take the kids. All I have to do is milk the cow. He pulled Naruto over and whispered new bits of knowledge into his ears. Subsequently, Naruto jumped up and shouted in a lively manner. Malgobi, why are you doing this boring chore job all the time? I want to do the job of a real ninja? You bad old man is so bad. Ever since the god robe was forbidden to be worn, Naruto was very unhappy. What does male goba mean? Kakashi met third generation's gaze, and the old man shook his head. Suzuki, who remained silent, actually sided with Naruto this time. Advertisement. We need to grow as quickly as possible and not waste time. Iruka, who was sitting next to third generation, stood up angrily. Hey, I said you two guys. Third generation held him down and looked at Ikeno Jun. Zaijun, what do you think? Chi Yejun laughed. He knew in his heart that he would soon receive an escort mission from the country of waves. They are about to meet Mamakai Zabuza and Haku, and the plan to plunder Cardo will also be implemented. It won't be long before I can be as rich as the country. 
Thinking about this, I couldn't help but feel excited. It seems that no matter what world you are in, having money is fun. Toshi Aikano, Master Hokage is asking you something. Iruka reminded. Chi Yejun came back to his senses and said steadily, Grandpa Hokage, I also think it's time for us to take on a truly challenging mission. Before he finished speaking, Unren walked in with an old man. Lord Hokage, bandits have appeared near the border of the fire country, and many villages have been robbed. The old man walked forward with a sad look on his face. Lord Hokage, I am the village chief of Hugai village. There is a bandit leader named Xiaokuan Ichiro. He has no conscience, bullies men and women, commits all kinds of evil, and is extremely vicious. He has brought disaster to the whole village and has never had peace. After that, he handed over the money he raised. Third generation narrowed its eyes, then nodded and said, That's just right. The sea level mission will be handed over to class 7. Although it is only a sea level mission, you can still do it? Several teenagers were ecstatic. On the way back to prepare, Naruto couldn't help but ask, Teacher Kakashi, there will definitely be a battle to eliminate the bandits, and there will definitely be danger. Why is it a sea level mission? Kakashi explained, the tasks entrusted by sea level are only enemies such as thieves, thieves, and armed groups. Once the opponent sends out ninjas, it will be upgraded to B level or higher tasks. At this moment, Chi Yejun was silent. He kept thinking about the name Ichiro the Inu. He had long gray hair and pretended to be an artist. It's just that they don't resemble each other, so if you draw a tiger, you can't compare it to a dog. No wonder there is a dog character in the name. He is a hooligan, a scumbag, a dirty beast that opposes humanity? Is it such a coincidence? Advertisement. Is there someone with the same name as him in the Hokage world? Chi Yejun is looking forward to seeing him sooner. Near the forest of fire country. A bandit camp. The gray-haired man was chewing on a chicken leg. A fat, dark-skinned woman lay in his arms. Suddenly, there was chaos and noise outside. I'll go out and take a look. He immediately picked up his sword and walked out of the tent. On the open ground, Kakashi and four team members are crushing him. For them, killing these bandits was effortless. Chi Yejun turned his head and looked. It was that wretched little dog, Ichiro. He turned and ran. As expected, it's you, you big bitch. I'll let you fall into ashes today. The dog stupid Ichiro was stunned when he heard this, and wondered, who are you? What do you want to do? But, when he saw the forward protector on the other person's arm, the pupil shrank suddenly. Kanaha Shinobi? Chi Yejun smiled coldly. Lao Zi wants to borrow something from you. Xiao Kuan asked in confusion, what to borrow? At this time, Chi Yejun was like a god. Over the despicable bandit leader, he pointed with his hand, arrogantly. Lend me your dog's head. The little dog's mind was so excited, but, thinking that he was just a brat, he immediately relaxed his guard and drew his sword. A guy who doesn't even have any hair on his head is so arrogant. Advertisement. And now, from the corner of the camp, five more black figures flashed out, trying to surround Chi Yejun. There are still about twenty enemies left on Kakashi's side. The battle is raging. Seeing Ikono Jun being surrounded, Naruto and Suzuki both wanted to run to help. Chi Yejun shouted, I can handle it alone. Of course Kakashi knew his strength and stopped the two of them. Chi Jun did not forget to apply the Zindu pleasure technique on them. Kakashi and others' combat power suddenly doubled, morale boosting. And right now, little Sakura ran over alone. She had just been throwing shurikens around the perimeter, without any sense of presence. Now, she wanted to help Chi Yejun kill the enemy, so she ignored Kakashi's order. Several shurikens flew away. One of them shot a robber. I hit it, I hit it. Little Sakura was ecstatic. But right now, Ichiro the Inu raised his sword high and rushed towards Sakura. He wants to take her hostage? Chi Yejun saw this and wanted to stop him, but was surrounded by the remaining four people. He sneered. Almost an afterimage flashed between them. The four robbers fell to the ground and died. Chi Yejun also saw the power of the true secret of destruction, the broken egg. Kick it down, it goes directly through the abdominal cavity and chest cavity, and spits out from the mouth. Finally, it exploded in the air and bloomed into bright red egg flowers. Little Sakura nimbly dodged the puppy. Kunao, shuriken bayou bia bio. But right now, a dark-skinned woman appeared from the tent like a ghost, approaching Little Sakura. Advertisement. Chapter 36 Homemade Ninjutsu. Advertisement. Whoosh. A woman flashed out of the tent. He has dark skin, big shoulders, round waist, and well-developed muscles. With a powerful physical technique, Little Sakura was kicked to the ground. The big sword of Koichiro the Inu also penetrated straight down. Fortunately, Little Sakura dodged in time, and the sword edge only scratched her leg. Although, she still fell to the ground in pain and her ligaments were severed. The puppy is so wild. Kanaha Dragon God. Chi Yejun roared angrily, resounding throughout the sky. Immediately, a blue tornado that looked like a real dragon roared towards him. It seems to announce the birth of Kanaha's new generation of strongest Teijutsu King, but, while casting tornado, he also joins Rakery. Crackling. The swirling storm mixed with blue lightning instantly engulfed the puppy, until the tornado disappears. The little doggy Chiro has been torn apart and riddled with holes, and the electric shock has left him scorched on the outside and tender on the inside. Subsequently, it was so painful that he died. Kakashi also ended the battle and came running over. Kakashi was extremely surprised when he looked at the electrically charged tornado just now. He had seen Teacher Chen perform it during the Sun in battle. Teacher Chen. Real name Chen Long. He was brutally killed during the Third Ninja War and later reincarnated by the Impure World. I have a story with Rock Lee. This is a secret technique, and Teacher Chen is no longer here. How could Toshi Aikano do it? However, it is different from Teacher Chen's. He seems to have joined Rakery. He actually knows Rakery. Wait, Ninjutsu. Advertisement. Toshi Aikano created a new Ninjutsu. Suzuki and Naruto were also stunned. Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu is combined with Teijutsu to achieve the effect of 1 plus 1 being greater than 2. For example, Rakage's lightning style armor form. However, Kakashi soon came to his senses, because he's used to Jun Ikono's sudden heaven-defying technique. Ikono Shun called the improved ninjutsu Kanaha Thunder Dragon. Little Sakura pear blossoms bring rain. Naruto was concerned. Although Jun Ikono knows healing jutsu, he cannot perform physical therapy on the torn ligament. Little Sakura had to be hospitalized to recuperate. And that dark-skinned woman has been subdued and tied up. Ikono Jun was about to step forward to kill her, but Kakashi stopped him. 
Wait a minute, I suspect she is a rebellious nin from Cloud Shinobi Village. Kakashi has seen the Teijutsu she performs. Most of the people in Cloud Shinobi Village are good at Teijutsu, and many of them have dark skin and well-developed bodies. Teacher Kakashi, what should we do with her? Chi Yejun asked. Kakashi let out a devilish and lewd laugh. Anime Episode 04, Laughter at 638. He 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 he. Marino Iki likes fat girls, maybe he can get information about Cloud Shinobi Village. Before leaving, Toshi Chino summoned an army of skeletons. Zombie fusion and skeleton resurrection, proficiency plus 62. On the way back, Kakashi carries little Sakura on his back. Naruto pestered Aikino Jun. Can you teach me that tornado trick just now? It's so awesome, I want to learn it and defeat the stinky king. Suzuki said coldly, the secret technique is only passed on to future generations, idiot. Then how can I learn it? Naruto was very unwilling. Shitashiko said, unless I travel through time and become Minato, I become your father. After Marino Iki's 18 kinds of torture, coercion and inducement, the fat bitches finally admitted that they were the rebellious ninjas of Cloud Shinobi Village. The mission level was also upgraded to B-level. Advertisement. But Hugai Village is not wealthy, and work remuneration is collected from door to door. The soft-hearted Kakashi finally agreed to calculate according to C-level. Little Sakura underwent ligament anastomosis and was admitted to Kanaha Hospital. Although the surgery was successful, weight-bearing walking on the affected limb should be avoided for at least one month after surgery. That is to say, Little Sakura may not be able to participate in the next mission. The next day, Chi Yejun passed by the door of the bathhouse. Suddenly I was bumped into by a man in a hurry. Chi Yejun looked up and was stunned. He is very tall, wearing a red coat, wooden clogs, and a forehead protector with the word oil written on it. White hair reaches waist level. There are red marks under the eyes. Wandering dragons will return to the sea, and the sea will not welcome Nigeria. Aikano Jun couldn't help but murmured. What did you say? The man asked. Chi Yejun immediately shook his head. What a strange little guy, haha. <laughs> the man touched his head affectionately and left in a hurry. This man whose life is full of joys and sorrows is one of Chi Yejun's favorite people. Whenever he saw the scene of his sacrifice, Chi Yejun couldn't help crying. At this time, looking at his back, Chi Yejun secretly swore. I will do whatever it takes to prevent you from dying again. There are still more than 10 days left before the mission to the Kingdom of Waves. Early this morning, Chi Yejun woke up. The system suddenly jumped out. Ding. Publish task sign in. Please host earn enough 5,000 tails within 10 days. Although there is a reward for doing tasks, it is pitiful. Third generation also stopped paying pensions. Chi Yejun couldn't help but sigh, how dark the top management of Kanaha is. However, he had already thought of ways to make money. This day, advertisement. He called Suzuki and Naruto home. She closed the door mysteriously, and then took out a few playing cards. Naruto smiled broadly, haha, are you fighting the landlords? But three are short of one. Let's go to the hospital to play with little Sakura. Chi Yejun shook his head. This is the tool that will help you make money in the future. In the Hokage world, gambling is very popular and is a legal entertainment project. There is a popular casino in Kanaha village. It's also a place Tsunade often goes to, but he's often treated like a fat sheep. However, they played the traditional Japanese style, which was boring. Chi Yejun plans to introduce the fried golden flower from his previous life. Commonly known as cheating chicken, Naruto was worthy of being a gambler, and he mastered it quickly. Suzuki is much less savvy in this regard. That's wrong, that's a pair, not a straight. Naruto corrected. Finally, at midnight, Suzuki barely learned it. But, how to make money? Naruto asked with a yawn. It's very simple. It will be set up at my house. We will take a commission from the children who win money and provide a side job. Chi Yejun planned. Anyway, there are many wealthy families in Kanaha village. What's a side job? Suzuki asked. Just like Wanda Pictures, in addition to movie tickets, the greater income comes from popcorn, which shows the great charm of side business. Chi Yejun has the skill of god of cooking. With the addition of multiple shadow clone, you can make delicious food without worrying about selling it. Afterwards, the three of them discuss the details of the operation. At this moment, Class 8 is doing vigil duty. Watch the corn in the cornfield to prevent black bears from stealing it. In order to protect Hineda, Kurane Ui accidentally injured her leg and was admitted to the hospital, temporarily unable to lead the team. Since Cloud Shinobi infiltrated, Kanaha Village has mobilized its forces to strengthen its defenses. It would be a waste of resources to dedicate another Jonin to lead the team. Then, Hineda, Kiba, and Shino from Class 8 were temporarily assigned to other classes. Due to the absence of Little Sakura, Team 7 needs to add a new member. Advertisement. Chapter 37 Obtaining Pain Tian Foot. Advertisement. The sun was shining brightly and there was a gentle breeze. Hineda walked towards the mission. She smiled like a cute koala, and she had never been so cheerful. Because she temporarily entered Class 7. I can be with Toshikun Aikano now. When Ino found out, she was quite envious. Why isn't Mr. Asuma hospitalized? Today, Class 7 has another trivial D-level task. Help the big dairy farmer milk the cows. Aikano Shun and Hineda are in a group. Hineda expresses milk and Aikano Jun receives milk. The two cooperated tacitly, smiling at each other from time to time, and loving dog food was sprinkled all over the floor. Suzuki couldn't control the rhythm of milking, and his milk spilled all over Naruto's face. One group spreads grain and the other group spreads milk. What a weird class 7. A few days later, Chi Yejun's home. It's crowded and lively. This became the stronghold of the Kanaha village boys. Shikaku, Kiba, and others have become regular customers. Naruto and Suzuki provide card dealing services and take 20% of the winner's fee as a reward. Chi Yejun makes delicious snacks and makes a lot of money. Especially Koji, he never played a game and spent all his money on snacks. Suzuki eventually couldn't stand the noisy scene and quit within a few days. Fortunately, Naruto can multiply Shadow Clone. Ino will also come to help from time to time. Soon, adults also sneaked in, including the secret guards of Hayaga's house next door. Aikano Jun even discovered Jiraiya's figure. Advertisement. Ten days later, Chi Yejun successfully earned 5,000 tails and completed the task. The system jumped out and awarded the reward. Ding! Congratulations to host for completing the task and rewarded with money escape. Money regeneration technique. What the hell? So, I, Toshi Aikano, have become the richest man in Hokage. Swipe, swipe, swipe. In one night, the bedroom was filled with wasted money. 
He immediately closed the casino. Isn't it nice to just sit on the pile of money and enjoy life while still making some extra money? He divided the commission between his two brothers. Then I bought some gifts similar to melatonin and gave them to three elderly people. Although third generation can't be around for a few days, the other two are key figures in deciding the choice of hokage. When you have money, you should bribe. Ahem. Filial piety. Two more days passed. The long-awaited mission to the Kingdom of Waves has finally begun. According to the original work, this mission is to escort the bridge-building expert Dasna back to his country. Miss Shinobi's assassination skills. The ice escape of the Minajiki clan. I, Toshi Chino, am here to teach me. Also, I want to witness with my own eyes that wonderful Jojo couple. But, it was a young woman who walked in through the door. The woman smiled slightly and bowed politely to everyone. Hi, it's our first time meeting you. Please take care of me. The little girl's name is Liwenji. She is the bridge master of the Land of Waves. There is indeed a future. Hearing her name, Chi Yejan came up with an idiom. Etc. The plot is wrong. Advertisement. Aren't you escorting that drunkard Uncle Dasna? Later, while chatting on the road, we learned that Dasna drank too much and finally collapsed in the hospital. Li Wanji is his close disciple and an expert in bridge construction. Such small detail changes will not affect the main line. The mission is rated C-level. Chi Yejan was also speechless. It's obviously a B-level mission. Why aren't the people in Kanaha village investigating? Really kind and simple. The next day, the sky is clear and clear, cloudless. Kunao, shuriken, detonating charm, woolen underwear, sanlo milk powder. Naruto packed his bags. For this mission, Chi Yejun specially found a blacksmith uncle to make a stainless steel fingerless glove. Suzuki remained calm and didn't even prepare any luggage. And in front of Hayaga's house, are you leaving? Hineda, who had just stepped out of the door, was suddenly startled. When I turned around, I saw that old iceberg face. Yes, father. Hayaga Hayashi snorted lightly, without any warmth at all, let's go. Hineda's eyes flashed with disappointment, then she bowed and left. But soon, that loss was replaced by perseverance. Hayaga Hayashi looked up at the blue sky, slowly exhaled a breath, and murmured, Hisashi, am I right to be so harsh on her? The gathering is complete. As the gate of Kanaha slowly closed, Team 7 led by Kakashi officially took the path of Jonin. Class 7, let's go. Naruto shouted happily, excited all the way. Haha, this is my first time traveling out of the village. Hey, this is a mission, not a trip. Teacher Kakashi shook his head helplessly. Idiot. Suzuki said dismissively. Advertisement. Hineda and Toshi Aikano were scouting ahead. Their hands touched each other from time to time, and they were electrocuted. Naruto and Suzuki were around Manji. Kakashi comes to the rear. As we walked, we gradually became bored. Because apart from trees, there are not even any ghosts. Kakashi sensei, where is the country of waves? Naruto asked boredly. The country of waves is a very small island country with only one bridge connected to the outside world. There are almost no ninjas in the country, so there are no ninja villages. The people live in very poverty. Oh, that's it. Naruto nodded. Actually he didn't understand. Five days later, getting further and further away from Kanaha village, Chi Yejun also received a sign-in task. Ding, please host go to the puddle haunted by ghost brothers to sign in. Ghost brothers, Mingtu and Kartu. He is also considered a well-known figure in the killer world. Kirigakur is a traitor and a subordinate of Zabuza Mamakai. They emerged from a puddle. Another two days passed. This journey was so peaceful and eerie. Kakashi reminds everyone to cheer up and be vigilant. Hineda has secretly opened her Byakugan. The 360 degree field of view allows her to see more clearly and prevent enemies from sneak attacks. But Chi Yejun knew that the danger was in the puddle ahead. Until you come to the puddle. He waved his hand to signal everyone to stop. On a sunny day, if a puddle suddenly appears, there must be something fishy. Kakashi nodded, agreeing with his judgment. Immediately, Toshi Chino summoned the sign in panel to complete the task. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the puddle sign-in, and will be rewarded with strange power. The Heavenly Foot. Advertisement. Chapter 38 Obtaining Water Body Technique. Advertisement. My feet hurt? This is improved by Tsunade based on his strange power. Concentrate the chakra on your feet and stamp on the ground to create a monster attack with landslides. It is similar to Toshi Ikono's destruction foot and egg shatter. It's just one lifting one's foot, one stomping one's foot. The system then releases the continuous task. Ding. Issue task sign in. Please host to deal with the ghost brother within 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Chi Yejun thought quickly and came up with a plan immediately. Actually, he doesn't intend to go it alone. After all, Naruto and the others also need to practice and accumulate combat experience. But since the system requires it, it can only be completed in a high profile manner. At this time, Chi Yejun has already heard the sound of rustling water. Coming. Aikano Jun gathered chakra with his left foot, and then stepped hard on the puddle. Strange strength. Painful feet. The ground shook like an earthquake. Everyone was shocked by the sudden situation and subconsciously retreated. Romanji was protected by Kakashi and others. The bang ends. Before he could let out a miserable howl, he heard a chi sound. Red blood splattered. In an instant, Chi Yejun's vision was dyed blood red. The business head who had just emerged from the puddle was trampled into a pulp. Did you get trampled to death like this? I'll kill fifteen. At this moment, he has long been numb to killing. It's like a butcher who kills too many pigs and doesn't even feel the blood when he sees it. Soon, the underworld appeared. His appearance is very strange, he is wearing a respirator, and the gear chains on his hands are shining with a faint light. Seeing his brother dead, he swung the chain and attacked Chi Yejun. Ten seconds left. Advertisement. System hint. Chi Yejun didn't give him a chance to get out of the puddle. Lightning style. Ragery. Ah. Because the water conducts electricity, the power of lightning is increased, and the underworld head is instantly chopped into ashes. The entire battle ended in less than twenty seconds. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the task sign-in and being rewarded water style. Water body technique. The water body's ability will be improved when it is in water, but it cannot be too far away from the main body. Although it is not very powerful, at least he has the first water attribute ninjutsu. Now I just lack the wind attribute. At this time, Kakashi looked at Naruto who was excited, Hineda who was dazed, and Suzuki who was pretending to be calm. I can't help but feel melancholy. 
This little guy is too scary. If this continues, I won't even know what to teach him. The danger was temporarily lifted, and the group continued on their way. Li Wanji also gradually became familiar with everyone. She smiled and asked Aikano Jun, how boring it is to be a ninja. How about you and your sister go to the land of waves and I teach you how to build a bridge? Ah, uh, let's forget it. Aikano Jun shook his head, and then gently took Hineda's hand. Hineda's face immediately turned red. However, her concentration has also increased a lot, and she no longer faints easily. Romanji felt bored and went to find Suzuki again. Naruto grabbed his hand and ran away. Very embarrassing. The next day, Team 7 entered a country filled with thick fog. The Kingdom of Waves has finally arrived. Luanji said, The fog is getting thicker and thicker. The group got on the boat and rowed towards the bridge. Everyone, please keep your voice down. I only dare to pick you up because of the heavy fog, the boatman warned. In thick fog, there was a sense of coldness. Everyone couldn't help but shrink their necks and shudder. Advertisement. Chi Yejun knew that Mamakai's Zabuza was about to appear. Wow, it's the first time I've seen such a thick fog. Naruto was so excited that he completely forgot what the boatman told him. Kakashi hit him hard on the head. Naruto then stuck out his tongue and became quiet. Paddling for over an hour, a black silhouette appeared in the thick fog ahead, like a giant beast in the water. That is the bridge we built, the lifeblood of the future of the country of waves, and the source of the courage to resist Cardo. Romanji whispered. The Cardo group controls water transportation in the country of waves. So he didn't want to see the bridge built, so he ordered the arrest of the bridge builder. Luanji then murmured. Actually, Cardo didn't arrest me solely because of building the bridge. He took a fancy to me and wanted to occupy me. My family has been killed by his minions for protecting me. He also killed many citizens who resisted him. At this point, Luanji had tears in her eyes. Kind-hearted Hineda covered her mouth in surprise. How could that man named Kato do this? This world is about the jungle and the strong. Suzuki's face darkened, he didn't know what he was thinking of. Aikano Jun didn't say anything, but just hugged Hineda gently. Hineda-chan, I will never let anyone bully you. At the same time, he was gearing up to kill that wretched Cardo with his own hands as soon as possible. At this time, Naruto's angry voice sounded. Teacher Kakashi, why don't we go find that despicable Cardo and give him some trouble? When Naruto is really angry, he will lose his former sunshine. Kakashi shook his head. Our mission is to protect Liwanji from harm while repairing the bridge, not to bring her into a more dangerous situation. Suzuki actually supported Naruto. Instead of tensing up and staying here, it's better to cut off the source of the trouble. Chi Yejun laughed in his heart. He has seen through it all. The two guys actually work together perfectly. Naruto likes to be the one in the spotlight, and Suzuki will always fan the flames from behind. This may be the tacit understanding between them. Teacher Kakashi, I also think that Cardo should be taught a lesson. He is too much. Have to? Advertisement. Hineda, who doesn't like fighting, also joined in. Luanji wiped away her tears and said feebly, Forget it, the power of the Cardo group cannot be broken by the five of you. They are all a group of desperados. Naruto said proudly, who said there were five of us. I can get more than a thousand people at once. By the way, there's also Zayajan. Thinking of the dark scene, Kakashi couldn't help but swallow. However, he still shook his head and said in a more serious tone, Ninjas must put their mission first. Naruto asked loudly, Zayajan, is that right? The boatman immediately stopped the boat and knelt down in front of Naruto. Please grandpas, please stop talking. Everyone just shut up. After sailing silently like this for half an hour, shadows gradually appeared in the thick fog. An arch formed by a huge stone bridge appeared. Spectacular? The fog has also become much lighter. Go through the arch. A village built on the water appeared. The roots of the trees are tangled under the water, and the lush branches and leaves are exposed above the water. Just when Aikano Jun was enjoying the beautiful scenery, the system jumped out. Ding! Post-task check-in, obtained the naming rights of the bridge and successfully named it Chiming Sata Bridge. Etc. This bridge. Shouldn't it be called Naruto Bridge? Why did you change your name? Chi Yejun then frowned and thought about how to obtain the naming rights. Right now, a holographic carousel suddenly appeared in front of me. There are more than a hundred grids on it, all filled with various summoned beasts. Crow, bat, lion, tiger, katsuyu, toad, insect. There are also ape demons among them. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I understand, the mission reward is to get the second summoned beast. Soon, he had an idea and thought of how to persuade his sister to obtain the naming rights. Advertisement. Chapter 39 Obtaining the Second Summoning Beast. Advertisement. Chi Yejun loves girls and pets. Although he has obtained Zayahe, he still wants to have hundreds of summoning beasts. When the time comes, summon them all and become the king of beasts. Whether it's shopping, picking up girls, or fighting, it's so pretentious and provocative. Now, here's your chance to have a second baby. He had an idea and thought of the level of the escort mission. Alright, Sister Li Wanji, you are applying for sea level for this mission, but we have already come into contact with ninjas. When Li Wanji heard this, she immediately trembled and looked around. Ninja, where are you? Nima is really good at pretending? The two people in the puddle just now. Kakashi slapped his forehead. Yes, supposedly the mission has been upgraded to be level, and the remuneration should also be increased. He is saving money. Prepare to give Guy a birthday gift on January 1st next year. The atmosphere was momentarily awkward. My sister cried so hard that her heart trembled. She played the emotional card and cried out about the poverty in the country of waves and the exploitation of Cardo. Blah blah blah. Finally, she promised, not only do we build bridges, but we are also first class in building houses. From now on, whenever Kanaha village needs, woohoo, I will definitely bring a team to help for free. Chi Yejun was very disdainful. Hashirama wood style conquers the world, Yamato wood style promotes greening? Isn't our Kanaha Captain Yamato delicious? Can you build a house faster than Captain Yamato as wood style? Besides, you deserve to be ruled if you don't resist. I just came here to fight Zabuza. By the way, I gave Mr. Kakashi a gift. As expected, Kakashi was as soft-hearted as the original, okay, the mission continues. Advertisement. Aikano Jun got to the point, well, I have a request. We should name the bridge. Otherwise, the mission will probably have to be upgraded, right? Teacher Kakashi. After speaking, he whispered in Kakashi's ear. Kakashi smiled happily after hearing this, and then nodded. Li Wanji thought for a while and smiled. Okay then, I'll discuss it with Teacher Dejuna later. What name do you plan to give your brother? 
Toshi Ikeno pointed, it's called Heitei Kakashi Bridge. When Kakashi heard this, he waved his hands hurriedly. No, no, hee hee, this is not good. Chino Jun immediately changed his mind, okay, then call it Chiming Sada Ahashi. Naruto was elated when he heard his own name. Chi Yejun secretly said, you lost three quarters. Kakashi couldn't laugh or cry in his heart, I'm just being polite, but you still take it seriously. Afterwards, little Sakura found out and was so angry that she gritted her teeth. Wow, I should call him Sakura Ike. Chi Yejun immediately summoned the system and completed the task sign in. He was looking forward to giving an awesome summoning beast. The turntable appears. Is it Doughty, Kainki, Chaos or Doughty? Or Shenron or Godzilla? If not, Digimon Berry's mechanical Greymon will be fine too. The turntable spins rapidly. Finally stop. What the hell? It was actually fixed on a little butterfly. Chi Yejun was so disappointed that he even wanted to curse. However, the system is humane and understands comfort. The development is too fast at the beginning, and the plot will collapse soon, but I guarantee that the summoning beast next time will be a ferocious beast. Chi Yejun had nothing to say and could only sign the contract on the scroll. Shadow Butterfly, the auxiliary summoning beast, can see through invisible enemies, and can identify the body of any clone technique. At the same time, like the cat demon, it has the ability to become invisible. The words fell. A colorful butterfly is flying, colorful and light in posture. Advertisement. It rests on Hinata's head, making her even cuter. As expected, Hinata didn't notice anything strange. Well, it's practical to be able to see through clones and invisibility. Let's call you Mothra. Subsequently, the group landed ashore and headed to Luwinji's house. At this time, a little white rabbit jumped out of the woods. Little white rabbit, white and white, loves to eat radishes and green vegetables. Hinata picked it up and couldn't put it down. Along the way, she also learned a lot about Chinese culture. Ikeno Jun naturally knew that Yukito was Zabuza's substitute and immediately stopped Hinata. This kind of white snow rabbit only appears in winter, so be careful. After hearing this, Hinata immediately put down the rabbit. He quickly formed a seal with his hands in front of his chest and then affirmed. Roll your eyes. All colors quickly faded in her eyes, leaving only black and white. There is indeed chakra fluctuation nearby. Although the concentration is not high, it is slowly getting stronger. Suzuki and Naruto also took out their kunao as a precaution. Right now, boohoo. A huge black shadow suddenly arrived along with the sound of fierce wind. Kakashi's expression suddenly changed and he shouted. Everyone get down. Chi Yejun, who was well prepared, threw the dazed Romanji to the ground. Boom. The big knife was stuck in the high trunk of the tree. A man stands on a knife. What a pretentious way to appear. His face was wrapped in bandages, his upper body was naked, and his lower body was wearing sexy striped suspenders. Mamakai Zabuza, the rebellious ninja of Kurigakur, the kingdom of water, is good at water style and assassination. Advertisement. Together with Hashigaki Kisame, Yuri Yuriringo, and Mangetsu Kito, they formed the second batch of seven ninja swordsmen. Now employed by Cardo, he looked down at everyone with cold eyes, and finally set his sights on his target, Liwanji. Cold and cruel, intimidating. Hey, isn't this the copy ninja Kakashi? Hey, isn't this the ghost mist shinobi Zabuza? Give that woman to me and I'll leave immediately. Avk you uncle. After a bit of talk, the two of them started having sex. You two put up a swastika to protect Romanji, and don't join the fight. This is teamwork at this time. Kakashi ordered. Naruto shouted, why? Zayajan killed both of them last time, this time it's my turn to show off my skills. Chi Yajan lifted him up and threw him behind. I saw Kakashi mentioning forward protector. In the blood pupils, three Megatama appeared. Sherinon? Suzuki said stupidly, why does he have a Sherinon? Naruto was stunned, what is Sherinon? Chi Yejun smiled and said, the word Bushui can be found on Beidou. Zabuza laughed arrogantly. But if you can't see it, will it still be so powerful? The words just fell. After images flashed by, and Zabuza jumped to the surface of the water. The right hand is flat and the left hand is raised high. Borrow from heaven for another 500 years. Then, thick fog was rising and the mist was thick. Water style. Mist Shinobi technique. Zabuza's figure disappeared instantly. Kakashi was dumbfounded. Mist Shinobi technique is the nemesis of eye magic? Nima's eyes turned white. Advertisement. Chapter 40, Torture Zabuza. Advertisement. The fog is getting thicker and thicker. It even limits the viewing angle and distance of Byakugan's perspective. Hinata's face turned red with anxiety. Chi Yejun doted on and comforted him. Don't worry, your abilities will naturally improve as you practice slowly in the future. Kakashi looked solemn. Zabuza's voice came slowly from the fog. When I was still in the Mist Shinobi assassination unit, I knew your information from the dating handbook I carried with me. The words just fell. A slash struck through the thick fog towards the opponent. The sound of metal collision resounded. At the same time, it was accompanied by a low sound of pain. Fortunately, Kakashi reacted quickly and immediately took out a kunao to block the blow. But the tiger's mouth was still sore from the shock. He was sweating like rain. Silent killing technique. Chi Yejun exclaimed. Ghost man really lives up to his reputation, and he is even more capable of assassination in thick fog. However, he immediately thought of the shadow butterfly he had just rewarded. Can see through invisibility and clones? Chi Yejun summoned immediately. Mothra flapped her wings and dived into the mist. Its butterfly body shines like a bright pearl in the dark night. Haha, <laughs> guide butterfly. Chi Yejun knows. The place where Mothra stopped at this moment was exactly where Zabuza was. Zabuza was so proud of himself. Laozi is so awesome, no one sees me. In thick fog, everyone is like a blind person. Not only that. Advertisement. Zabuza also released powerful murderous intent. Suzuki and the others were like candles in the wind in their murderous aura, their faces were pale and they were trembling. They had trouble breathing and were filled with fear and despair. I want to die, I don't want to live anymore. Er Zuzi, let's go together. But Chi Yejun was not affected by murderous aura at all. Because he discovered the second benefit of Kingian Bodhi's physique, it is not only immune to illusions, but also to murderous intent. So awesome. At this moment, he jumped out and shouted, XI and done. Pleasure technique. Rays of white light enveloped his teammates. The fear and despair disappeared, replaced by hope and excitement. They returned to their sister's side and formed a protective formation. Chi Yejun summoned Xiao Hei to protect them. Then he turned around and ran towards Kakashi. Kakashi-sensei, let me help you. His appearance made Kakashi suddenly feel relieved. 
just when Zabuza was feeling proud. Ikono Jun used his strange power and gathered Chakra's thousand ton punch to hit him, the momentum is fierce and invincible. After feeling the energy of Chakra, Zabuza was shocked. This kid actually discovered me? Coincidence, it must be a coincidence. In a hurry, he could only raise his beheading sword as a shield. Boom, Zabuza's tiger's mouth was shocked and bleeding, and he was blown away by the huge force, with blood falling in the air. The ground was plowed hard, leaving clear traces. The beheading sword also had a dented fist mark. If it had been replaced with an ordinary weapon, it would have broken long ago. The beheading sword is extremely hard, has bloodthirsty repair capabilities, and is considered an unbreakable sword. Strength, speed, courage. This kid definitely has Jonin's strength. Zabuza was stunned. However, he still thought that Chi Yejun was just a coincidence. But, after he transferred, the other party still lingered like a gangrene attached to his bones. Advertisement. Unbeknownst to Zabuza, a butterfly was flying above his head, like police lights shining. Just a little brat. Zabuza once again burst out with fierce murderous intent. Toshiya Ikono also released the vast chakra, and his breath spurted out like a tide. The two murderous auras collided and made a sizzling sound. The sky clears and the temperature plummets. Soon, Zabuza was forced back by the surging breath and sat down on the ground. The ruthless reality shattered his arrogance. The silent killing technique that I was proud of was easily cracked by a kid. It was rumored some time ago that the illegitimate son of Kanaha village Hokage and Kabuki is a genius. Could it be that he? Sudden, a cold voice came out of Chi Yejun's mouth. Eight places, throat, spine, liver, lungs, carotid arteries, clavicle, kidneys, and heart. Which one do you choose, Mr. Zabuza? Chi Yejun teased, not in a hurry to attack. Like a cat that catches a mouse, it plays with it first. No longer confused. Young people don't respect martial ethics. You said everything I had to say, and you left me speechless. But he quickly got up, his muscles tensed and his strength exploded. The beheading sword turned into a phantom and slashed towards Chi Yejun. Boom. Chi Yejun was directly chopped to pieces. Only, the water splashed everywhere, just a streak of water. Zabuza's eyes bulged out. This brat, actually knows how to use water to form technique. His three views were completely overturned. Am I abnormal, or is the genius too crazy? Go to hell. Zabuza raised the beheading sword again and struck it down. The figure exploded. Another water body? Advertisement. I still don't believe it. What nonsense? Come again, dem brat. Kakashi couldn't see the fighting inside. All you can hear is the sound of water puffing, puffing, which is very rhythmic. Chi Yejun has had enough. He said coldly, it's my turn. But, which technique to choose? Now that there are so many techniques, it becomes difficult to choose. And right now, the system jumped out and released the plot check-in task. Ding, inspire the power of Naruto Nine Tails, prevent Suzuki from being seriously injured by the magic mirror ice crystal, and kill Kardo, etc. Inspire the power of Naruto Nine Tails, prevent Suzuki from getting hurt, kill Kato, three tasks. Does that mean the rewards will be more generous? Chi Yejun suddenly had a strong premonition. This time, the ice escape blood succession limit related to Bai will be rewarded. After coming back to his senses, Ikeno Shun began to torture Zabuza. Thousand years of death. Paya Paya Paya, puff 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 puff. Ah, in the next nearly 10 minutes, Zabuza was brutally tortured by Ikeno Jun in the thick fog, accompanied by discordant sounds. Zabuza used his water body again and again. But the butterfly lingers around, and Chi Yejun accurately finds its true identity every time. There is no suspense about Jukan. Ikeno Jun suddenly had a hunch that there would definitely be more than one Mothra in the future, maybe he would have a big butterfly family with all kinds of awesome skills. As for why Zabuza was not killed, I will explain it next time. Tomorrow, Bai will appear. As for Bai's gender, it's been confirmed and there will be no further debate in this book. I've read a lot of Hokage fanfiction. Some authors actually wrote Bai as a woman and accepted him. This is unacceptable to me. No, yes, this book often makes fun of Suzuki and Naruto, but that is just a joke, and nothing unspeakable will ever really happen to them. They are more like buddies and brothers who are good enough to wear a pair of pants. But some people have suggested that it's all in vain, I can't do it. Advertisement. Chapter 41 Victory in the First Battle. Advertisement. Who is Sabuza? Control 6th Hokage Kakashi with one hand. Kick away 7th Hokage Naruto. Conveniently defeats Suzuki, the reincarnation of Indra. This record simply surpasses its Satsuki Kagaya, who is actually the number one person in the ninja world. But such an awesome person was tortured by Toshi Ikeno with thousand years of death. His body was slurping with water, but it could not escape Indy's recognition. How on earth is this so fat? Finally, Zabuza shouted wildly. This can't go on like this anymore. If this continues, when the chakra is exhausted, there will be no choice but to die. He disarmed the mist shinobi technique. The thick fog has cleared. Zabuza rubbed his crotch, his face contorted in pain and pleasure. Fortunately, his tolerance is amazing. After a while, he stood up as if nothing was wrong. Ikeno Jun couldn't help but marvel, as expected of elite Jonin, he is very strong in all aspects. Kakashi looked at Ikeno Jun with approval. And now, it's my turn to play. If I don't show my hands anymore, I don't know how I will be despised by these brats. Kakashi rushed towards Zabuza bravely. Today I'm going to take your dog head and hang it on the wall. But, don't talk too much. If you are full, it will be difficult to smooth things over. Love can't be made too deep. If it's too deep, it's hard to extricate yourself. Kakashi was trapped by the water prison technique and couldn't extricate himself. Zabuza created clones and planned to kill the imps. Ikeno Jun knew that there would be perfect cooperation from Nizuo next. Then, he gave up his home court to enhance the brother's practical experience. Hineda possesses the Byakugan and also possesses the gentle fist of the Hayaga clan. Advertisement. She waved her pink fist and was about to rush forward, but Chi Yejun was so frightened that he hugged her in his arms. My aunt, you are so arrogant. If you rush over now, you will be no match for Zabuza's punch. Hineda-chan, don't worry, just watch the show today. You will have a chance to practice in the future. Finished. He casually glanced at the woods in the distance. A masked man stands leaning against a tree, looking here from a distance. Everything that happens next is the same as the original plot. Naruto and Suzuki used a series of tactics and cooperation to successfully rescue Kakashi. Kakashi, who has Sherry Non, gains the advantage. He and Zabuza form seals at the same time, their hands flying. It's like they're competing to see whose hand speed is faster. Water style. Water dragon bomb technique. 
After copying the technique of being unable to drown, Kakashi successfully copied the water style. Great Falls Technique The raging water roared, and the waves rippled more than 30 meters high, the momentum was huge and thousands of horses galloped. Being hit by this technique will definitely hurt more than being shot by a high-pressure water gun. Several children almost peed in fear. This is also the most shocking ninjutsu that Chi Yejan has seen since time travel. Because he was two seconds faster than Zabuza, Kakashi took the opportunity. If we don't fight anymore, our defeat is certain. Whether it's movements, eyes, or ninjutsu, Sherinan is all captivating. In the end, he was hit hard and Kakashi won. Hineda was stunned by a series of gorgeous ninjutsu. I was even more amazed at the cooperation between Suzuki and Naruto using Fuma Shuriken's shadow clone. She sighed softly and murmured. We are all in the same class, why am I useless at all? Actually Hineda is not bad, it's just that she hasn't shown her fighting power in the early stages. If the Hokage world abilities are divided, they can be roughly divided into Commoner, Ninja, Secret Technique, Blood Successor Limit, Jinchuriki, Guaibi. Let's take a look at the configuration of Class 7. Advertisement. Invincible, Chi Yejan. Brainwashing, Naruto. Pretending to be cool, Suzuki. And Heitake Kakashi who leads the team. Although there is a huge shortage of mana in the early stage, in the later stage, Rakuri can be played casually and Mangekyo can be used casually. This time the blue hanging is too obvious. So, even if Hineda has a Bakugan, it is not surprising that she is in the bad team and her performance is relatively weak. Chi Yejan comforted her softly. Who says you are useless? Your reconnaissance plays an important role in the team. Hineda smiled and nodded, her face as red as a little apple. However, he could feel that Hineda was still a little disappointed inside. Stop thinking so wildly. I'll give you a small gift later. What gift? Hineda asked, blinking her big eyes. You'll know then. Afterwards, Chi Yejan fell into deep thought. Soon Bai will appear. He would deliberately let Zabuza fake his death and then take the body away. With his current strength, it would be easy to defeat the two of them while the iron is hot. But, considering the mission conditions, if it was to be accomplished, Zabuza would definitely have to fight again. Now that Kakashi has made him look like this, he won't be able to do it unless he takes a week to recuperate. Chi Yejan also wants to rest for a few days. Just when Kakashi was thinking about what to do with Zabuza. Swish swish. Three Senban shot from the tree and hit Zabuza directly on the neck. Zabuza died immediately. Shiro appears wearing a mask. The male rabbit's feet are confused and the female rabbit's eyes are blurry. If he hadn't known his true gender, Chi Jun would have thought of him as a girl. Bai first thanked him. Advertisement. Then he told everyone that he was missed Shinobi's pursuit of the troops. There are corpses with secrets to deal with. Blah blah blah. Fooling, you continue to lie. Seeing Shiro's performance, Chi Yejan felt very disdainful. However, since he still wanted to spend two days in the land of waves, he did not expose the lie. Then Bai squatted down. Wanting to take Zabuza's corpse away, Chi Yejun suddenly joked. We've finished our hard work, and you're here to cut leaks? Are you going to take away the body with just a thank you? This is so insincere. Bai was stunned. I don't quite understand what sincerity means. Let me tell you straight, our work as ninja officers is not for nothing. How much money do you plan to pay to collect the corpses? Everyone is stupid. Bai is indeed a kind-hearted person. After reacting, he immediately blushed and groped around on his body for a long time. Then a big curse was thrown in. Naruto ran forward and opened it. What the hell? A total of 100,000 tails of notes. He counted on his fingers, a bowl of ramen is 60 tails, so you can buy it for 100,000 tails, more than 160 bowls. Suzuki glanced at him. It's more than 1,600 bowls, idiot. Although Chia Jun is not short of money, it does not mean that others are not short of money. He didn't want to send money directly to the Holy Mother. So, take this opportunity to make some extra money and share it with everyone. Then, can I leave? The kind-hearted Zayobai asked. Chi Yejun nodded. Naruto said happily, Haha, it's finally over. I'm just waiting for the bridge to be repaired. I really want to go back and see little Sakura soon. Look at your worthless look. But Chi Jun understands that it is far from over. Advertisement. Chapter 42 The Girl in the Forest. Advertisement. The setting sun dissipates and the moon shines over the sky. The fishing village is warm and peaceful at night. Li Wanji's home. There is a big family nameplate hanging on the wall of the living room, day. Sister Li Wanji's real surname is R.I. Under the name tag are several portraits, all of which are of Li Wanji's deceased relatives. Li Wanji introduced them one by one with a sad expression. This is my father, in person. This is my mother, Bulet in Luo. Chi Yejun looked at the other two pictures and felt they looked familiar. Oh, these are my two sisters. They were killed by Kado lackeys. One was named Azaa, the other was named Maria. Chi Yejun suddenly realized. It turned out to be a celebrity in the film and television industry. Dinner time. Lu and Ji brought out seafood dishes. Toshi Chino also helped with the cooking and made a dish of crest tuna noodles. Hineda picked up the noodles, fish along with them, and took a satisfying sip, her whole body filled with joy. Junjun, what are you doing tonight? Tianjong, I have to practice tonight. Junjun and Tianjong are the names they agreed on. After meal, the two of them hugged each other and held them high, while the sugar was sprinkled on them, making people look like their ants were laughing till they ate it. Naruto and Suzuki said in unison, Hitui, that's enough for you too. And Kakashi was lying on the bed, his eyes blank. I didn't expect that the first mission would be so difficult. A level traitorous ninja. It seems I'm quite unlucky. Kakashi laughed at himself. He was very angry when he thought about today's battle, especially the moment when he was controlled by the water prison technique. The more I think about it, the more frustrated I become. Just get out of bed and leave the house to find an outlet. And Chi Yejun has not practiced physical skills these days because he was in a hurry. Advertisement. It's quiet at night. He jumped on the roof, looked at the sea in the dark night, and planned to practice. Sudden, under the moonlight, a black shadow ran towards the jungle ahead. Three or two rose and fell, and the shadows fell into the darkness. No, could it be the killer of the Kato group? Chi Yejun immediately jumped down to catch up. Five minutes later. He quietly stood on the top of the tree, and the person below was the black shadow just now. It turned out to be Kakashi. He found an outlet. I saw him putting his hands in his pockets, placing a photo he had just taken out in front of him, and talking to himself. Stupid rabbit, are you okay over there? 
Stupid rabbit. I took class 7 on a high level mission for the first time today, and I lost all my dignity. Stupid rabbit. Thank you for your eyes. It's great to use. I copied two more water styles today. Stupid rabbit. Why do you think that boy Ikono Jun is so awesome? Stupid rabbit. Chi Yejun was stunned when he heard this. Why is your mind filled with gay friends? Where's Lin? Is the cute Lin worthless in front of Obito? Besides, where did you put Emperor Guy? Thinking of Nohara Rin voluntarily dying under Kakashi's rakery, Ikono Jun felt sad. If I have the awesome resurrection technique in the future, I will definitely resurrect Nohara Lin. After a while, Kakashi left, feeling much happier. Chi Yejun also planned to get off the tree. Sudden, the system jumps out. Posted an interesting mission. Ding. Post a task check-in. Please perform a hokage play for the residents, with at least two historical figures appearing, for five days. Haha, <laughs> advertisement. Is this because we are tired from fighting and want to change our lives? Chi Yejun froze on the tree. Historical figure? Two people? Chi Yejun thought for a moment and suddenly had an idea. Yes, it must be them too. As for the actor, Junji also has a candidate. After stretching the waist, start tonight's practice. Climbing trees, treading water, squatting and jumping with weights. Later, he added another iron crotch skill. If the enemy's eggs are broken in the future, the important task of revitalizing the Chi clan will be completely lost. Until sleepiness struck, he leaned against the tree trunk and fell asleep peacefully. Under the moonlight, a delicate figure walked to Chi Yejun with gentle steps. She nudged him. Jun Jun, you will catch a cold. Jun Jun. Well, let's forget it. After hesitating for a moment, he turned back to the house and got a blanket. Chi Yejun narrowed his eyes slightly and closed them again. Midnight comes. Chi Yejun opened his eyes and turned his head to look. Hinata was sleeping soundly in his arms, their hands held tightly. It was the first time for Chi Yejun to be so close and intimate with her, with a hint of shyness on his face. Hinata murmured and asked, Why should Zebiza become a rebel nin? When it comes to rebellious ninjas, several figures come to mind in Chi Yejun's mind. Master Madara who was forced. The ferret god who endures humiliation. The inhumane snake ant. Obito, who hates for love. Advertisement. The impulsive and violent Kisame. The distressing scorpion. But, the funniest one is Diadera. If this guy hadn't become a traitorous nin, Iwegaku or fourth Sachikage would definitely be him. You can sit in the office and play with black clay, but you have to go to the Akatsuki organization to play with clay. Morning comes. The forest is shrouded in mist, and the fishing village is looming in the clouds. A girl in a white dress came to the grass. She lowered her head to pick herbs. It seemed that someone in the family was sick. The girl is as beautiful as a fairy, pure and pure. In fact, she is a cute girl. The bird flapped its wings and landed on his shoulder. He smiles and teases the birds. Then I found someone sleeping peacefully under a tree not far away. It seems like two people. They were wrapped in a blanket, cheek to cheek, intimate. The young man is extremely handsome, with charming dimples on his face. Next to him curled up a black-haired girl. Quiet and cute, with a shy expression and a faint smile on her pink mouth. Isn't this the guy who blackmailed me for money yesterday? Seeing the forehead protector on Chi Yejun's arm, his pupils suddenly shrank. Reminds me of the group of ninjas who fought Zabuza. Suddenly, murderous aura surged out. Mr. Zabuza was seriously injured by them. The girl in white is none other than Bai, a descendant of the Snow Clan and a follower of Zabuza. He has the ice release blood succession limit. The murderous aura alarmed the birds, which flapped their wings and flew into the forest. As long as we kill them, Mr. Zabuza's operations will go much smoother. He quietly approached the sleeping two people and took out two daggers from his pocket. The blade is close to the neck. Advertisement. Chapter 43, Rich Miss Haiga. Advertisement. The dagger glowed with cold light? With just a little bit of force, you can easily kill the person in front of you. Only, there's a smell of cat poop coming from somewhere. Why? By side, his murderous aura slowly disappearing. He put the dagger back and pushed the two of them. Hey, the dew in the morning is cold, you may get cold. Chi Yejun woke up quietly, looked at the beautiful face in front of him, rubbed his sleepy eyes and asked, Are you? Bai laughed. I'm a little sister, my name is Hashimoto. Ba, you still have food. Chi Yejun said with disdain in his heart. But he quickly smiled and asked, By the way, this big eagle, little sister, why are you in the forest at dawn? Bai laughed and pointed at the basket. I'm here to collect some herbs to stop bleeding and heal injuries. At this time, Hinata also woke up quietly and rubbed her sleepy eyes. Um, where is this? Tianjong, are you awake? Chi Yejun showed a doting smile. Hinata soon noticed that there was another person next to her, and her face turned red. She threw herself into Chi Yejun's arms like a baby bird returning to its nest, and buried her head deeply in it. Haha, <laughs> little ostrich. Chi Yejun laughed. Bai Ye smiled and said, What a lovely girl. Hearing her eldest sister praising herself, Hinata stuck her head out and the blush on her face became even thicker. Advertisement. By the way, you must be ninjas, right? Bai pointed at the forehead protector. Ikono Jun smiled and said, Yes, we are Kanaha village ninjas. Wow, that sounds awesome. Toshiba Ikono, my strength is still very weak, so I can only do A-level tasks. Then he looked at Hinata with deep eyes. But I will become stronger and protect the people I cherish most from now on. The person you cherish the most? Are you, talking about me? Hinata was stunned. Yes, Jun Jun. Sweet sauce. The dog food was all over his face. He was almost suffocated and hurriedly got up and left. We'll see each other again. Actually, Chi Yejun woke up as early as Bai approached them. The invisible Xiao Hei has been silently summoned by him. If Bai really wanted to take action, Xiao Hei's sharp claws would stab him in the heart without hesitation. Toshi Khan, is he the masked man yesterday? Moreover, this man secretly rescued Zabuza, right? Hinata exposed her head and snuggled into Ikono Jun's arm. I wipe it? She actually discovered it too? The white eyes are really awesome. Turn out to be. Just now Hinata used her Byakugan to explore the girl's chakra. That feeling is exactly the same as the masked person yesterday. And Hinata's insight is very high. Chi Yejun nodded. He had every chance to take action just now, but he still gave up. Hinata murmured, maybe he's not a bad person. Advertisement. That person made me feel crystal clear and spotless, but why did he follow Zabiza? Chi Yejun laughed in his heart, if you don't kill the eagle, you will be so charming. Then, he said thoughtfully, 
In fact, everyone will fight for what they care about most. Romanji works hard to resist Kardo, Kakashi Sensei works hard to protect us, Suzuki works hard to revive the family, Naruto works hard to become a Hokage, and I work hard to build work hard for the palace. Palace? What palace? Hineda asked curiously. Ahem, it's nothing. At this time, Chi Yejun glanced inadvertently. Hineda is not fully developed yet. He couldn't imagine. The huge weight that will be born in the future. The sun gradually rises. The fog lifts, the birds wake up, and the forest becomes lively. Two little people clinging to each other. It feels so good to be in love. Chi Yejun was filled with sweetness. Hineda suddenly remembered something. He took out a few papers from his pocket and handed them to him. Chi Yejun took it in confusion. What the hell? One, two, three. Ten bills worth ten thousand tails. Hineda, what are you doing? Chi Yejun was stunned. Junjun, you are too thin. You need to improve your nutrition and buy some delicious food. Stop working hard to make money by opening a casino. The voiceover of her words was, Miss, I will support you. I wipe it, as expected of the Haiga family. This action is generous. Although Chi Yejun is rich, he does not show off his wealth too much, let alone take out a lot of money. After all, there is a person named Kakuzu in this world. Advertisement. Of course Chi Yejun would not ask for her money. Even if I have no money, I won't ask for it. He won't be a soft boiler. Seeing Aikano Jun's refusal, Hineda could only take it back. But in her eyes, Chi Yejun is more masculine. At this moment, a shout came from the distance, it's time for breakfast. The two of them got up and ran to the village holding hands. And the seaside at this moment. The sun rises in the east and the waves roll. Suzuki was sweating profusely. Last night, he found Chi Yejun practicing in the forest. So he also came to the beach and practiced for most of the night. Now, tiredness hits, but still perseverance. There are traces of being beaten on the palm trees on the beach. Some were even burnt. Suzuki exhausted his physical strength and practiced all Taijutsu and Ninjutsu. He raised his trembling arms and looked toward the rising sun. The entire eye pupils turned blood red. I will definitely become strong, strong enough to make those who destroyed the Uchiha clan pay a heavy price, strong enough that that man will also look up to me. At this moment, Naruto was still lying on the bed. Chi Yejun slapped his butt. Get up and have breakfast quickly, eh? Where's Suzuki? Naruto looked at the empty bed across from him and shook his head. Chi Yejun suddenly remembered the funny task. After Naruto heard this, he was overjoyed. Let me perform? Great. It's settled, it has to be me, Uzumaki Naruto. No one else is allowed. Chi Yejun smiled and nodded. Advertisement. Chapter 44 Gentle Fist Instructions. Advertisement. In front of the dining table, Sister Luenji made delicious breakfast. Suzuki also came back from the beach tired. Naruto smiled and shouted, The sky is cloudy, the rain is falling, and the two pillars are limping back. Kakashi's curved eyebrows were like crescent moons, and the corners of his eyes twitched as he looked at Aikano Jun and Hineda and gave a Kazuki smile. Ahem. Our mission is to protect the construction of the bridge. How can we protect it when you are all exhausted? What a headache. But let's talk about it. Kakashi still appreciates their diligence. Chi Jun also thinks. Genius is more than just gifts and gifts. It's more hard work and sweat. If you have a great system but sit back and wait for death, you are just a soulless showman at best. Okay, everyone, hurry up and eat, otherwise it will get cold. Romanji smiled sweetly and sat down next to Kakashi. After getting along for a long time, I found that although this sister is a bit promiscuous, she is a very nice person. Enthusiastic and cheerful, he can work in the hall or in the kitchen. The members of Team 7 also like her more and more. Later, when Kanaha Village was revealed, she actually went to help. Aikano Jun also secretly promised, when I have impure world reincarnation, I will definitely resurrect your two sisters. Everyone devoured breakfast. Only Hineda is relatively reserved. In fact, only Chi Yejun knows her terrifying appetite. After meal, everyone came to the bridge protection engineering team. Two days passed like this, but everything is peaceful. Zabuza and Kato's lackeys didn't show up either. Advertisement. In the evening of the third day, in the forest, Aikano Shun and Hineda are sparring, one attacking, and the other defensive. Hineda's attacks were gentle and soft, but every attack is carried with fierce chakra, and there is strength in the softness. Chi Yejun pointed out patiently. Watch your arms and don't swing them too much. Aim at me and use by any eye, be a cookin to find the weakness. Kakashi looked at this scene from a distance, his dead eyes twitching. He froze in place. What's the situation? I am not wrong, right? Jun Aikano actually directs Hineda gentle fist. He does not deny that the little guy is powerful in physical skills, but gentle fist is a physical skill inherited from the Hayaga family. This is also a bit nonsense. Aikano Jun knows that Hineda is a bit weak now, and soon Shinin will face Hayaga Niji during the assessment. He wants Hineda to grow up quickly? Okay, let's stop practicing here today. Aikano Jun gently poked Hineda's forehead, which was very affectionate. Hineda exhaled and wiped away the sweat. Only then did the two discover Kakashi. At this time, Suzuki and Naruto also ran over. Zayajan, when are we going to rehearse? Naruto asked loudly. Rehearsal. Kakashi was puzzled. Chi Yejun said with a smile, it will be kept secret for now. Later, Kakashi said approvingly, yes, everyone is becoming more and more diligent. Suzuki suddenly said, we can't expect lazy teachers to lead us in practice, right? Advertisement. Naruto also echoed, yes, Kakashi sensei reads comics every day. Is it good? Let me read it. Several black lines appeared on Kakashi's forehead. This, he he. Kakashi scratched his head in embarrassment and put away intimate school. It seems that I will help you practice more often. Aikano Jun deliberately smiled and asked, then Mr. Kakashi, what do you practice? Ahem, climb a tree. Yes. Tread water. Yes. Climb the cliff. Yes. Okay, let's have dinner first. Kakashi was extremely embarrassed and left first. At the dinner table, Chi Yejun brought up the matter of performing. Li Wanji couldn't ask for more. There are no entertainment activities in the small fishing village on weekdays. After dinner, everyone turns off the lights and goes to bed. This also leads to more and more children being born. The next day, Chi Yejun did not go to the bridge, but prepared for the evening performance. He found a huge canvas and paint brushes from space. He then cast multiple shadow clone, creating a sixth method of use, group painting. Haha, <laughs> find out the four uses of multiple shadow clone, and you can complete the mission and get rewards. Evening, 
In front of the beach at the seaside, the residents of the fishing village gathered together, everyone was in high spirits and beaming with joy. This is my first time watching a show. The stage background has been set up. Advertisement. The picture is magnificent. It depicts the bustling Kanaha village. Under the curtain, it is decorated as a hokage office. Li Wanji waved her hand, and the crowd became quiet. Please enjoy the historical play Conversations of the Great Men presented by the Kanaha Village Hanging Art Troupe. Later, he made his voiceover sounded. At the beginning, first Hokage Senju Hashirama and, and Uchiha Madara co-founded Kanaha Village. On this day, he, they had an intimate conversation in the Hokage building. Please enjoy the performance of Aiken Oshun and Azumaki Naruto. Thunderous applause broke out below. The script was carefully reviewed by Kakashi, and Suzuki also made revisions. After all, Madara is the former leader of the Uchiha clan. Hashirama is played by Toshi Aikano, and Madara is played by Naruto. The previous performance was flesh and blood and deeply touching. But as they acted, the two of them broke away from the script and acted on the spot. Senjo Hashirama, Madara, why do you do this to me? Achiha Madara, what have I done to you? Senjo Hashirama, not only do you not help me, you always try to undermine me. Achiha Madara, what do you want? Senju Hashirama, you help me and I will help you. If you don't help me, I will help you. If I help you and you still scold me, then I will stab you. Achiha Madara, Hitui, fart you. The veins on Kakashi's face were exposed when he heard this. The performance was hurriedly suspended. Suzuki rolled his eyes, two huge idiots. He made his eyes sparkled. Junjun is so funny. There was a roar of laughter below. Although it was a prank, the atmosphere reached a climax. The system also jumped out at this moment. The latest reward appears. Advertisement. Chapter 45, Burn It, White Eyes. Advertisement. Funny tasks, the rewards are even funnier. Ding. Congratulations to host for completing the performance check-in and rewarded with the reverse palace technique. WOC, reverse palace technique? This is Naruto's unique ninjutsu. Aikano Jun still remembers the shock when he watched episode 683. The battle is raging. The style of painting suddenly changed. 521 seconds. Naruto a reverse palace technique. A group of handsome men suddenly appeared. Little Sakura immediately turned into a pig-like face and her nose was bleeding. The extremely cute Atsutsuki Kagaya also didn't react for a while. No matter how awesome you are, you will still become a nymphomaniac. Then he was punched away by Naruto. This does not mean that Kagaya is not powerful, it can only mean that she was completely confused at the time. After all, all the handsome boys are gathered together. There seems to be Uchiha Aizuna, Yashimaru, Three Tails Jinchuriki Yagura, Six Tails Jinchuriki Bubble, Yakushi Kabuto, Yugo, Sai. The remaining Aikano Jun could not recognize them either. He was thinking now, who should I choose for future surgeries? Third generation, Danzo, Uncle Snake, Kankuro, Suchikage, Kakuzo, Kisame. Time flies. A few days passed in the blink of an eye. Hinata's gentle fist has made rapid progress, which makes Toshi Aikano overjoyed. The construction of the bridge also went smoothly. Occasionally, a few Kato lackeys would come and cause trouble. This morning, Hinata followed Romanji to the bridge. The road was full of ragged residents of the Land of Waves. The people are in dire straits and are impoverished. Seeing those sallow and skinny children, the kind-hearted Hinata became furious towards Cardo. Sudden, four Kato lackeys came running from the other end of the bridge. One of them kicked the woman holding her child over. Hinata was completely angry. Before Suzuki and the others could take action, she cast gentle fist. This set of punches can. Advertisement. High-end atmosphere and class. Awesome explosive glass. One person's internal organs were ruptured on the spot. His meridians were completely severed, and he vomited blood and died. The remaining three people also had their hands and feet disabled. Everyone was stunned. Naruto was so shocked that his head was filled with smoke, and he shouted loudly, No way, is this still Haiga Hinata? Sister Wanji also covered her mouth. In her eyes, this weak girl is too shy. How could she kill someone? Only Aikano Jun understands, some people seem to have no temper, but once they explode, you are definitely not someone you can afford. Burn it, white eyes, this is your ninja way? Hinata was also stunned when she saw the body on the ground. She looked at her hands tremblingly, I, I killed someone. Chi Yejun hugged her and comforted. It doesn't matter, this is the path you must take. The fourth time in the future, you will encounter something more tragic than this in the future. That's right. Compared to Suzuki and the others, Hinata is weaker. But she is a genin with Byakugan and gentle fist after all. It's more than enough to deal with local ruffians, and the elegant gentle fist makes those scum unable to touch her. This is completely Hinata's unilateral abuse. Dinner time. Everyone was praising her. Naruto, Hinata, you are so powerful, you can beat four of them with one. Kakashi, this is the purpose of training. Hinata, you are making the fastest progress. Suzuki nodded. Yeah, Chijun, my sweet sauce is great. Luenji, this is the stewed papaya and snow clam that my sister specially made for you. Chi Yejun suddenly remembered a previous case. A 20-year-old boy, who drank papaya stewed with snow clams for a long time, caused his breasts to enlarge like a woman. Hinata can't make up for it anymore. And Hinata at this moment. Her cheeks were flushed, and her fingers subconsciously stirred the corners of her clothes. This is the first time I heard so many people praise her. It would be great if, father could do the same. Just then, someone knocked on the door. Advertisement. Tsunami. The daughter of the master bridge builder Dasna. She walked in with a plate of seafood sushi. Has the master been discharged from the hospital? Luenji asked. Tsunami nodded and said, I left a week ago, but I left the village. Left? Where did you go? Li Wanji was very surprised. He didn't say this. After meal, the more Chi Yejun thought about it, the more something was wrong. So I ran to the kitchen and asked. After listening to Li Wanji's description, I added my own analysis. Chi Yejun concluded. The old man also went to Kanaha village to find ninjas. Turn out to be. Before Romanji went to Kanaha village, Tatsuna had just been hospitalized. She went to the ward to report that she was going to Kanaha village. But the old man was drunk at the time and didn't really listen at all, so he nodded casually. After he was discharged from the hospital, he immediately rushed to Kanaha village. He didn't even notice that Romanji was not in the village. And, they took two paths and got sidetracked. 
What did you say? Chief Dejuna also went to Kanaha village, but you have already accepted the mission. He won't waste money again, right? Chi Yejun smiled and shook his head. Your communication is not good enough, but don't worry, the mission release office has registered, and no one will be sent here again. Li Wanji felt relieved. Kakashi, who came into poor tea, said in his heart, not necessarily. Leave the kitchen. Aikano Jun took out a small gift and gave it to Hineda. Tianjong, I made this with my own hands these days, as an encouragement and praise to you. Hineda opens it and takes a look. It's a lovely outfit. Rabbit hat, pink color, with a small tail on the back. Wait until she changes into it. Dang dang dang, the super invincible two-dimensional cute bunny girl appears. This shocked everyone. Kawaii. Naruto clamored for a set to advertisement. I want your sister. After the fun, Kakashi, who was doing push UPS with one finger, said. Kato will not give up. Everyone needs to be more vigilant these days. And Chi Yejun knows. Zabuza will appear again soon. Early morning. Chi Yejun got up and shushed. Sudden, a black shadow flashed out of Kakashi's room. Take a closer look. I wipe it. Sister Nichiri Manji. What's the situation? Mr. Kakashi, where is the moral integrity you promised me? What about your persistence? Oh, oh. Guy is still waiting for you. The next day, after breakfast, everyone came to the magnificent bridge. Along the way, Toshi Ikono looked at Kakashi and kept making Kaz laughs. Kakashi laughed so hard that his hair stood on end. Kakashi Sensei, congratulations. Kakashi was completely confused. What does it mean? Actually, Li Wanji suffered from sleepwalking last night. By the bridge. Everyone, it will be completed in about 10 days. Seeing Kakashi and others, Romanji vowed. Before that, I would like to trouble you all to continue to protect us. Don't worry. Kakashi smiled. Just saying. The air suddenly became slightly cooler. A slight mist rose. Kakashi soon felt a murderous aura. There's something wrong with this mist. You guys protect the builders. The four of them stood in formation and guarded the surroundings. Advertisement. Chapter 46, Ice Escape Secret Technique. Magic Mirror Ice Crystal. Advertisement. In the mist. Hineda opened her Byakugan, feeling the flow of chakra. Somebody is coming. Naruto and Suzuki took out their kunao and fired. Secret Technique. Chien Shashui Xiang. A soft voice sounded. Immediately, the sea water turned into thousands of sticks and sped towards Chi Yejun and the others. Thousands of books glow with cold light, thousands of them, Kanaha Thunder Dragon. The electrically charged blue tornado roared and swept away most of the water Senban. Shuriken Shadow Clone. Countless shurikens smashed the remaining thousand books into pieces and turned into rain. Soon, Bai walked out of the fog, his mask scratched. He took off his mask. Standard black long straight hair? Wow, so cute. Cuter than little Sakura. Naruto said immediately. Suzuki was also stunned. Afterwards, several people started discussing. Finally, Chi Yejun said firmly, he is a man. Naruto and Suzuki were shocked. But soon, the arrogant man in suspenders appeared again. Kakashi, we meet again. Zabuza, we haven't seen each other for a few days, why are you acting like this? The two of them really didn't see each other at the first sight, as if they had been separated for three autumns. Another verbal spat, and the fight started. On the other side is the battlefield for students. Advertisement. Four against one. Seems a little unfair, but Bai didn't panic at all. He smiled charmingly and said with a smile. I only want the sister in front of you, please don't stop me. Otherwise I will kill everyone according to Mr. Zabuza's order. The words were cold and murderous, but it is gentle and sweet, with a tender heart and weak bones. Then his steps were like a shadow and he attacked by. Bai yes figure flashed and he fought decisively. Naruto and Suzuki wanted to help, but were stopped by Aikinoshan. Give her a chance. The two of them were stunned, what about our chances? Oh my god, didn't you two show off your Fuma Shuriken enough that day? Just stay there. Between words. White eyes, open. Hineda grabs Shiro's wrist. Intended to block the flow of the opponent's chakra. Bai dodged perfectly. However, compared to Bai Lai, Hineda still lacks practical experience. Soon I felt overwhelmed. Suzuki and Naruto then attacked. Bai was stunned. The one with the baton. Chi Yejun was left aside, doing nothing. These days, the teenagers were all suffocated. After practicing for several weeks, it was also an opportunity to test the results. Chi Jun looked at the battlefield of adult men again. Advertisement. Zabuza let out another thick white fart. Kakashi was smoked inside. Aikano Jun did not release Shadow Butterfly Mothra to help. Because he knows. The next tactic is quite classic. If he helps himself, he will completely deprive Kakashi of his sense of accomplishment. Later, he will take out the photo and read the words Dragon Bunny again. He deliberately lets Zabuza slash him. Bloodline remains on the decapitating broadsword. But this is his plan. Chasing teeth technique. He used summoning combined with earth style to summon a bunch of dogs. The dogs smelled the location of the blood, emerged from the soil and suppressed Zabuza. Look at the young man again. The fight was also very intense. The stream of light shines silently in the mist. There was a crisp sound of impact. All the thousand books were knocked to the ground and turned into a puddle of water. Naruto and Suzuki were the main attackers, with Hineda assisting with a blank stare. With a field of view close to 360 degrees, any sneak attacks and hidden weapons would be in vain. Chi Yejun is very satisfied with the cooperation of the three people. It seems that Kanban can't cause any harm to you. Chi Yejun finally waited for this moment. The emergence of classic secrets. Ice escape secret technique. Magic mirror ice crystal. This uses bloodline to condense moisture in the air, forming ice mirrors that surround the enemy. The caster can move freely in the ice mirror and attack the opponent. Crackling. The sound of water condensing into ice is ethereal and crisp. Advertisement. I spread upward around the three of them. In an instant, it turned into a dozen ice crystal magic mirrors. Suzuki, come out. Due to mission regulations, Suzuki must be prevented from getting hurt. In the original work, Suzuki was seriously injured by the magic mirror ice crystal. When I was watching anime, I felt extremely frustrated. Several broken mirrors tortured Naruto Suzuki until he was miserable. Xiaohei, come on. Xiaohei rushed forward and dragged Suzuki out. Fortunately, the magic mirror has just closed at this moment. One step too late and it will be too late. Suzuki struggled out of nowhere, but he didn't know what was pulling him. Aikinoshan brings together a massive amount of chakra in his fist, planning to use strange force impact. I can break through the earth flow wall, but I can't break your mirrors. Strange power. After a roar, Chi Yejun rushed forward. Result? 
He was bounced back hard by the magic mirror. If the bone god armor hadn't appeared automatically, his head would have been smashed. Is it so hard? No matter how powerful the monster is, it can't be broken through. No wonder Suzuki lost so miserably. Yes, earth flow wall. An idea suddenly struck him. Then an improved homemade ninjutsu appears. This technique can be described as quite unfair. And then, when Chi Yejun saw several people rushing towards him, he was stunned. Advertisement. Chapter 47, Self-Created Ninjutsu That Is Far Superior to Doria by Advertisement. In the mist, an icy air filled the air. Naruto and Hinata were trapped in the ice mirror. And Chi Yejun's strange strength can't even break the ice mirror. By the way, what will happen if more chakra is injected into the earth current wall? Then, new improved ninjutsu appears. The majestic chakra condenses in the hands. Chi Yejun squatted down and slapped the ground suddenly. Earth style. King earth flow wall. Boom. There was a loud roar. A solid earth barrier rises from beneath the mirror. The earth is shaken. The dirt rolls. Suzuki and the others were all shaken and fell to the ground. Kakashi and Zabuza also stopped fighting and looked at each other in surprise. See, a large amount of soil rose from the ground like a flood. Then quickly gather, condense, shape and stabilize. The result is a giant dirt platform. Five or six meters high, it stands majestically, as big as several rostrums. The ice crystal mirror is just above the platform. Crash. As the platform rose, all the mirrors shattered and turned into water stains. Haha, ha, it worked. It's really awesome to sterilize heifers. Chi Yejun was very excited. Bai Kei fell down on the platform, completely stunned. Tuliabai is a wall, and King Tuliabai is a square platform. The scales vary greatly. Suzuki is saved, one mission objective completed. In the original novel, Suzuki activates the Sherry non-double Megatama in his right eye during this battle. However, Chi Yejun has already helped him open it in advance, etc. And Naruto's power of nine tails. Advertisement. The ice crystal mirror was shattered and Suzuki escaped serious injury. How can Naruto activate the power of nine tails? Chi Yejun was so excited that he forgot about another task. However, this does not trouble him. Soon he thought of a way. Right now, a sweet cry sounded. Chi no Toshikan. Huh? It seems to be Ino's voice. Why is she here? Turn around and look. On the other side of the bridge, several people came running. The leader is none other than Mr. Sarutobi Asuma. Followed by Yamanaka Ino, Nara Shikamaru, and Akimichi Koji from class 10. There are also Inuzuka Kiba and Abara Meishino who were temporarily assigned to class 10. All the top 10 are here except little Sakura who is in the hospital? What's the situation? Why are they here? Taking a closer look, Master Craftsman Tatsuna is also following behind. Phew. Could it be that third generation has taken on the mission of the Land of Waves again? Afterwards, Naruto shouted angrily, the old man is really obsessed with money. As long as he is given money, he will accept it, even if it is a repeated task. Kakashi slapped his head and said, what nonsense are you telling the truth? Now, the gathering of Xiaoqiang was particularly cordial. By the way, your house was almost ransacked? Fortunately, Hokage, Grandpa Mito, and Grandma Kohara came over. Ye accepted the dog food handed over by Ikono Jun. This melatonin is not given away for free. Chi Yejun was shocked. Why? Shikamaru said lazily, they said they were opening a children's casino. Who ransacked the house? Chi Yejun actually has the answer in his heart. Koji was eating potato chips and said in a loud voice, a group of men in black wearing strange masks. Hehe, he, sure enough, it's Danzo, it's really three days without a roof over my head. Seek death? Advertisement. Shino played with the little ants and added, there was a white-haired uncle who was very brave. He kicked several people away with his kick. Chi Yejun was stunned and very excited. It's him, it seems that the two of them are very destined. Right now, Asuma Sensei reacted. Class 10, charge. Take down Zabuza and divide the reward. Come to village one today to find out. What? Class 7 has already taken over the mission? And the fight has already begun? Then if we have traveled hard for a week, wouldn't it be like trying to draw water from a bamboo basket in vain? Dad, really, why did you let me take on this mission? Your father loves you and wants you to enjoy the benefits and get paid. So he took the five children and ran wildly. Fine. Kakashi is letting the dog out. The battle is not over yet. But, before he could wait, Class 10 ran forward. Kakashi's rakery is already crackling? Bai jumped and flew directly off the platform. He happened to stop in front of Zabuza. But Rakuri has been released. Bai was electrocuted to death. Block a fatal blow for Zabuza? Chi Yejun was stunned. He had no intention of letting Shiro die. Even Zabuza would spare his life. If Seven Dragon Ball is memories and Pirates is passion, then Hokage is full of regrets. Now that Junji has traveled through time, he wants to make up for his regrets. Seeing this scene, everyone was stunned. Hinata shed tears silently. Although she had a fierce battle with Shiro Ichiban just now, Hinata likes this kind little sister very much. Ino was also so moved that she hugged Hinata and cried. Chi Yejun couldn't care less about sentimentality at the moment. Because he knows. Advertisement. Cardo will be coming soon with the wandering ninjas. Now, the second task must be solved, let Naruto activate the power of nine tails. Naruto and Suzuki cuddled tightly, gaping at Shiro's body. Chi Yejun has already asked the system. Excessive use of Zindu.joy technique will not cause physical harm. Then, he used it on Naruto. Pleasure technique plus one. Naruto suddenly perked up. Pleasure technique plus two. It's like taking a shot of chicken blood. Pleasure technique plus five. Dancing and dancing, the blood is surging. Pleasure technique plus ten. Naruto did somersaults on the ground and sang the song of Konoha. Pleasure technique plus one hundred. Finally, red chakra gradually emerged, filling the air. Naruto's eyes were blood red, the fox whisker mark on his lips became thicker, his hair became fluffy, and his fangs were exposed in his mouth. Chakra turned into the head of nine tails, looking up to the sky and roaring. H hi ya. Deafening roars resounded over the country of waves. Ding. Congratulations to the host for successfully activating the power of Naruto nine tails. Kakashi's face changed drastically. This amazing amount of chakra, did Naruto break the seal? After observing for a moment, Kakashi wiped his sweat and breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, it's not untied. And Zabuza completely lost his mind because of Haku's death. Poof. Poof. The harsh sound of flesh breaking. Both of his arms were crippled by Kakashi, and his chest was pierced by Kunao. But no matter how painful the wound is, it can't compare to the pain in my heart. No, there's no heartache. He's just a tool. 
At this time, a dark group of people came from a distance. Advertisement. Chapter 48 Go to Hell. Cardo. Advertisement. The leader had his hair permed. He is short and wears sunglasses. The mouth was drooped, and the face looked like shorts. Green leather shoes, green pants, green jacket, green belt, carrying a green stick and wearing a green hat. This person is Kato. He killed the minister of Wave Country. Recruiting wandering ninjas and samurai, formed a new violent sect, swept across the country of waves, and became the hegemon of the country. The sect is called Pornographic Sect. Sure enough, it's just as vulgar and annoying as in the anime. Chi Yejun narrowed his eyes. Kato stepped on Bai's body. Hey, you bastard. Naruto yelled. How could he do this when he was already a corpse? The other Xiaoqiang were also furious, eager to step forward. Chi Yejun stopped. The last task is your own. Kill Cardo, get your stinky feet off. Chi Yejun's eyes were cold and murderous. He pulled off his clothes, his shoulders twitching, and walked slowly towards Cardo. Kato relied on the strength of the crowd. Not only was he not afraid, he squatted down and rubbed his white face with a look of enjoyment on his face. Obscene, pervert, nausea, and faced with this scene, Zabuza, who had lost his arm, did not speak. This made Naruto very angry, he ran forward and hesitated for a while, and the iron-blooded man finally burst into tears. It can be seen that Naruto's mouth is so cool. Zabuza finally admits his feelings to the dialogue. Now, Chi Yejun shouted, Die to Laozi. The bones first penetrated the body and shone with a cold white light in the sunlight. He does a body flicker technique and rushes towards Cardo. Six extremely sharp bone spurs pierced his eyes, throat, chest, abdomen. When the bone spur is pulled out, the blood hole on Cardo's body spurted out black and red blood. Advertisement. Chi Yejun still can't understand his hatred. He slapped Kato who was bleeding. Every time he waved his palm, a burst of blood flew everywhere. Until it turns into a puddle of meat. More than a hundred people behind him were stunned. A deputy commander suddenly shouted, Kill this brat, avenge the sect master. Chi Yejun sneered. To date, there is also an awesome ninjutsu that is not reflected in actual combat. Lightning style. Thunder, I saw Junji releasing countless thunder guns from his mouth, shooting at the enemy group like Gatling. Group AoE, Suzuki and the others were stunned, including Kakashi. At this moment, Chi Yejun turned into a devil. There is only killing in his eyes. A few minutes passed. Corpses littered the fields, and blood stained the bridge red. Hundreds of skeletons suddenly stood up and followed behind Chi Yejun. Proficiency in corpse fusion and skeleton resurrection plus 210, upgraded to advanced level. At this moment, Zabuza was on the verge of death. Kakashi, I think, I want to see that guy's face. He begged Kakashi to bring him to Shiro. Kakashi nodded. He picked him up in a pool of blood and brought him to Bai's body. At this time, snowflakes fell slowly, and everyone was slightly stunned. Will it snow in autumn? Zabuza gasped, it's snowing. Shiro, are you crying? He murmured. Bai, at least let me stay with you in the end. He looked at Bai affectionately, and using his last bit of strength, he raised his useless hand and gently rubbed Bai's cheek. Bai was born in a snowy village. If possible, I would like to go to a place with you. For a long time, Zabuza also closed his eyes. The peach blossoms fell to the ground and turned white, and the world of mortals never touched them again. Kakashi pulled down the blindfold. You will be together forever. He and Asuma each carried a body on their backs and walked towards the village. Advertisement. Chi Yejun suddenly thought of his past life. He watched the episode while working the night shift at the hospital. The beautiful nurse Xiaojo who was watching the movie with him burst into tears and fell into Chi Yejun's arms. After crying, the two secretly went to the deserted duty room. For Zabuza, Chi Yejun doesn't hate it. Some people may think that Zabuza is a cruel and ruthless villain. But in Chi Yejun's heart, he is a darkened hero. As a member of Kirigakur, Zabuza does his best to serve the village. Unfortunately, the village chief is a fool. Actually he is controlled by others, and does many evil things. These include cruel murder tests. Let the kids kill each other right from the ninja school. The reason why Zabuza killed more than a hundred people during his graduation exam was more like a child's protest against such cruel rules. This has also become a nightmare he has been having. Then, he wanted to overthrow tyranny. Let the horrific childhood he experienced never happen again, let Kirigakur no longer be a blood mist, and return to happiness and peace. So, then the assassination of Mizukage was launched. It is definitely not like what some novels say, where Zabuza was so ambitious that he assassinated because he wanted to be a Mizukage, but, ended in failure. He also became a notorious rebel ninja. Here I would like to mention the fourth Mizukage at that time, Tangerine Yagura. He has a baby face and is very kawaii. In fact, he already has his grandson Kagura. Yagura also became the second Three Tails Jinchuriki. But during his reign, he was controlled by Uchiha Obito's illusion. Kirigakur has been isolated from the outside world for a long time, and the environment is very scary, known as the Blood Mist Lane. Fortunately, after Yagura's death, big-bodied beauty Terumi Mei became fifth Mizukage. Kirigakur was finally no longer controlled by Sherinan and gradually returned to normal. Tragedies like Zabuza will never happen again. The reason why Zabuza was hired was, he needed money, he needs to earn a living and money to make a comeback and overthrow the tyranny again. Of course, by continuing to commit murder, Zabuza saw the darkness of the world and eventually turned completely dark. This also became what Zabuza looked like when we first saw him. Let's look at Bai again. At that time Kirigakur had been killing descendants who had blood inheritance limits. Bai, who had the ice escape blood inheritance, had his family destroyed. Advertisement. He was eventually taken in by Zabuza. This also shows that Zabuza has a softness in his heart and is not so ruthless. He kept talking about using Bai as a tool. In fact, he loves Bai in his heart, so Bai is so devoted to him. Haku and Zabuza became one of the Hokage's best partners. Unfortunately, both of them died at the hands of Team 7. Zabuza is a landmark figure. Completely opened up Junshi's fascination with the world of Hokage. There are not only funny, passionate, and complex villains here, but also a huge worldview revealed from this villain. That's it. The mission in the Land of Waves is over. Dinner time. The children devoured it. Get out of the sad atmosphere. Class 10 sincerely admires the achievements of Class 7. Sarutobi Asuma couldn't help but ask, Kakashi, how did you do it? Hey hey. After Kaz smiled, Kakashi looked at Class 7. Baby, tell them the secret of success. Suzuki, hold on. Naruto, shameless. Chi Yejun, it's shameless to persist. Hineda, understand the applause. Snap, snap, snap. 
Applause. Night. Chi Yejun was lying on the bed. The mood is completely out of the melee. By the way, three tasks completed. Sign in. He called the system and completed the sign-in. What surprised him was, sign-in this time. They turned out to be two very powerful ninjutsu, although it was not an attack type, it made Chi Yejun roll on the bed excitedly. He came to the window and faced the direction of Kanaha village under the moonlight. Pervy sage, even if you die a thousand times from now on, I can save you a thousand times. Then, quietly left the house. In the hazy night, Aikano Shun walked towards Haku and Zabuza's graves. Advertisement. Chapter 49 Obtaining Two Plug-in Ninjutsu. Advertisement. The night is quiet. In the forest outside the fishing village, a faint silver light shone on the two earthen bags. Haku and Zabuza's new graves. A black shadow flashed. It was Chi Yejun. After completing the mission check-in, he received two rewards. Ding. Congratulations to host for obtaining the soul of the ancestor. This secret technique can resurrect the dead. I wipe it. Brother Zinkai will have eternal life. Resurrection was actually rewarded. In the world of Hokage, there are several resurrection techniques. Cho's mother-in-law's own reincarnation. Izanagi, one of the ultimate eye skills. Ryan Tensei technique, outsider. The famous impure world reincarnation and so on. But these resurrection techniques have drawbacks and costs. Some need to use living people as containers for the souls of the deceased. Some resurrection objects will become weaker. And some practitioners will pay the price with their lives. But, the soul of the ancestors has no such concerns. It is completely a resurrection technique that does not require a living person to be used as a container and has no side effects. The most awesome thing is, after resurrection, you can also add transfer and graft. Transfer are two skills that can select the resurrected person, and automatically obtain the opponent's blood inheritance limit. I'll wipe it. This is awesome. Certainly. The soul of the ancestors also has certain restrictions. Only fresh corpses that have been dead for less than 24 hours can be resurrected. Inhumane and insane people cannot be resurrected, such as Kato. Advertisement. The secret technique cannot be upgraded. Up to four people can be resurrected at one time, and it cannot be used continuously. There is a long recovery period for ninjutsu. But even so, Chi Yejun is very satisfied. Now, he stood before the tomb. Cast the soul of the ancestors. White light flashes. The two tombs stretched out two hands respectively and held them tightly together. Chi Yejun couldn't help but hum, I want to love even to death, it won't be happy if it's not full and vivid. Afterwards, Zabuza and Haku slowly crawled out, looking at him blankly. Then the memories came flooding back. They also recognized the person who resurrected them, and they burst into tears of gratitude. Brother Yejun, Appa, Ikano Junjia changed things. A holographic panel appeared in front of him, showing the opponent's various techniques. There is even water style. Enema. Finally, the selection is completed. Water style. Water dragon bomb technique. Water style. Great Falls Technique. The Secret Art of Ice Escape. Thousand Killings of Water Soaring. Ice Escape Secret Technique. Magic Mirror Ice Crystal. In addition, he also obtained the Blood Succession Limit, Ice Escape. After the explanation, Chi Yejun rushed back to the house, full of drama. It's raining, it's thundering, and those two gay men are lying. Everyone gathered around. After asking all sorts of questions, Zabuza and Haku shook their heads, their faces full of confusion. Hineda and Ino took Shiro's hands. Others took out their weapons and pointed them at Zabuza. Chi Yejun quickly waved his hand and said, This guy has changed his gender and is no longer so black. The most excited one is Naruto. He was surrounded by Bai, enthusiastic and unrestrained, and his eyes were full of little stars. Advertisement. Suzuki glanced at him coldly, feeling a little unhappy. Although the wound has healed, he is still a little weak after his resurrection. After Romanji settled them down, Naruto sneaked in. I got a small wooden stick from somewhere. While Bai was resting with his eyes closed, he slowly and tentatively poked between his legs. I just want to know if he is a man. Because Junji was busy resurrecting, he even forgot about the second reward. Until the system reminds you. Ding. Host's second reward has not been claimed yet. Chi Yejun jumped up. Yes, yes. What kind of reward is it? Congratulations to host for obtaining the Flying Thunder God technique. I wipe it. Flying Thunder God technique? An S-class time and space ninjutsu developed by second Hokage Tobirama. It has the shocking ability to weep ghosts and gods, which is quite a bug, but... The most awesome thing about this technique is not the teleportation, but teleportation over long distances. To put it bluntly, it's time travel. If the body flicker technique is the flash of the mage, the flying thunder god is the portal of the warlock. For example, fourth Hokage Minato goes from village to battlefield in an instant. But, in order to use this heaven-defying skill similar to wormhole jumping, conditions are also required. Mark, lots of chakra, super perceptive. As for the transmission distance, the stronger the perception, the farther it will be. Chi Yejun's super perception technique has been upgraded. It is now possible to sense something hundreds of kilometers away. Therefore, Theoretically, it should be possible to teleport between the fishing village and Kanaha village. Advertisement. For today's reward, Toshichino foamed at the mouth. Early the next morning, I suddenly wanted to try flying thunder god, so I put a chakra mark on the toilet. After breakfast, he picked up Hineda and ran to the bridge in the distance. Then he picked her up. Ah, Toshikan. Hineda's face turned red with embarrassment. Flying thunder god technique. Call out. The two of them disappeared instantly. The next second, they appear above the toilet bowl. Haha, <laughs> success. Chi Yejun came to the forest again and left many marks. The two of them jumped around in the forest, like Tarzan holding Jane. If it had been anyone else, Chakra would have bottomed out long ago, but Chi Yejun had no worries about this at all. At this time, Naruto came running. After learning about Chi Yejun's awesome flying skills, he also clamored for a hug. The mouth is invincible. Chi Yejun had no choice but to pick him up as well. Evening comes. Zabuza and Haku left the village to search for Cardo's property. Only when you lose it do you know how valuable it is, and only when you love it do you know how valuable it is. After two lifetimes, Zabuza decided to forget the past. He never wanted to lose Bai again, and he never wanted to use him as a tool again. 
He and Bai want to settle in a seaside fishing village. Let's build a happy home together and live a small life without fighting against the world and without shame. Of course Chi Yejun will not let them be so comfortable, because he fell in love with the small fishing village and the country of waves. He wants to build this place into his own ninja village. Zabuza and Haku will also become the elders of the ninja village. Advertisement. Chapter 50 You will definitely become strong in the future. Advertisement. The sun sets. Sunset Village is beautiful and peaceful. This is the name given by Toshi Ikono to the future ninja village. The figures of Zabuza and Haku also gradually lengthened in the sunset. Chi Yejun smiled softly and said, You will definitely become strong in the future. Why? Because in the Hokage world, the more gay you are, the stronger you are. Ashira and Indra are both brothers and gay, so they are ridiculously strong. Hashirama and Madara build Kanaha village together, allowing the whole village to witness the feelings of gay friends. There are still two days left before the bridge is completed. Late this night, Chi Yejun had a dream. Wake up and take a closer look. Then I saw those beard marks. Your uncles? When will you climb into my bed? Advertisement. He pushed Naruto away. Naruto rubbed his sleepy eyes, pointed to his bed, and said pitifully. Too crowded. Because of the arrival of the 10th class, the bed suddenly became tense. Chi Yejun still sleeps alone. But Naruto's bed was crowded with Tooth, Shikamaru, and Shino, and Akamaru was lying on the bedside. Suzuki shares a bed with Fat Koji. Sudden, they both looked to the ground. There was actually a person lying on the tatami. Teacher Asuma, didn't he sleep with Mr. Kakashi? Asuma sighed in his heart. I didn't expect Kakashi and Ramanji. The next day, Ikano Jun took Hinata to play Flying Thunder God in the forest for another long time. Wow, it feels so good. Chi Yejun lay on the grass without any restraint, enjoying the breeze. He Hinata rested lightly on his belly. Looking up at the blue sky, I feel happy. Advertisement. I feel most comfortable now. I hate fighting. He Hinata said softly. Chi Yejun sighed softly. How long can I enjoy peaceful days? He pulled a handful of jelly beans out of his pocket. He Hinata likes Sakura peach flavor. Afterwards, the girl gradually fell into sleep. However, Toshi Ikano took out a map of the Hokage world. He fell in love with the country of waves. This small country is located on the southeastern border of the Kingdom of Fire. Although it is very poor, the location is very good. To the west, it is only separated from the fire country by water, and can be connected by a bridge. Going east is the only way to enter the deep sea to replenish supplies. It's a half-day boat ride south to reach the ruins of Uzumaki no Kuni. Going up to the north are the islands of the country of Yu and the country of Thunder. Kirigakur and Cloud Shinobi Village If you want to enter Kanaha Village, the land of waves is a must-go. Therefore, the strategic value here is quite high. Another day passed. The bridge was finally completed. Looking at the four big characters chiming Sada, the little guys in class 10 were extremely envious. Advertisement. This night, Zabuza and Haku also came back with the loot. Pockets full of bills. The remaining members of the Kado group were also completely wiped out. Chi Yejun entrusted them with the important task of building Sunset Village. The next day, the group was finally leaving the village. The villagers sent them to the entrance of the village. Don't worry, I will protect Sunset Village. Zabuza said. Dejuna and Limanji also said, when you come again next time, the house will be built. Okay, I will come back often in the future, and I will bring Mr. Kakashi and Class 7 with me. On the way back, it was quite lively because of the large number of people. This trip to the country of waves was fruitful. Under Ikano Jun's indoctrination, Naruto mentioned little Sakura less and less. The sooner you forget, the less harm it will do to you in the future. A week later, finally back to Kanaha Village, Junchi couldn't wait to test the teleportation function of Flying Thunder God. Thank you to all my friends, thank you for your encouragement. Advertisement.